access granted. <laughs> Squid Swin, how you doing, you two lovelies? Are you well? I hope you're good. Nice, uh, nice emote there, Swin. Like that. Uh, I <laughs> professional streamer. We're not too late today. We're pretty much on time. I literally sat down. Uh, <laughs> about five seconds before I was on screen. There, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I think oh, I'm already. I'm already. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's uh let's let's run the intro. Let's commit. I've got to be here, sat down, ready to go at the end of the intro. And then I'll go, oh shit, I did <laughs> There's always something else I gotta do. There's always something else. Hey Seven. No, I'd never lied to you, Seven. I was literally I ran out of time. I was gonna message you seven a minute ago. But uh you're here. Are you doing a white seven? I hope you well. Uh, oh my god, there was always something. Uh, and it's actually good that I uh, I was like half. Basically, I'm wearing the wrong uh lower. Where I'm wearing shorts. I'm supposed to not be wearing. I'm supposed to be wearing sweatpants. It's too late now. We're committed. You know what? It's pretty mild today. I walked uh, into town and back today, shorts and t-shirt, on the fourth of October, and. I wasn't cold at all, even with this silly haircut. Um, how's, how's it going, Seven? What's this, what's this emote? Look at this little guy. Nephistopheles. That's a good name. And that's quite the wiggle. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know, uh, Squidge. What we... Um, I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, no, our benefit. That's the thing, isn't it? It's, I was just out outside a minute ago, and it was, like, starting to rain, like, real light, real light rain. Um, Not, like, you'd stop you going outside, but not that you'd even need to coat. Like, you know you know what kind of rain I'm talking about. Um, But uh, it was... um, It's not... It's not... There's no chill in the air at all, I feel. I wonder if that's just where we live. Well, I live, like on the coast basically i could like walk let's see um 20 minutes 20 minutes max and then just throw myself in the ocean probably less than that i'm not going to do that because it'll be cold and fuck and dirty be dirty or ocean water which is terrible isn't it when you think about the ocean i feel like the ocean should be clean not around to not around where I live. <laughs> um, you don't understand it, but you got the emote. So you, you either got a gift sub there, Seven, or you, uh, even though you don't understand it, you liked enough to uh, to you know drop a drop a sub there. Um, Oh, you knew him, but you also needed him. Oh, actually, <laughs> oh, is it somebody? Is somebody actually know? Uh, you know what? I didn't sleep very well last night, Squidge. And I went to bed at my normal time because I just wasn't. I talked about this yesterday. I just wasn't tired, so there's nothing worse to me 
And I'm like, oh, I've got to get up early tomorrow. Let's go to bed three hours early and just lay there doing nothing for three hours. I'm not a fan of wasted time. So I was like, you know, fuck it. Uh, I was, uh, I'll just, I'll just set my alarm real early and I'll get up. I think I barely slept. Um, so I'm pretty wired at the minute. Um, just about to start cup of coffee number three. That's where we're at today. Uh, I've noticed as I've got older, actually, my reliance on caffeine. I was, when I was younger, I never felt like, um, I was like, oh yeah, ca caffeine, that gives you a buzz, does it? That gives you energy. I never really noticed it. But now I, f I kind of feel it. The diff the me having just woken up before that first cup of coffee, I'm like, I feel like I can barely open my eyes. I'm like, uh, oh, I wanna, I don't, oh no, I don't like the light. I don't, I don't like standing up. <laughs> I don't like not being in bed. Uh, and then I drink the halfway through that first cup of coffee. I'm like, okay, yeah, now we're doing stuff. I'm looking at notifications. I'm looking, looking at social media. I'm, we're doing it. There's a thing was just going on. We're doing it. Uh, <laughs> I've like, only, it's literally only kind of hit me in my late thirties that I've, I feel that difference strongly. Um, but yeah, I felt that the uh, squidge. I, there was times not just. So part of it was because I was allowed to get up early and like anxiety about going out and doing stuff. Uh, but it just, I felt really freaking warm as well. I was like, is, for a half a second, I did think, has my brother put the heating on, like, really early? He usually kind of, uh, ekes it out until, like, like, Christmas. That's like the, that's like the household Christmas present. We get the heating. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm not against cold, uh, Sween. Uh, people who are like, oh, no, I can't do the cold. I'm not a fan of wet. Well, I am when you're in the shower or a swimming pool um, or other things. Uh, oh, my God. Calm yourself, is. Uh, but um, I uh, I don't mind cold. I don't want to trudge through snow. I don't want to skate along ice. But uh, if it's just cold, if I like a breathe and there's like a... I look like a... You know, I've got a bit of dragony breath going on. Um, I'm like, yeah, this is fine. I used to work in a cold room, and that was like a freezing. Um, doesn't really. I, I kind of like it. I kind of. I do kind of like it. Um, T number two. You got some catching up to do, Squidge. Oh my God, Squidge! Oh, guys, when you get a moment, just look in the food channel on um on the conflux and look at the now Squidge. Uh, referred to them as um you say billionaires because that you know me yeah i think you're i think you're underselling them their squidge millionaires shortbread so i've seen uh oh god i'm looking at them now uh look away is i uh, <laughs> i've seen more fancy ones that they go oh it's not millionaires it's billionaires i think that's trillionaires at least i think it's bazillionaires i can't imagine any airage of shortbread that is of a higher tier than what you've made there, Squidge. And if it's good enough for Pip, they're good enough for me. So maybe one day I'll have, <laughs> have a sampling. Um, yeah, uh, okay. Is it Seven? Uh, no, I, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me, Seven. I, like I say, I kind of I kind of like it. I'd rather it's a bit too cold and a bit too warm for sure um so yeah so uh so anyway yeah seven i was asking about the uh, nephistopheles if if you're like who is this vtuber you know obviously won you over despite the vtubing uh vtubing's like becoming more and more prevalent i've got uh friends uh mirage and lawsy who are vtubers um and they always have been You've got Lupo. He was like mostly on cam and sometimes not on cam. And then there's like now to transition to full time VTuber. Um, I guess I can tell you if I don't tell you his name. He said to keep it on the down low a little bit. My, uh, my cousin, my actual cousin, who I've not seen for like 
who, who, who I hadn't seen for like 15 years or more. I saw him at my grandmother's funeral uh, a couple of months ago. I mean, just chatting. Um, and uh, yeah, we, you know, Twitch came up and uh, he was like, oh yeah, I was like, yeah, give it a go, buddy. Um, I, I haven't seen him streaming a little bit. We were streaming a few weeks ago. I was planning to like drop a raid on him. Um, but uh, he's also immediately dived in with the VTube and I'm like, and there's more and more VTubers around. It's, um, I get technique. I feel, I feel like that's the trend. And now, so for me, and now there's, pe there's people, there's view Twitch viewers who only want to watch a VTuber. And that might be quite a, a large minority. You know what I mean? There's a, a lot of v Twitch viewers out there who are just like, oh, flesh and blood. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're just not, not, not into, they're not into this. And that's perfectly fine. But um, I don't know. This is like Leadipus said it. He's like, he's like, I'm not. Because, like, for example, I love Mirage and Lawsy, but I feel like somewhere in my heart that if they were on cam, I'd love them. No, I wouldn't love them more, but I'd, like, be, like, more into them. Because I'd, like, it's, like, one less, like, barrier has been lowered. Does that make sense? That's what, I guess, oh, that's what it always feel like to me. It's, like, a bit of a barrier. Like, even Lupo said, he feels, he says he feels, like, less... Uh, energy draining, less anxiety being a VTuber on stream. He's like got, he can give a better show, uh, and it doesn't tire him out as much. So I'm like, go for it, buddy. But um, it'd be trend interesting to see in the coming years how that trend, if that trend continues, if it evolves, uh, will you know the flesh and blood streamers will be, will we become a dying breed? Because as we all plug into the matrix in the next fifty years. That'll be, you know, no, no, everyone's going to look like an avatar. I'm going to be the only weirdo who's looking like this ugly mug as we're wandering around in, in the Matrix. They'll be like, okay, look at that guy. Could you not afford an avatar? And I'm like, no, I don't need one, son. And like, oh, poor old man. Uh, anyway, it's Nib Cold Legs. <laughs> That's one of the many names I have uh, been called in my time, Sween. We'll add that one to the list. Um, Anyway, sorry, yeah, I'm catching up with you guys. Sorry about this. I, I, you know, I'll ramble. You've noticed that. Unless, you know, let's pretend you like it. Red Ma See, Red Mage has been here. Red Mage is like, bruh, I've been here like 10 minutes. <laughs> you're going to say hello? Hello, Red Mage. I hope you're doing well, sir. Um, it's only 9am. Yeah, that's early for me, Sween, 9am. I usually get on it right away. But um, but I felt like I needed it this morning just to get me going and get me out of the house. It worked. It got the job done. I'm kind of a bit tuckered out now, but um, I stop us having a good stream. Um, you get all shivery. It takes forever to warm up. Seven. I mean, I personally run quite warm blooded. Shame I can't share a little bit of that with you. Um, but I hope you well, Red Mage. Um, yeah. So, oh, sorry. Did I, I'm catching up with that? Sorry, you're quoting me. <laughs> I, I'm so crude sometimes. I do apologise. I'm not like. I'm not like some kind of. Um, weird like chauvinist or you know but i'm also not going to deny my nature so you know i want to allude to it a few times you know but anyway yeah that good 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 jillionaires what yeah what comes after you so you go get million billion trillion what comes after a trillion let's find out let's what is you should work for the day google uh what comes after Wow, it's the very first thing that you the uh, Google comes back with. What's after trillion? I don't need a YouTube for a freaking YouTube video on it. Just and give me give me the word. Give me the word. That's what I want to know. Here we go. Let's look at this article. I need a freaking. Art. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice table. Nice table. So after trillion, so a thousand trillion is a quadrillion. 
then a quintillion, sextillion, septillion, and then it obviously goes up, you know. My God. Wow, this... They, uh, some of these names get real, real wild. As we, <laughs> as we, uh, get our eye up there. Duo try Gintillion. Duo try t t tin tin gully. Oh my! God. Yeah, I don't know. Oh wait, I wonder if some of these are made up. I don't know. Anyway, quadrillion. Yeah, they're you know quadrillion airs, quadrillion airs, quadrillion airs. Uh, shortbread there. Yeah. Squidge, I'm seeing it in my dreams. Uh, anyway, it's amazing. Uh, was it? Was it good? Was it? As, did it taste as good? Look, and is it all gone, Squidge? Because I know you're not as like, s like as, as much of a savage as me. It probably lasted a couple of days, but I expect it's gone by now. Like, how could you have that sat on your kitchen side and not sample it at least every day until it's gone? Even if you don't just scarf the whole plate in one evening, like I would. Um, Oh, bless you, Squidge. You've, Squidge, you don't need to worry about it. You've done enough for me. I can live vicariously through you, Squidge. You just keep sending those pictures. Of the... Oh, my God. Of... Uh, yeah. Of the food. Of the food. Right. Um. No, there's not anything wrong with them, Seven. I respect them greatly. Uh, ah, okay. Cool, cool. What, you knew them as a streamer before? Uh, Seven... And when they're on cam and they've transitioned to VTuber, when you're someone you know in real life, I mean. Uh, anyway, you get on that doody. Not a, it could be a, not a doobie, hopefully. Or maybe it is. As long as Red Mage like gets his work done for the day, I'm, whatever he needs to do, or doob. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's perfectly acceptable. Um... Yeah, yeah, and um, I don't know, Sween. Like I say, I, I, I do respect the VTubing thing. It's um, I'm not a hater. You know, I embrace everybody. It's just like for personal preference, I'm never gonna do that, even if I'm the last streamer who's not doing it. <laughs> uh, I'll be the weird odd one out. That's been my whole life. I don't. That's more than me. I take pride in it, if anything. Um, and I just generally prefer. You know, I like uh, I like a human face. I like, you know, I like, uh, you know, cartoon character. No, I'm a massive anime fan. Of course, I, I like artwork, especially if it's like weeby. If it looks like anime, that's that's extra bonus points. Or like, you know, cool animal cartoon kind of guy, fella, whatever it may be. It's, it's all very, very cool. I like, appreciate the effort when they're like very well made and they're very well animated. I think they call it rigged. I don't know the technical terms, but... um. But I don't need to rig her. I'm already rigged. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm fully rigged. Rigged out of the box. Uh, <laughs> um, intra yeah, I think you've mentioned this before, Seven. So back in the early days, the, like the, no, the, the early streamers, nobody had a cam. You just doing your gameplay and on mic, presumably, had the voice. And then it only slowly came in to effect that cams were added. And then by the time I started, that was the standard. And you, you're you a bit, you know, you know, it's not that you can't take it seriously. I know plenty of, like, no cam streamers, uh, honestly. Actually, now we've been, I've been around the block a few times. And it doesn't really lower the quality of their stream. They're doing what they want to do. They're getting their point across, so to speak. But again, I I would just love to see that lovely face. And if they're like, oh no, but my face is not lovely, it's trash. Uh, I'll be like, I'll show me your trash face then. I, I embrace everybody. You know what I mean? Um, I don't, I don't, I'd Sween. I read chat in order. I just sometimes get confused. <laughs> I sometimes skip a, a section. And then go back and... 
<laughs> um yes quadrillion air short break oh my god it is it, it really it really is squid you got some skills are you say is it mostly baking you do squid you know you do you do a lot of cooking at, like most days don't you are you self-taught i mean you, you can um i suppose like baking and cooking in general that's like a, a relatively to get the basics down it's a very relatively simple skill isn't it you get the ingredients you get a recipe you follow the recipe the, it's just like a set of instructions and you just follow you know it's like building a lego you just what does what does the instruction say to do you do it and it should turn out right if you do follow the instructions correctly it's just i don't know either way um you <laughs> your mom couldn't cook for shit that's cute that's curious because uh so yeah, I, I'm, I am doing it now. I am not doing it now, Swings. <laughs> I've got two different chats on my screen. I've got the chat, and then I've got the my stream there. Uh, <laughs> we should cover that up, maybe. Um, yeah, it's like the opposite uh, for me, uh, Squidge. My mum, I grew up with my mum always, like, cooking. She, she would uh, definitely buy just, like, oven food to just, like, you know, because you're raising two kids. She's got to kind of, like... You haven't got time, and you're working a full-time job, and you haven't got necessarily got time every day to do like actual chefery. But um, she can do it. She can. There's nothing she can't make or do. Um, you know, and she's not like one of these people who like does it for fun. They're just like, oh, I know what'd be fun. Let's just make some, do some baking. Uh, you know, she's practical with it. Uh. But so I wonder if it's like the the opposite. Like if you have a parent who's very good at cooking. No, it's, I guess it's everyone's situation is different. But uh, your mum couldn't cook for shit. You do a lot of cooking. My mum was an excellent cook. I can't cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> wolf, how you doing there, Wolf? Anyway, yes, quad gillian. I would give you quad gillian of basically yeah, whatever you wanted, Red Mage. Um, many zero, all the zeros. I like what big numbers where they're like so big you have you have to like start counting the digits. God. And the and the, and Jeff's going after those numbers. He's like, I need another zero. Get me that zero. I'm like Jeff, maybe not worry about that zero. Pay, pay your employees a bit better. Sort you sort your Twitch out. He's like, What's a Twitch? He doesn't even know he doesn't even know about Twitch. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's some other trash that I own. Never mind. <laughs> Let someone else deal with that. Uh, you've still got a couple of squares left. See, Squidge, you've got... You've got that uh, foody kind of uh, desire, but you like you have some kind of restraint and self-control. Like my brother. My brother, I think I mentioned this before, he, uh, he he's very healthy, actually. Probably better than I do. Um, but he does treat himself. He does um, indulge in, like, dark chocolate because it's obviously not... It's got reduced sugar content. So he's keeping the sugar down. You know, not everyone's into dark chocolate. I personally love it. But, um... Because you don't need too much of it. But uh, he'll buy, like, several bars, take it all out of the packaging, and put it in a plastic container, uh, and put it in the, the refrigerator. Now, some bit, now I might have opened it. Oh, my God, refrigerating chocolate debate. That's not even talking about it. Well, the point I'm making is he will quite happily, every day after his dinner, he'll like open his box and I take one square of dark chocolate and he'll, he'll, he'll eat that. He'll be like, ooh, that's nice. And then that box will like last him like two, three, four weeks. And he won't get more. And I'm like, I... Of course, I could physically do that. I could make myself not go crazy, but I've got um, some, I don't know, some kind of, like, uh, compulsive disorder when it comes to food. I can manage without it if it's not there. But if it's there, I there's, there's something this is a bit, like, br broken in, you know, there's worse compulsions to have, for sure. But, um... I said duty. Hey, look. Red Maid said it before I said it. So, um, interesting. So, we're not a huge fan. So, bacon has always seemed to me like that's the 
less involved than actual cooking because cooking is has like a wider array of things you can do with it uh like baking has like less ingredients overall and less things you can do with them relatively to all of cooking Affeline. uh <laughs> wild captions oh my god i love it i wish i could i wish i could see them um Oh, okay, your dad was a bit of a good cook. Excellent, Sweeney. That's cool. Yeah, your mum was passed out a lot of the time. Yeah, it's um, it's unfortunate, Squidge. I wish your mum could have um seen how awesome you are. Maybe she, maybe she does in her own way. Or she could have like been a bit, you know, a bit more conscious at, at least. Obviously, I don't know the ins and outs of the circumstances, but or she could have done that for you. But look, you've um, you're a wonderful person, so you don't need to worry about any of that. Um. Uh. Anyway, you're doing good, are you, Wolf? Excellent, catching up here, slowly, buddy. Uh, I'm I, I am fantastic, uh, and I hope everyone here is doing all right. Um. Uh, yeah, giggling airhead. I don't even know what I said, Seven, but I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know, like, <laughs> complete opposite uh, on the on the, <laughs> the spectrum of airheadedness. You're probably the least airheaded person I know, Seven. So it's like it as a compliment. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know what got you going there, my dear. But I'm I'm pleased to. Uh, I'm pleased to offer that. Um, wow. That, respect, Squidge. I've never done that in my life. I don't think I could. And you, you would need to... <laughs> someone would need to come along and just take it off me. Or, like, be like, yo, it is. You could eat that other half of that Twix there, bro. Or... I could give you something really awesome instead. And then I'll be like, oh, well, if it's one or the other, let me weigh up the options here. But um, there's no part of my brain that would be like, oh my God, I really enjoy, I'm really enjoyed eating this Twix. And there would be more, more total overall satisfaction and, and gratification and mouth pleasure if I actually say eat, only eat half of this Twix. And I'll eat the other half later or tomorrow. That'll be a total amount of more pleasure. I'm just like nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I just... terrible. It's just I, it's, I feel like the the actual act of eating, particularly if it's like junk or bad for you, or you know, yummy stuff or any food, it's just it seems to. Uh, whatever chemicals get released in your brain, the happy chemicals, it seems to, I don't know, I feel like it, relative to other people, it seems to hit me, like, more intensely. It's what it feels like, just anecdotally. Um, so I'm just like, it is for me, it's like my drug. Um, I'm just like, mm, get in there. Um, bacon's too precise for you, Serene. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like if you get a little bit too much flour or not quite enough, then your whole, your cookies or your muffins or whatever, it's just, it's just failed. Okay, I never thought about it like that way, actually. It's more like a precise, uh, like science equation. You've like got to get it pretty much spot on. And if anything's out of balance, it's fucked. If you're like making, I don't know, like some stew or casserole, you're just like kind of chucking things in there add some seasoning heat it up sample it does it taste good oh it tastes good it's cooked through and it tastes good there we it we're done it's done oh it doesn't taste quite right let me add a little bit of this to it see if that helps you know what i mean oh it's not cooked properly let's cook it longer <laughs> Do you know? i don't know that's yeah maybe uh but anyway affeline how you doing um You got trying to read the captions. Oh, you, you not got audio at the minute, Af. 
my god she's like oh, what is this weirdo imagine if whatever the captions are is just exactly what i'm saying and she's like speak speak american you fool uh, you're less nervous with bacon seven i wonder if that's your engineer's brain you like that precision she, i mean I, I, that that seems easier to me uh because it's like here's the things it's like less but the process may be more finicky but there's like less elements to have to try and control i don't know i didn't explain that very well um there you go of course squid has just summed it up because because she's a writer because she's got the words do you do words yes i'm i am world renowned famous uh, fantasy author squidge yes i i i do publish under a pseudonym but that's my name and uh there we go cooking is an art and baking is a science and maybe myself and uh, seven would be better at the science i oh, actually i mean seven's got artistic talent as well i <laughs> um yeah seven exactly full what's that i um i do occasionally feel full uh squidge uh replete like if i have like a big meal like if it's like i don't know some kind of treat or something's going on um and i'm very good at like if i'm not stuffed i could eat more but i feel like i'm satisfied i don't need to eat more but like if if I was like involved in an eating competition, I feel like I would probably do very well. But then again, I guess anyone else who's entering a competition like that would be of my caliber. Um, not that I've been involved in too many eating competitions, but I can say this uh, for certain: I I do have that appetite on me, and I have only ever met one other individual throughout my whole life who could eat the same amount as me right when, when push comes to shove like let's um you know and i'm quite, quite a large guy and i've certainly been like a fat guy in the past but um but some people can just put it away like look at mr wrong mr wrong is aside from his injuries he's uh you know he's in like good physical health like he's not overweight or anything but he eats like three times as much as i do <laughs> like like literally <laughs> of anything and everything you can think of he's just like num, 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 num. Num, 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 i'm like bro I, I hope it doesn't catch up with him one day <laughs> um but no generally speaking um yeah see too rich or sweet yeah i've i've been around people and they'll be like uh oh try this oh that's far too sweet for me i'm like what are you talking about I don't understand. Now, there's certainly levels of sweetness that I've uh, experienced. And I'm like, you know, this is nice, but it might even be nicer if it was like slightly less sweet. But I've never, like, eaten, I don't think, anything and been like, oh, that's... I'm not really feeling that. Pretty much. Um, what if... What so is this? I thought you hate yourself before you start eating. Um, I'll eat you in a minute. What'd you make of those subtitles, eh? She might like that. I don't know, she might... <laughs> it might translate to something completely different. she would be like, what is you hate me? <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, what's she, what's she going on about? Um, you don't hate yourself. You're too awesome, Aff. I don't care if you hate yourself. I like you. Deal with it. I'll fight you. You think you can beat me, Affaline? You think you can beat me? I don't think so. I think you're mistaken. Um, um, yeah, so Seven, I agree. Uh, generally speaking, like, I don't know. Like, if I'm at, if maybe if I'm a, you know, in case, on the occasions I have a, a meal with my mother, um, I will always go back for seconds. 
and it's not that she um i guess maybe she, oh, subconsciously she purposely makes more food because she sees that as like a normal thing if it's like i say like a roast dinner or um you know like if it's like maybe like a chinese takeaway or something like that um there will always be enough food that maybe not like if everybody went back for seconds you're not getting like the same amount again um but if like there's been times where i'm the only one in the family who's going back for seconds and i am having the same amount again <laughs> and i'm like finishing that second plate before other people finish their first plate um and i'm like oh yeah that was good have you got room for dessert is yeah of course what what kind of that's is that even a question um i don't know um but yeah i'll 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 see where you're coming from seven it's a little bit like um you've actually been in an eating competition seven pie eating so tell me about this pie eating what kind of pies are we talking like american pies like as in sweet pie dessert pie as opposed to british english like savory pie um and are, are you are you having slices assuming it's sweet pie is it all the same type are all the contestant contestants eating the same like here's the here's a slice of pumpkin pie Round one. Round two, slice of cherry pie. Or are they giving you a whole freaking pie? Or... Oh, my God. Yeah. Swing. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll see if we can set it up one day. Uh, <laughs> that'd be good. I'd like that. Um... Or would they... Or they have, like, a standardized pie. So it's like... Oh, uh... What's also the most average pie? If not, you go to a pie place. What's like the the top four pies they're definitely going to have? Is is that a thing? Apple, apple, of course, apple pie, pear and peach. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh my god! I can imagine pear pie. Oh, well, it tastes good. Yeah, cherry pie. I've never had... Oh, my God. I do... I do love cherry pie. I still need to get a slice of cherry pie on this uh, sleeve, actually. More on that later. Um, I'm not a big fan of cherries. I like cherry-flavoured stuff. Um, but I find cherries to be a little bit too tart. But then again, I wonder if, like, american cherry pie it's like got enough sugar added into it that it kind of takes the edge off that tartness uh and then maybe if you also have an ice cream or cream of some kind on it you could actually i could be into it um so, sorry what what eating contest here seven so i'm being crude now um so it's like a gimmick. It's not actually, let's see who can eat the most pie. There's, it's let's see what, you know, when gunk these guys' faces up. Um, apple pie is the best. I feel it could be. I've got a, I, I feel like I have a strong affinity to apples. They may be, um, okay. So it's more like a speed competition. It's more like an eating competition. It's just the, the pie is is chosen as the um, you know it could, they could use any food item, but they chose pie. So every contestant has one single, presumably plate sized pie, and everyone gets the same one in front of them, hands restrained behind your back. And you have to just bend over and scarf it up, and you have to uh, you have to lick the the dish clean as well, uh, the tin. Okay, I could. That sounds yeah. It's, it's definitely a gimmick, but I could go for it. Uh, this is the fastest. Um, you still have to eat a whole pie. You know, yeah, it's no small thing to do. Um, so as long as the dish is clean, and now are they are they checking for every single crumb. 
they're like, you're like, I've done. And they're like, no, I can see two crumbs there. I'll lick it up. Um, or is there some, it's just like no obvious amount of pie left. Um, the question I would ask is, how difficult is it to eat without your hands? I'm not sure if I've ever done that. Obviously, you can imagine it. Okay, you can manage it. But if it's like a fruit, a, a sweet fruit pie, I'll imagine it. And you're not going to get it all over your face. Yeah. Does that, does that count? As long as there's nothing in the tin. Like, if you've got like... You, <laughs> you've got like a cherry hanging off your cheek. And <laughs> you've got a smear of apple sauce over, over your chin. It's like... They're like, that's fine. There's nothing in the tin, so we're letting you off. Um, yeah, oh my god, oh, Sween, I can't believe I said that. I'm glad I didn't pick up on that. God, I'm not. <laughs> sometimes I drop this innuendo on purpose, folks, but sometimes um, it does just slip out. And that was also not intended innuendo. But, God, I mean, <laughs> I think it's just. I'm just so out of the loop that. Because oh, you know, girls know me, I'm very well behaved. Some of you might even say too well behaved, depending on who you ask. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I have like thoughts and feelings floating around in my brain and my heart. <laughs> Is you endo? <laughs> indeed, Sween, indeed. Um, but yeah, good. So, how, how did. You... Yeah, no, it's not easy, Seven. It's not. Uh, how many contestants were there? And have you only done it once? And what position did you come in? Um. <laughs> uh. Did you win? That's the question. Anyway, let's get rid of my trillions and millions and bazillions. Um. Uh, only that bit. Oh wow! I've literally found the recipe of the one you made, there, Squidge. I mean, the, I mean, the chocolate on top looks the same. Oh, very so good. They're very good. Let's stop looking. What are you doing yourself? Is let's let's uh let's not worry about that. Um, you've done it loads of times. Twenty people or so. You're not one, but you've come close. I got. It. I guess it's just a bit of fun, and you get a free pie out of it. I guess you don't have to pay to sign up or anything. Is there actually a kind of a joke prize for the winner? But like they get another pie. <laughs> you can eat this one in your hands. Jesh, how you doing, Jesh? My day's been very well, buddy. It's been pretty uh productive. We've been God, we're hanging out for like forty-five minutes already. Um, how you doing, Jesh? How, uh, how's your leg doing, bro? What's the latest? I hope, um, I hope it's feeling better. I'm somewhat concerned if, uh, if you're not. Um, I mean, oh, there's nothing I'm going to do about it, but. Hmm. Well, that's something I just wanted to check randomly. Um, yeah, follow this. There we go. Ah, hmm. Hmm. Um. Right. Interesting. Uh, the our latest follow follow Robin Games who followed uh, yesterday. The account is as old as uh, the follow. So that account was made and then they immediately followed us. Seems a bit sus, doesn't it? Um, you, We will. We will swing. Thank you for being here, my dear. Always always a pleasure to speak to you. You um, get off to work and uh, we'll speak to you later. You have a good one. Um, right, Jesh, but it is... Each day, it's a little bit better than the day before. That's a good sign. It's when it's like, doesn't... There's no improvement. 
or it just gets worse. That's when you got to start worrying. Um, who or what is the daffodil queen? Let me have a look at this. That's cool. So you get a nice photo and like just rec recognition of your accomplishment. Ah, here we go. The Daffodil Festival. Every April. Okay. This sounds kind of cool. Yeah, daffodils are a nice flower, I feel. Oh, cool, anyway. Let's stop looking at that. Um, is that all they're judged on, though, Seven? Either, I would re respect that. That's good. Good on them. That's cool. Right, okay, so it was get last so last week it was gradually getting better, Jesh, but now you feel it's just it's stopped. How does it feel, bud? Does it is it painful? Does it just you feel like the is it, like the fu it function doesn't function properly? Can you bend it properly? Uh can you straighten it properly? Does it like look all bruised and cut up and is it swollen still? I don't know. Um Anyway, Squidge, you get on that tea. Get some work done. And uh, thank you for the lurk. I do appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's a problem, isn't it, Jesh? I don't know what to suggest, buddy. Uh, monitoring it. Just do your best to monitor it. And, um, like, are you, are you having to, like, walk around? Can you put weight on it? Uh, are you having to walk around with a limp? Because all of that does not sound good, if any of that's the case. I don't know. I'm not a medical doctor, obviously. <laughs> I'll be like, um... I'll be like Dr. Nick out of The Simpsons. Hey, everybody! It's me, Dr. Nick! <laughs> yeah, this... This guy what got one of those uh, doctorates that you just buy off the internet. <laughs> Yo, Root! Hey, then, today, Root. Are you well? I hope you're well. Um, that's cool. Okay, so there's a poise. Uh, ca not category, but um, attribute. Like, you know, how you carry yourself. But not obviously on your physical beauty, which is obviously open to interpretation anyway. I'll respect that, Seven. That's cool. cool and what do they actually win for it is it like some great honor i guess it's something you can carry with you for the rest of your life can't you but i was the daffodil queen you know 2020 or you know, i guess maybe not 2020 it's like pandemic and all that but um whatever year um there oh d Jesh, that sounds real bad, buddy. I'd... Oh, so what was the... What What did the hospital say to you? Did they give you, like, painkillers or anything? I don't know. Excellent, Brute. I'm pleased to hear that. Normal amount of sleep. So I didn't last night, but hopefully tonight I'll sleep well and we'll uh, take it from there. Um... So, uh, good. Yeah, it's good to... Is that... Was that just... You had a bit of a workload recently, Root? And that's, like, settled down a little bit. Um. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt, Seven. I can imagine. You know. 
who, who doesn't want to be on on your resume on your cv be like yeah i was a daffodil queen no one would believe me if i uh claimed that but they said you stretched your knee what does that even mean you're supposed to stretch your knee anyway that's <laughs> That's something that's supposed to happen naturally. What? Yes, you can't fully bend it. So you can't like get your, you know, stand there on one leg and get your, uh, your, you know, your ankle, your heel up to your butt cheek. And you can't like fully straighten it out at all. It just won't go that far either way. And if you do try, it kind of like starts locking itself in place. Jesh, that does. I'm not like um, I'm not like a a body mechanics guy. Uh, you know, I try, I try to I try to be like do some exercise. Probably not as much as I used to do a couple of years ago. I was in something. I was in real good shape like a couple of years ago. But never mind. Uh, but I did do like yoga for a year. I did like a weekly yoga class, and that does not sound right to me, my friend. cruciate ligament my god that i don't even know what that is but that sounds uh i don't know buddy i would just because i think a lot a lot of doctors are very knowledgeable and very skilled and very good but that's not all doctors you know a lot of people would go oh you're a doctor you must know everything and it's like that's not unfortunately how it works um interesting seven what they accidentally hyperextend your freaking knees that's called a knee bar people you know <laughs> you don't see it often in mixed martial arts but you can you can submit someone with one of those tap someone out <laughs> um okay all right root random insomnia at the change of the seasons it hits you okay but it's easing up a little bit as uh as autumn or fall as you uh, you guys call it, is setting in. Um, yeah, I don't know if that, any of that uh, is an option, Jesh. Yeah, I mean, I don't... There's no, like, ice baths near me. And I don't you know, I can't... We didn't even have a bath, so... <laughs> uh, you know. I do try and have a cold shower. Uh, not a whole shower. After I'm done washing myself in the shower, I will run the shower cold. Um, sometimes I can only last a few seconds. I'm like, oh, get me out of here. Uh, sometimes I can do a couple of minutes. And I definitely feel the benefit of just doing that. Um, right, okay, yeah, just, just that part, yeah. I don't, yeah, I wish I could offer some practical advice, Jesh, but, um, A curse named after that one which uh oh the oh the cruciate yeah i then <laughs> uh <clears throat> my god you know it's been seven it means you'd be very good at jujitsu because people would be trying to like yank on your arms and legs and you'd be like that, that's you ain't gonna tap me like that, bro. <laughs> um, your bath is full of spiders. Yeah, I'm not a fan of spiders either, Jesh. Oh damn, did they move in a bit since, and you've not, you not dealt with it, and they've taken over your bath? Yeah, <laughs> I wish I could be. I wish I could be there to help you out, Jesh. I used to be terrified of spiders when I was a, a youngster, like re real scared. Like, if there's like um, if I saw one in my room as a kid, I'm like getting my parents. And I'd be like, you gotta, you gotta step in here and do something, folks, because this is horrifying. Um, as I've got older, I'm not really bothered by them so much anymore. But uh, like if they're like real big, uh, like the other, the, a few nights, I think it was a few nights ago actually, I went to bed. Um, and going up the stairs, there was like, you know, a fairly, you know, fairly like decent sized boy 
uh, you know, like hunt, hunting spider, huntsman spider, you know, house spider, whatever you want to call them. Um, it was on the stairs, but it was, um, it wasn't like right on the step. It was like, uh, right in the corner was where one step, uh, goes into the other. It's like right, right in that corner there. Like kind of like had its legs like pulled into it as well. And I was just like, if I was back when I was a kid, I would freak, I wouldn't be able to walk by on the stairs. I'd be freaking out. I just ignored it. I just walked by it. I was like, yeah, either that will wander off somewhere or the cat will find it. Um, all right, whatever. Don't bother me. Um, there you go. Atheline is not bothered by pet spiders or pet scorpions sometimes. Um, yeah. Some people, um, yeah, I say, Josh, I wish I could be there, buddy, to, I'll, I'll clear them out for you. Oh, wow, that's... Ugh. That sounded a little bit freaky. Imagine if Jesh was like, oh, cool, thanks, sis. And I just, like, teleported over there. And I got there, and it was, like, something out of a horror movie. <laughs> and I'm like, uh... Yeah, Jesh, you know I said I'd help, bud? Uh, something's actually come up. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Um, I don't know what I'd do, but I don't know. I'm not, like, I'm not about picking them up. Like that spider I just described, I would not want to pick that up with my bare hands. I wouldn't probably even want to, like, deal with, like, just grab a hold of it, even with, like, if I had gloves on, just because it might, like, wriggle away, run up my arm, or who knows what it would do. Um, but I'm not, like, <gasps> unable to deal um, with it. He's not going the spider path. <laughs> yeah, I will say this, Jesh. It's arachnophobia is a tricky one. Um... And I don't think they're scared of you in the sense that they don't have, like, the, the t intelligence to think like that. But instinctually, a spider either only kind of recognizes you as a large moving object to be avoided because you could potentially be dangerous. Or they recognize you as a potential danger. And they, they, they don't really want to be anywhere near you or any, be anything to do with you. Do you know what I mean? If you go near a spider... Like if there's a spider there and you like prod it the spider's gonna be like oh what is what is this bullshit it's gonna like try and get away from you i'm not suggesting you do that i'm just like you know spider's not gonna be like aha i'm near a human this is my opportunity Meh. It's, <laughs> they 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 want as little to do with you as you want with to do with them buddy but i oh, know that doesn't really necessarily help um You had to save your mum, did you? Seven from the spiders. Well, God bless you. God, imagine if... Uh, if that was me and your mum, we'd just be like... Ah. Yeah, yeah, rude. That sounds very similar to me. Um, like, if I looked up and there was, like, a spider... Just chilling in, in the corner of the room. You know what they do sometimes? Make a little, little web and they just sit up there. Not really like, not really house spiders, not like hunting spiders that roam around, but just like a little, a little fly catching spider. He's just chilling up there. I, I'd, 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 would, wouldn't even, probably even think about it. I'd probably like look each day when I came in the room and be like, is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. Okay, cool. Um, um, but I wouldn't, like, we'd do the whole stream and I wouldn't even look up at it. You know what I mean? It wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me. Um, weird. Are they, they're persecuting you, Jesh. They follow you around. Bro, I mean... I don't know. I'd, <laughs> do you live on your own, Jesh? I never actually asked. Uh, and do you rent? So, I... Uh, if you, you've actually got, if it's not just like a few spiders hanging around randomly, you've actually got some kind of weird infestation, which is, is unusual for spiders. Infestations usually like uh, termites, ants, uh, wasps, or not, not really bees, like wasps or hornets, um, uh, wood lice sometimes maybe, depending on what's going on. 
not usually spiders, but I guess it's anything's possible. I wonder if you um uh thank you for the lurk there, Root. I appreciate that. You got you walk your little doggo, <laughs> and we'll see you back in a bit. Uh the spider emperor. Okay. They're, maybe they're looking at Jesh as their god. Uh, maybe. Um, but yeah, is it your place, uh, Jesh, or do you rent it? Point being, if you if you rent, uh, if you um got a lease on a place, you might be able to go to your landlord and be like, look, you got to come in here and deal with this. You got to get the exterminators in or whoever, get rid of all these spiders, and then also like you know, shore up the place so they don't come back. Do whatever you need to do. I don't know if they would. I don't know what the situation is like. Because uh, it's a kind of weird situation anyway. And I don't know what in, like, Norway, like, how uh, letting, you know, uh, housing laws like that work. Like, what kind of responsibilities landlords have over there. Um, I feel like over here in the UK, if it was, like, an actual issue, it would be on them to deal with it. Um... But of course, if you own your own place, then yeah, okay. So you do rent. Um, you brought the spiders with you. Uh, interesting. Okay, I don't know, buddy. They've got. Maybe. Maybe. Um. Maybe Root is right that they are. Uh, Think that you're like the, the spider god. <laughs> and it's like, oh, let's throw, let's throw a Jesh around. But he's not a spider. Doesn't matter. He's got a, got a good vibe about him. Buddy, I wish I could be there. Just like to assess the situation. Now, it may be horrifying. Uh, and you maybe you don't want to deal with it. Um, But if it, I, I'd be happy to see some pictures. If you, if you want to see how bad it is. Uh, some people might... What, find it quite disturbing. I'm sure there's a bunch of other people who do not like spiders either. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you uh, now you set spoiler tags in um, in uh, in Discord, I could probably look it up. But um, you can't look like a spider. Maybe I don't. Is that interesting? But I mean. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Now I want to see a picture of you too, buddy. Uh, <laughs> but you know, no pressure. You know, you sh you share what you want as you want. Anyway, guys, my freaking coffee's starting to go a bit cold. Hmm. That's something I want to check. Um. When Root gets back. Um. Where are you, Root? Where are you? Just find Root here a second. So yeah, um, Root's uh, lovely Root has joined uh, the Conflux, and they've uh, they've set their. Uh, I just wanted to check their pronouns. They've set their pronouns as he, she, and they. So I just wanted to check with the uh, Root what uh, their preferred pronoun was. Obviously, they don't mind anything, but based on that, but I also, I'd just like to check. Do you know what I mean? I like to be it as, you know, someone's personal preference as as much as possible um well we shall ask when root returns uh guys i think that's probably the end of the rant i've been going a little bit let me drink the rest of this uh cold coffee uh fair seven but i i, I uh i guess you don't mind i i think of you as she but if you prefer something else uh yeah, whatever's easier than someone else. That's got, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Because it kind of doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? I'd feel like if someone said, "Oh, how's Isnib doing? How is she doing?" and they referred to me as she. If I was like, oh, "No, don't, no, don't," that would be um, I'd be a bit like, "Why would I be offended by?" <laughs> I just be like, okay, well, that's not correct, but I don't. It doesn't bother me, because um, if they, they, if that person was specifically trying to offend me, 
then uh and that's the best they can do <laughs> that's pretty weak isn't it <laughs> um oh yeah actually yeah yeah actually i notice you do that on final fantasy 11 so um obviously there's uh different people of different uh pronouns uh playing uh final fantasy 11 uh and not only that there's different genders of those characters so i'm he but my character is she so if i emote on my character it says uh you know is nib claps her hands at Athelene. you know and i've, I've seen Athelene refer to me as she and other players in a similar fashion because of that which makes sense because i'm my character is female so that doesn't you know doesn't bother me um you know but you know I'd, you bow I don't, I don't care if, you know what i mean it's all good to me um exactly yeah seven i respect that i respect that as long as you i think i feel like it doesn't matter what you say as long as you're respectful it's like kind of not what you say it's how you say it You know, it's like if I say, um, if I say to like, if I see Legion Cage and I'm like, hey, Legion Cage, what's going on, you daft, silly bastard? Are you all right? Are you well? You silly fool. <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've like disrespected him with the words, but the vibe is it's not actual disrespect. I'm very happy to see him. But the opposite, if I, uh, I'm like, Oi, Cage. I hope you're having a good day, mate. You better be. Because I'll be very upset if you're not having a good day. God damn it. Uh, no. Now, I'm wishing him well, but it sounds like I'm like, pissed off with him or something else. You, very crude example there. But you know, I, I hope that kind of um, somewhat very crudely... Uh, highlights the point i'm trying to make there do you know what i'm saying um but yeah i don't i don't know what i'm banging about anyway i feel like i've jibber jabbered long enough our producers are going to be like yo we we uh we are uh, we are uh wanting to uh see video games yes video games dragon age inquisition it was very unfortunate we only had a short a half stream yesterday jeez yesterday um I've, I'm at the point now, I'm very comfortable streaming, that I'm like, I feel like doing a four hour stream is like a short stream. For some people, that's a long stream. For us, now that's short. Doesn't feel like long enough. Uh, seven hours, let's go. Hour and a half of just running my mouth, but <laughs> hope you guys don't mind. Um, um, no, I, I'm going to uh, just offer my commiserations, Jesh. I'm, uh, I'll just... If you're not having a good day, bud, you can uh, reach out to me anytime. I'm available at weekends if uh, anybody wants to, you know, have a chat on Discord. I can't fix the world, but I can listen. Um, uh, but yeah, no, if you're not having a good day, Jesh, I'll just, all I can do is wish you well that maybe... Tomorrow might be a better day, buddy. Uh, and anyway, if I track down your dress and I just turned up your house, you might be like, uh, "Is <laughs> I like you better on the screen, buddy?" I don't. <laughs> I don't need you coming to my front door unless you're going to deal with these spiders over here, uh, of course. And then that's a different matter. But um, no. Oh. Okay, cool. How how long have you uh how long have you got to do it for seven? That's just got fun. And what do you get for you doing your daily quests? You get something, some great benefit to it. Is it like your uh, you know it's like your dailies in any other kind of online game like that? Oh, it's a good day. I'm well, Jess. You've got a good attitude, bud. I respect it. You you know you got f you're infested with freaking spiders. And your leg is all janked up still. And you like... Eh, silver lining, my friend. I respect it greatly. Um, 
yeah, Dragon Age Inquisition. So we um we've almost finished the Western approach. We've got one more little zone inside to look at. A few things that haven't quite tied up. We have to come back here later anyway to deal with the dragon. So um we shall uh excuse me, just scratching my ankle there. Itchy ankle. Um We'll uh we'll do that and then I think we're gonna head over to I'm leaning towards the Emerald Graves. Which sounds like really cool, like Grave sounds like like maybe like Glade. The Emerald Graves. It's not actual graves. Or we're gonna get there and it's actually gonna be like a giant cemetery. I don't remember, but we shall find out. Um Okay. But can you um can you just try as many times as you want, Seven? Okay. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, I saw that uh, D Cannon, Daniel, he he tweeted out the other day. Seven, he he'd, he played Genshin Impact for the very first time ever, and was like, "Wow, this game's great! I can't believe I not played it before." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, okay." Respect Daniel. Not I was like, you know, just to get an outsider's perspective, um, because you know cause he's, he plays all sorts of games. I think he leans into um action adventure kind of stuff mostly um exactly jesh that's a good way of looking at it you don't live on the street you're not you know, you've got a place to live even if it's freaking i'd rather have a house that you live in that's got way too many spiders in the bath than not having a house I, you know I'd, I'd happily share a house with spiders than no house at all. So, yeah, bro, I respect that. I respect that positivity. Um, fair enough, Seven. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe, because it's free to play, isn't it? And is it on all platforms? That being said, I'm not sure if it, is it on, is it on Xbox? I don't know. Maybe it's only on PlayStation. I don't know. Um, let me find out just out of curiosity maybe one day one of the producers will uh put it forward as uh okay it's not on xbox at all but it is on it is on pc you can play it on pc okay cool and i assume it is is it for free to play? Oh my god, this music so good. This is uh, from Secret of Mana. That's a game I definitely want to uh, show you guys at some point. Yeah, it seems it seems to be a uh, free. It says PC download. King Deshret and a three Magi is the latest thingy. Yeah, the 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 uh, weeb aesthetic uh, seven is very strong, and to me is very very appealing. Just like running around as a little anime person would <laughs> that would just be enough for me, I don't know. <laughs> um We shall see. Let's go with that. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, hey, Sea Star. How you doing, Sea Star? Are you well? I hope you're well, my dear. We're about to finally get into, um, some, uh, Dragon Age. I've just been running my mouth for a minute. But don't, uh, let that stop you holding back, telling me about your day and your life and how awesome I hope that you are doing. Um,.
Ah, this is no, there's not even any actual pay to win mechanics. I assume there must be microtransactions, though, seven. But I assume, I guess, uh, I guess they are, um, just for cosmetics or something, right? That's cool. And is it mostly, you see other people running around in the game, but it's mostly like a single player game, right? You can team up with other people, but. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Af. Um, we've got today, we're going to get into the Emerald Graves and then we've got the Hissing Wastes. We need to clear out those areas like we've been clearing out our other previous areas. Then you tell me, I don't remember the game well enough. That might just be like a straight arrow of story missions to the end of the game. I don't know. Because I mean, we're running around like almost level 19 which feels like that's like you're getting towards the end of the game when you're level 19, right? I don't know. We shall see. Um, oh, damn. So how long have you not got water for, then, Seastar? What? Do you mean to come over there and slap somebody? Give them a bit of one of these. Uh, <laughs> that, that would not help. Maybe fixed by the time I get there anyway. Um Okay, oh fair enough, seven. Well, yeah, Af, there you go. Uh, yeah, I guess you played it a bunch, Af. That's cool. Uh oh, well, the optional co-op is awful. So the so it is entirely a single player game, essentially, but you kind of it's got that mmo light vibe where you in towns you see other players like running around is that the kind of thing um ah uh, are you still do you still dip your toe into it af i mean you say still playing final fantasy 11 yeah got back i'm not seeing you around for a little bit af are you all right spoon's been in in and around spoon keeps popping in now and then um but uh where have you been? Where have you been? I'm missing you. It's all right. They're they're looking after me. Uh, pe people, your computer broke. Oh jeez, why didn't you tell me, my dear? No, I can't do anything about it. But um, you got a new one. You haven't installed the game. Okay, yeah. Well, it's it's kind of a crappy game, anyways. <laughs> no, it's not. The every every time I think like I feel I'm just about done with it, like something pops up and I'm like, oh, let's. I'm like working on my relics and they're like coming along nicely. I'm like, anytime I'm like, oh, it's almost, you know, let's save up the currency for the next relic. Oh, I don't know if that's going to happen. Bang, someone, I'm just, I happen to be in the right time, the right place, then there's a frag run or, you know, like that happened last night. Um, you know, or uh, someone's like, yo, it's, let's come, uh, you know, come and help with, you don't want to help with this mission. I'm like, oh, cool. Thank you. Um, randomly at a loose end uh went like hunting for blue magic with uh lexi chew and spoon came along as well and we all got a bunch of spells we didn't have before and it's like okay managed to finally get my first craft to level 100 uh yesterday finally uh cooking up there pleased about that um so i'm like <laughs> every time i'm like oh I've, I've done with this game i'm like no the game's not done with you isn't it sit back down um but excellent how's your new how's your new computer though af is it all right so seven no other people at all so what am i thinking did i it's in, so it's entirely a single player game why am i th and apart from the broken co-op okay interesting so i th i think because uh, there's aspects of final fantasy 11 that's very grindy but, like, grinding for currency for relic weapons, which are basically the best weapons in the game, pretty much. Uh, generally agreed. Uh, and I've got a couple, and I've got a bunch more to go yet. Um, that's the main... You need other items, which you need the people to help you do, but the main slog is the grind for to get the currency to, like, bu essentially buy the weapon. Um, but uh, not only are you, like, levelling up, certain aspects of your characters above and beyond the level cap so to speak and these things called merits that slightly buff up your abilities beyond you you know their standard um so you and what that's like two birds with one stone for me 
I can I can just listen to a documentary or a podcast while I'm grinding. I don't know if other players do that. They're like, oh, the grind. I'm like, you, you know, you can be doing other stuff while <laughs> while you're doing. You can be talking to your buddy. You can be like, it's all sorts of things you could be doing. Um, you know what, Seven? That's probably what I've seen. I've probably just seen a little clip of a player running around the town, and I've seen all these other characters like running around. And I just assumed they were other players, when actually they're just NPCs. Um, oh, of course you've lost your... Uh, of course you've lost your um, user folder, haven't you? Metapod! How you doing, sir? Are you well? I hope you are. I was love treating you, buddy. Um, is it possible, Af? Ugh, that's the thing, because... Can you, like, take somebody else's user folder? Like, just the macro folder. And you, like, use those as a template rather than having to do them from scratch. The only problem with that is they'd be so different from what you're used to. Whether you, like, took mine or spoons or anyone else's, it's almost like you'd have to do it from scratch. What a pain in the freaking ass. Yeah, if I lost all my macros t today, I'd be like... I would not be logging in for a little bit. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. I would be like, you are having a freaking bubble. And I don't want any of it. Um, yeah, Af, it's so, it's so simple. Yo, you're doing some boring grinding. Just listen to something, right, didn't it? Um, damn. So you think it's just wear and tear? God damn. A 13-year-old PC. That's impressive. Although, I guess my PC will be 13 years old one day in the future. And worry about that when we get to it. Cause, uh, I don't have a uh, Discord on my phone. If I just vanish one day, folks, know that I've not died. It will just be I'm having my technical issues are such that... <laughs> I suppose I could get my brother to message you. He's on Discord. He's not a member of the Conflux, but... um. I could get hold of you and let you know what's going on, but let's let's hope, let's hope that is not an issue. Anyway, I hope you're well, mate. I, thank you all for being here. You're all bloody lovely, and um, I love you to death, really. I mean, I don't want it, you to die. That No, that's not... What strange expression? Unless it means, like, I love you until you're no longer here. Like, you you always have my love. I love you to, to your death, rather than... I have so much love for you, it will cause your death. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, sea star, I don't know about that. I don't. I'll, I'll take it. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. I was. I feel it takes thought and effort to be a, a good person. A lot of people don't want to put the thought and effort. In. Not you guys. Yes, there's people in this world who. Bless you, sea star. I appreciate that. You're pretty awesome yourself. You know, just have a, a little look in the mirror, maybe. Um, but yeah, I guess, yeah, so I think I'll jibber jump enough. Let's get into, let's do some chunky progress on Dragon Age. God, I've been talking for like an hour and a half now, literally. Um, but you love it. You you love me, and I'm blessed that you do. Um, oh, curious. And what happened there? Uh, my, uh, My OBS chat uh, went all squirrely for a minute. I've literally lost a couple of messages. Um, from Jesh, I think it is that. Metapods, I am well. You love me to death and now I'm dead. Rip. <laughs> but you would enjoy the rip. You would, you would in, you'd enjoy it as you were dying, Metal. So, you know, go enjoy, go enjoy yourself in this life. And uh, both of Seven's, uh, your death and women live longer. Um, yeah, you know, but I, 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 I plan to reach triple digits, Seven. Are you, are you going to do that with me? Are you? We shall see. Yeah, I don't know. I lost all that, but I did get the uh, Sea Star's little, uh, little arrows there. Uh, anyway, I don't, I don't know why it freaked out there. It's not on, uh, just an OBS. Anyway, um, what about, let me just check my, over here. No, got it there as well. OBS has just been a piece of shit. 
Uh, anyway, let's go. But no, guys, I'm here for you. On um, you are more important. How much I'm enjoying this game. Uh, I I enjoy you guys more. So, you let me know what's what. Anyway, uh, this one. I know what I'm doing. Professional streamer, go! Ooh, look at that. Working cam today until it freezes, of course. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, it's interesting that. Do you, have you have you uh, looked into it, Seven? Any studies into it? Like why that is? Because on average, it's true, isn't it? On average, women do live longer than men um, by a couple of years, and I think that is consistent throughout the world in all countries and uh different like you know like levels of development like th first world third world where wherever if you've got any insight into it yeah i am i am a professional c star I'm working on it <laughs> uh oh my god it has frozen again hasn't it jeez louise um sorry about this folks i don't know what's um going on with it <laughs> oh my god yeah wolf you gotta like <laughs> you say something you jinx yourself if you're like oh my god oh i better not freeze it immediately freezes a fook my life that's what this cam is saying to me i wonder if it's now these would like cheap shitter ones i got off uh ebay not very expensive so if i needed a new one it wouldn't be too difficult to re replace one but um i wonder if that's part of it i'm not really sure anyway we've got some venatory to smash but they can't see me because i'm invisible although my, uh, part of my <laughs> part of my jacket is the waist down of my jacket is perfectly visible they can't see it though they're just like eh. What's, th what's this coming down the stairs? I don't know, buddy. What, what could it be? I don't know why these guys just chill up here. And what's going on with their demons here? What? Yeah, what if I just walk past here? Got a Venatori and a demon. Like, the frozen in time? What on earth is going on here? Um, yeah, I'm very curious. It doesn't, seem, it doesn't look like something that's glitched. It looks like that's like meant to be a thing. Uh, yeah, can't carry that. Never mind. Okay, I think we just got to head down these stairs and wreck these uh, little lads that are chilling. They are up on ya. It's true. Oh, I wonder if this is somehow related to, like, the time magic that Alexius was messing around with. And they, not that he's done it, but if he was doing it, maybe one of the other Venatori was messing around with it as well. Yeah, look at this, just, just frozen in time. How curious. Um... Yeah, no worries, Seven. You check in with the Supreme Court and do re do tell us. Report. Tell us what happened. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's just a guess, is it? Hmm. Like you're more generally... Oh, that might be good. Can't take anything else, though. Um, like women because they are built to bear children they just like have a more robust long lasting system naturally this could be something to that oh look okay even the That's rubbish let's do whatever and get out uh, let's do whatever. They disable the time magic. Oh god, it's going to kick off, isn't it? If we do that. Uh, 
Um, okay, so I guess we probably should Sarah, but also we should have a little gander first. Oh, look, the place is falling to pieces. Ah, this is all going to... Everything's frozen. I don't think this was the Venatori. No. I'd say some ancient Tevinter decided to alter time. I'm surprised it didn't go better. Yeah. Okay, I'm uh, inclined to check down there first. This way? Yeah. There's a little examine here. Nothing's happening. The magic here is interfering with the anchor. Oh, right, yeah. Nothing's happening. Nothing's as in happening. Close in the, the magic uh, here is interfering with the anchor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that pog corn. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> uh, hey, Root, welcome back. Root, as you, how was the doggo's little walk? I uh, hope it went good. Root, I wanted to ask you, and I, I'm sure you, you know, you were, you know, you were, uh, you weren't, I would assume you wouldn't mind me asking you live on stream in front of everyone. So, uh, well, firstly, thank you for joining the Conflux, Root. I, I appreciate that. And not everyone uses Discord or really cares about it. And they're probably, like, members of, like, too many uh, Discord servers and whatnot. And there's no pressure to use it. You, if you have something you want to post in there, feel free. You certainly don't have to. I'm just glad to have, have you there. Um, one thing I did notice, uh, Ru, uh, in your pronouns, you uh, you took the pronoun roles and you uh, went for he, she, and they. Now, all perfectly acceptable. And I, like Seven was saying... She's like, hey, I'll let anyone use whatever pronouns, whatever works for them, is good, good, uh, good for me. But my question to you, Ru, is, do you have a preference of those? Because I'll, I will refer to you as whatever you like. You know what I mean? It doesn't, doesn't matter to me. Um, so, and even if you like, uh, is I don't care. I would imagine, even if it's like about a tiny, tiny degree. A tiny sliver, you might have a preference of one over the others. And if you do, I would like to know what that is. Just so I can, uh... You're itchy all over. Is that... <laughs> yeah, even rolling around the grass. <laughs> and why not? Um... But anyway, welcome back. I hope you don't mind me asking that on stream. I'm sure, I, would, I would hope you don't. But uh, you let me know. Tell, tell me to shut the fuck up if you want. Um, you like they them? Excellent. Our friend uh, Smartsy Brain uh, goes by they them, so that is not a, a problem. Me, uh, you know, not you know, being an old man, not in the <laughs> not not in the loop so much, you know takes a bit of adaptation so you know i don't there's no i don't know any people in real life who go by they them um although my aunt is a you know a trans woman you know that's uh you know not that that's nothing to do with me but <laughs> um but yes there you go i'll, I'll prefer i would prefer your preference and that is your preference that's what we'll go bless you well thank you thank you root I say I was like, I got a vibe. Like if I felt I was going to put you on the spot, I would uh, definitely not. But I say, you know what? I don't think. I, don't, I think you know. Root seems pretty open, honest, engaging, intelligent. They ain't going to mind if I put them on the spot on the stream. So yeah, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Right, anyway, yes, so we're looking for... The text describe a chamber. Oh, there's loads this of them. Must be it. Oh. Oh. What is... Is it you guys? Have you guys... You guys done this? You know what? The warrior! The warrior! I've got my, um... Oh my god. Oh 
I was considering using my uh, special there, but I don't know. I seem to be fine without it. Oh my god, Dorian! What, bro? Every <laughs> every time he uses his little ghost ability, it's like the last guy in the uh, group of enemies we're fighting, <laughs> and then he just immediately dies because he's not needed anymore. God damn it, Dorian! I suppose you got him off for his uh, mustache, but. I know Meta does for, for certain, but it's like, bro, that's a really cool ability. How about you use it? What's this we're taking? Keystone. Ah, uh, one of five keystones. Okay. Interesting. That demon on the desk there. Um, I try. I try to be. I don't like always like know about stuff you know what i mean c star it's like what you, you know you, it's what if you used to is what you used to but i am definitely respectful i try to be if i ever come across as disrespectful to anyone you know call me out on it because i assure you it'll be like a misunderstanding or a miscommunication rather than me at, you know because if, if there's somebody out there and i'm like i i disrespect this mofo and i'm gonna get up on their grill Oh, there's no, not going to be any, like, doubt. I'm going to be, like, cussing. I'm going to be, like, oi. Oi. I'm going to be, like, calling them out. I'm going to be... It's going to be kicking off. As much as you, you can do that Sarah, over the internet. <laughs> do you believe in the maker? Yes. Some of it's a bit off, but... Wait, why? I just thought... The way you've lived... What? I don't belong because I never joined some holy whatever. No. But you're a... a thief. I take back. And you kill people. True, but only those I must. Ones who deserve it. Right, we're real different. No. He's got a point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If if need if if I need to, ask, do you know what I mean? I've heard of keystones that bear the same. Okay, a fire at our gate. There may be more. That seems cool, right? Okay, we've got to, we've got to ditch some random crap. Yeah, that's the thing, you know. I feel that you know, some there's I'm not the only person out there who will kick off with people and call people out for their bullshit. But um if you yourself are just because you're like maybe you're a bit arrogant or um you're a bit full of yourself and you're just kicking off with people to be like, eh, look at me, folks, aren't I so eh, I'm so edgy and so yeah. Um Then it like you know, as someone who's not got that level of respect, not got that level of benefit of the doubt, then you then you've kind of like you've you've got nothing to like back it up with. Does that make sense? Whereas if you are respectful of everyone and you do give everyone the benefit of the doubt, then, you know, it's kind of like it means more when you do have to call someone out. If that makes... I don't know if that fully made sense there, but... And it's a shame when it comes to that, but you know, sometimes it it does. Right, 79 Soul Wrecker staff. Seems pretty amazing. Not good enough for us, though. What about Mr. Dorian? Mm. Mm. Not, good, not quite good enough. Uh, okay, so... um. Oh, let's get rid of that. Um, and that. And that. And that. And we'll also get rid of that. I think I'll get, like, pennies for these... Uh, common rarity low level gear so we'll just junk all those exactly see so you want to you don't you know you don't want to be in a group setting whether that's like a you know um you know a dinner party a social gathering or you know you're hanging out on twitch with peeps you don't want to be the uh, uh, anything like that and like, everyone agrees with you. Like, everyone agrees with you in the sense of good behaviour and being chill <laughs> and being cool to each other, you know, and being like, oh, you know, 
uh, you know, open and respectful and willing to learn. But, you know, you have to... I feel it's better to... Um, you can challenge people respectfully. You can question, you know... Because we all... Each of, each of us here, we all know, like, wealth of knowledge from our own lives, from our own existence that none of the other of us have known anything about. I don't know what Sea Star's life's been like. I don't know what Aphelene's life has been like. I know them, but I don't... You know, so if they tell me something about something and I don't know anything about it, I should... I should probably pay attention, shouldn't I? I should probably be like, okay. You know. It's a lot of people who f feel that I've, I don't know, they've like got it... Um, they got it all figured out. And they don't need to listen to other people. Because they, they know what is correct. And that's... And that's not the way to go about things. Um, what what on earth do I need this fail fire for? There's going to be something back there, do you reckon? I don't know. I can't be running back. It could it could be. Well, I didn't... Usually, if you find um, a spot's use veil fire, though... There's a little bit of a clue or a hint. That might be the uh, case for it. What are you doing down here, Sarah? Back up there. Oh, okay. I was looking at the map like it was locked. It wasn't locked in the way I thought it was locked. Oh my god. Is this what they were after? Don't go poking. The whole place feels wrong. That might be good. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, probably won't be, but well, a sword. Surely it can't be. Eh? That can't be good. No. Nah, they're no good. Um, I always forget. Like you get new armor, and I always forget. Like, hmm, relatively what uh the stats are. One point of extra armor, but you know, look at all the uh. The fanciness of the previous armor. And you know what? I think we already looked at this and Dorian's actually got better armor at the minute. He does. Okay. You could save that and give that to Vivienne, maybe. Excuse me. Um, I'll catch up with you. Hundred percent route. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you agree with me. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to be agreeable, not for the sake of being agreeable, just, um, I feel there's, uh, you know, I don't have all the answers, because I don't, barely know what I'm doing, but <laughs> there is, like, a right way to go about interacting with other, e with each other, with other uh, human beings, and I think Twitch is a great space for that, uh, to not only engage with that kind of, uh, communication, uh, and interaction, uh, um, but also to learn about getting better at doing that. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of people in the world who are not good at it. And they didn't see a problem with that. And they, you know, they don't want to... They just want to keep their blinders on. They don't want to open themselves up to other thoughts or ideas or possibilities. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I've seen that a few times, Root. So I'm like, hey, look at you, bad guy over there. And it's like, what? <laughs> you didn't care till it affected you. <laughs> Indeed. Exactly. I'm glad we're on the same page, folks. It's a good page. I'm trying to make it a good page. <laughs> I'll do that. Anyway, it's time to take this magical staff by the looks of it tempest that's amazing but we were def we were definitely supposed to come here at an earliest point weren't we oh there we go is that ah that was doing the time magic was it Careful. yeah the place is falling to pieces now I think time's flowing again. ah there we go, hey, don't go that's the ring oh. master spirit ring Oh, such a shame. I sh or under attack, can't get to my inventory. Okay.
Now can I? Okay, let's have a look. Tempest. It looks freaky. It's like a skull and a stick. That's a bit freaky. Um, it's actually um, it's actually technically one level higher than we're currently using. Now, yeah, it's that plus twenty damage versus living that's doing it, but. Uh, An extra 11 points of DPS. All the other stats seem like much better. More constitution, more magic, more willpower. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's give it a whirl. Oh, look at this. Bloody a human skull <laughs> on a stick. Feel the power of my tempest. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a whirl. What's what's the worst that can happen? Um, you've been upgraded here, Dorian. Check that out. He said, "Ooh, fancy." Uh. Yeah, I'll definitely need the veil for now, I'm pretty sure. It's just for that uh, that one rune, I believe, I'm guessing. Oh damn. So it, I'm definitely doing extra spirit damage, it seems like. That is uh that is true. Yeah, you see the blue numbers coming off. The main damage, that's the ice damage. And then for about a quarter of that damage, you're getting a yellow number, which is the spirit damage on top of it. So I guess we just uh, go for it. Okay, so now we just, we're just leaving. Now we've reset the, the time magic. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, I've got to close that rift then, of course. Makes sense. Um. Nah. <laughs> Look, Root, I've got to read all the notes. It's very important. Um. Would you see star? I'll appreciate that. I'll appreciate that. It's you know I'm I'm just a student of life. I'm still I'm still learning. We're all just still learning. I've um, got much more to learn yet. Hurry before this gets worse. It's already worse. Just kill them. Yeah, we'll be fine. We're over leveled. It's fine. Oh. Back me up, me arties. Right, okay, let's see. Oh my god, I can not really see very well where I'm currently positioned. Yeah, okay, let's try that again. Um, right there, there. Are they already come through already? I can't see when there's two together, so let's just go for that one. Nice. Get that blighter. There we go. Dumb and dumb. Yo, rat. How you doing, rat? Are you right there? He good. Yeah, oh I'll, I'll, yeah. It's, it, it, thankfully, it pauses the game, doesn't it? Well, I'm rather sick of this place. You? Someone would have freed the demons yeah. eventually. Yeah, can't disagree, At Dorian. Least we were here to stop them. Indeed. We got a little bit of power. Oh, and we can activate that as well. Nice. Hey, how, how you doing, Rat? What's going on, buddy? Um.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, isn't it, Rat? You kind of, uh, you're like, they're all running around. Where, where are you going, Cassandra? What are you doing? She's like, just run off on her own. Like, what? what are you doing, love? Wait, wait for us. Uh, you just woke up, have you? Excellent. Excellent. That's, um, I suppose it depends what you've got planned for the day. That could be like a good thing, or it could be like, ugh, I don't. I don't want to be, like, doing this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It depends. I remember, um... I didn't mind college so much. Uh, but I hated school. And I hated... I, I kind of... I, I liked working... Uh, to start with... Somewhat in my first job. But then I got to the point where I just hated waking up. And um, I found it easier when I kind of uh, switched to retail later on. And I would quite often be put on, like, the second shift. Um, so that would obviously allow me to kind of, like, not wake up first thing in the morning. I feel I function way better when I can just kind of wake up, like, you know, late morning. Even, like, midday or early afternoon. Um, that's where I feel I'm at my best. Uh... So it wasn't so rough then. Because obviously I'm like, oh, I've woken up and I've got to get ready to go to work. It's something I don't feel as janky when I wake up then. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this, bro. We have turned off the PC since we went to find him. Maybe we could... Um... PC? <laughs> Xbox. It's been off for like a... Since yesterday. Maybe we go look for him. We've also got to turn in the, uh, the Dragon Manuscript. We go turn that in first. Um. What? Nothing to report. What's uh, What's going on, Mel? Some animal destroying your patio. <laughs> Running in slow motion. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's uh, what's got what's going on, Mel? You were, like literally, you heard the noise just now, or you, you've like during the night and you've looked out there and you've gone, "What the hell? Is it a lot? Were they plant pots? I guess you might just have random pot, pot pottery, <laughs> like <laughs> ceramics, like hanging around. But I guess they have probably have plants in them. Um. Oh, damn. Right, that sounds wonderful. A frog-shaped pot. Yeah. Oh, my God. What could you do? <laughs> uh, oh, Matt, I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. God damn it. That's a, that's a problem, isn't it? Because it's like you can't... It's like... It's, no crime was committed, so you can't call the police. Um, not enough damage that you can claim on insurance. You just kind of... It's very unlikely that she could be nesting at this time of year. It's not like you... you ah, fellow researcher, how can I help? It's not like your own... It was like your own pet that did it, and you can kind of, like, admonish your pet and be like, naughty, naughty doggo, naughty kitty cat. You're not... No, no treats for a few days, or, you know. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Um, I hope your husband's not too upset about it. Because that would be, uh... <sighs> it's, a, it's annoying when stuff like that happens. I'm not a fan. I like things to be just so. I like things in their place. I like things to... You know, I like a, a, a nice, not dull day. <laughs> I like a predictable day. Uh, I, uh... You don't want life to be too predictable, but I do like... To have not have some random stuff broken. Anyway, I found this manuscript for you, Frederick. I found this manuscript on dragons in an ancient Savinta laboratory. Will it help you? What remarkable diagrams. Are these chambers of the draconic heart? Oh, if only I could read the script. Oh. Do you perhaps know a linguist? Or a Tevinter historian? Don't look at me. 
Nobody's spoken that form of Tavine in 700 years. I don't, but the Inquisition might. I'll speak to our specialists. Okay. I'll have to speak some other time. Cool. I feel like Frederick should just come work for us, and then he can he can have act he can help us know about uh you know dragons and such, and you know we he can have a look at any res you know use our resources to help with his research. I don't know. Right, anyway, so final thing to do here. I'm just going to head to this camp and head over to where that Venatory little base is, where this supposed bad man is supposed to be, who just wasn't there yesterday at all. So we'll find out. Oh, the giant did respawn. Interesting. Oh, I guess we've turned the console off so there's no reason he wouldn't but that's good that's good rat that your uh doggo is well behaved because like some doggos can get spoiled that if you not that i don't have to treat them too nicely of course you should treat your pets nicely but um do you know what i mean sometimes <laughs> if you you know they can maybe misbehave and they don't get admonished they, you know, they go, oh, you know, why, why, I'll just do whatever I want. Obviously, cats are different because they're just, they're just doing their thing all the time anyway. They're not trying to, they're definitely trying to manipulate you, get pets and get food, but they're not, you know, like a dog's like more aware. Right, that's cool. That's cool that your your dog guys behave good, well behaved. Squirrels and bunnies. Oh, they <laughs> they literally they literally noshed it in a couple of hours. My God, those cheeky squirrels. Squirrel stew for this Halloween. That's what <laughs> that's what we're doing. Uh. Uh, fro f including frozen meat. Let's see, stuff. <laughs> um. Ah, oh, rat. That is, that is sweet. As long as you're aware of it, at least. You know, you get those uh, pet owners who are like, "Oh, who's the good boy?" And then you're like, "No, that 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 dog guy is naughty." At least you are. You've got that self awareness there, rat. You know what they say? Uh, self awareness is a beautiful thing. Um. Oh my god, Metapod. <laughs> Dirty tissues. Yummy! <laughs> What's your favourite thing to eat? Oh, wow. That, you know, I'm partial to a bit of dirty tissue. <laughs> Used tissue. <laughs> what What was... Dare I ask what it was used for? Just about anything you can imagine. <laughs> uh, oh my god. That's amazing. Um, oh my god, that is pretty cute. <laughs> oh, bless rat. Oh, bless. I'm so glad uh, she's got you looking after her rat. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, rat. Well, you certainly don't have to, rat. I would love to see uh, pics of your doggo. You don't. You certainly don't have to. No pressure. You might not want your doggo out there on the internet, um, or you might not want to join Discord. You might ask like, whatever. I'm, I'm already in a million Discords. Or you might not use Discord. Some people actually just don't use it. Uh, but feel free if you want to get in there, and I would love to see your doggo. But the option is yours. Um, Interest, interesting route. That's interesting. Most dog guys are not like that. Interesting.
Yeah, no, don't disturb her right now, rat. You take your time. Yeah, feel free to get um get in our uh, Discord if you like. It's not, you know, it's not uh, it's got, we kind of built it to be like to serve, you know, streamers and viewers. I've tried to like cover all potential needs in there. Um, you know, it's it's a bit bulky. You can always like just mute and hide any channels you're not really interested in. But um, we definitely have a channel for sharing pictures of your lovely, uh, you know, lovely pets. Um, yes, like King Boris. Welcome back, Squidge. <laughs> yes, treated like a king by the by the uh, by the by the serving staff, Squidge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. Right. It's like my brother's cat is, um... I wonder how old she is now. At least five or six. I think she must be. Because I think she was only, like, maybe two years old when he got her. Um, she acts like a big baby. She's like a full-grown adult cat now. But she acts like a big baby. Wow, you had pet cockroaches, Metapod. That I think that's literally the first time I've ever heard of anyone having a pet cockroach. I know you would be into that because um, anyone who's not aware, Metapod is just like loves bugs. There is, you know, one, you know, just like bugs in general. Yeah, whether it be like po bug Pokemon's or actual, actual bugs or just like aesthetic of bugs, uh, insectly aesthetic. Um, but yeah, I've never heard of. Metapod of anyone having pet cockroaches. I assume they weren't just like random ones you found and you made them your pets. So I, I assume they were like proper. I don't know what that even means. Proper pet cockroaches. I don't know. Um, yeah, this, yeah exactly. Squidge the serving staff. Uh, <laughs> you say a millipede. It sounds freaky. I'll be honest. We were talking about spiders earlier. Jesh has got a spider in infestation in his house, but um. I'm not sure if I want a, tarant a pet tarantula. I might, if if a friend had one as a pet, I might summon up the nerve to hold it. But I don't know if like tarantulas like to be held. Do you, I don't. I don't know enough about it. Um, no, not a single damn thought. <laughs> yeah. Peanut butter and belly rubs. I mean. She sounds a lot like me. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, really, Mel? Wow. You think of a tarantula, you don't think of it as being scary. Uh, you think of it as being scary, not being like, oh, no, I'm scared. <gasps> Interesting. So you put the grasshoppers in there live, which uh, I believe that's what you typically do, isn't it, uh, Mel, for like... Um, large pet spiders uh and they like because they want to grab hold of and kill their own prey but um not your tarantula he's like no the, dad they're beating me up they can't get up on me <laughs> so you're like uh um let's even this <laughs> let's even out this battlefield let's get handicap this this you, what did how did you injure them now uh, did you like dismember them or just like just give it a, like a stab so it's like Ugh! it sounds awful but you know you've, you've got to do what you gotta do um giant hissing roaches what the hell this sounds amazing you're not an insect fan. there we go metapod and rat two very different on that spectrum there no interesting how do you feel about spiders rat are they like worse? Are they the worst? Scraps of what you ate. That's so cool. And their favourite things are orange and banana. How cool. Yeah, no, it doesn't make sense. All oh, right, so you would just give them a little crack of the carapace. And uh, they were like, ah. Oh. Maybe that's what was freaking them out, Mel. The fact that, you know, obviously, a grasshopper, 
will be like still move a little bit and then it'll whoop, it would j jump and maybe a uh, your tarantula is like oh my god damn rat you rat jesh was in there earlier jesh is um he's probably still here but he's, he might be out in a minute he's uh don't think about this too much uh rat but jesh has currently in his house has a spider infestation uh like he can't they're like all over the place in his bathroom and he's scared of spiders and he's like he doesn't really know what to do about it it sounds pretty crazy um was it man i respect it i love the idea of it um oh oh my god you got pics of the roaches get those up sir if you like um rat you got the um the perfect a attitude there my friend um yeah no <laughs> he wants to he wants to he's not he's not happy about it um yeah so yeah rat when um when i was younger i was also like terrified of spiders so don't worry about it but um and i don't know if this will happen to you um the inquisition was here on his butt <laughs> you said that last time sarah hush uh <laughs> Don't interrupt me. I'm speaking to Rat. Uh, I don't know if you this will happen for you, Rat. But as I got older, I'm I I can honestly say I'm not scared of spiders anymore. And it used to be like real bad for me. Um. Yeah, we just got big boy again. Interesting. Um, I'm not like a fan of them. I'm not like getting up in a grill trying to be their, their buddies. But um, I, uh, I'm just not. I'm not wanting to like touch them with my bare hands, really. But they don't like bother me if they're around. Okay, well this 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 uh, quest up here is kind of confusing me. Come here and kill the Venatori boss. Oh, he's not here. Okay, never mind. Let's not do that then. I don't know. Maybe we never complete that quest. We shall see. Anyway, we're gonna go head back to Skyhold for a minute. Welcome back, Red Mage. Oh my god. This sounds horrifying, rat. Yeah, no, I can imagine. I can imagine, buddy. Bless you. Who knows? Maybe one day. You you had hermit crab sea stuff. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> Only pet I've ever had, and I've never had like it as my personal pet is cats oh no my, my parents had fish we had a fish <laughs> nothing wrong with fish you know i kind of prefer to just eat them <laughs> rather than like having them as buddies you know but uh oh i wonder if i've got enough uh quarry to uh build the watchtower now um but you know it's, i don't know it's what it is you don't you don't get to choose these things oh uh, there we go <coughs> a mage or a templar tower that's actually reminded me yeah i don't know um Excellent. The main tower? Is that the construction? Up there? It's not that tower. That's our personal tower, isn't it? Yeah, that's our quarters there, even though it's not quite that long to get there, but Um Right, I want to quickly head through uh Inquisitor, 
Gatsy, you coming along with uh, those uh, mosaics there? Um, check on our prophet's laurels that we... Uh... Has been with nice. Don't crush your heart with shame. Crush your heart with love. Surely. Don't need to any shame up in here. There you go. Let's plant some new ones. So where's this potential gold? Now we've got the Chantry Garden. Let's go to Mother Giselle. Ah, Inquisitor. You have finally come into your own. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. Um, uh, we're done praying. <laughs> no more prayer. We don't need that anymore. Shut up, lady. We're going to prove ourselves worthy. We're certainly going to try. I'll do my best to earn this. You what's, a, what's a coconut crown? The maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support. Of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Damn, Red Mage. Yeah, I um, I heard about the the uh, power cuts that kind of happen in South Africa, kind of more frequently than they do in other places in the world. See, so they give you a thirty minutes heads up. My God, and for two and a half hours. Bro, okay, well, I hope you, um... Ah, yeah, an inverter that kind of keeps stuff going. Okay. I'm sorry about it, buddy. I'll get you, I'll get you real electricity one day. I don't know how. Um... You only like... <laughs> Bro, yeah, you only like crabs if they're steamed with garlic, but I mean... Yeah, I mean, I've never had like a, a, a living crab that's my buddy. Um, you know, I'm going to quickly look, look it up, uh, Rat, just for my own curiosity. It's insatiable. I'm not going to put it on. I'm not going to put it on the stream. I'm just going to. I just want to have a little gander at it. Is it just like a massive. Uh, it's just like a, a massive uh, crab, basically. Oh, oh, they climb the trees. The Hence coconut trees, hence coconut crab. Okay. Oh, God, yeah, they're chonky boys, aren't they? Are they, like, super strong? Okay. Oh, they actually use a... Sometimes use a coconut shell. As its, as its shell. They do look a little bit freaky. Like if you're not into spiders, you might not be into it. That doesn't bother me. I get if you actually probably want to not let it grab a hold of you. God, yeah, they are chunky old boys, aren't they? Yeah, crustaceans don't freak me out in the same way that um, spiders used to. Uh, nah, that's they don't really bother me, Sea Star. I would probably want to like capture and eat one, honestly. Um. Yeah, Red Mage. I'm sorry you have to deal with that, buddy. But Farewell. such is life, Farewell. I guess. You reckon maybe I would be? I don't know. I, I guess I'd still view it as a crab. So cr crabs, t unless they're really little ones, they typically move fairly slowly. Okay, what's going on here? Got a little marker here. It's not here. The veil holds Above us. No for her, Open the wall. And she will know no fear of death. For the maker shall be her beacon and her shield. Now. God, you still need to tidy up in here, guys. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. I was told there might be random amounts of money turning up at some point. So busy. Thank you for that. Uh, curious. You don't sound. Uh, <laughs> you don't sound thankful. <laughs> uh. Yep. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess what, what I was getting at, right, is I feel that, um, I guess mostly they're uh, not going to just like randomly grab hold of you. Oh, okay. I wasn't really mean to go down here. But... Yeah, I don't know where the gold is, but let's not worry about it. You don't repeat yourself, folks. Yeah, I think there's supposed to be something out there. Um, okay, we need to... Well, before we do that, let's head up and turn in our research. Probably got a bunch of it. Is this the right way? I think it might be. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn. Yeah, there we go. Level 19, we just dinged. Okay, and where's the uh, tower upgrade? Oh, look, there's the other mosaic pieces. Nice. Um, I assume it would be this tower, but... Oh, okay, up here is level stuff, so... Okay, I don't know what the major benefit of uh, coming out here is. The answer is there isn't one. Still got to fix the wall over here, folks. Job's not done until the job's done. Um, needs to get all the way around to those walls there. Okay, let's go around this way, I think. That's quite delayed. Ah! That's Cullen with his wrecked room. Strangest thing. When I reached down, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Yeah, that's Cole. Cole's just stealing things because he doesn't care. Um. Yeah, I guess I was getting at, like, I wouldn't be worried, but I wouldn't, like, let it grab a hold of me because it could take your freaking finger off or, you know. Take your hand off if you wanted. I don't doubt. Um. Dear, right, I've not really used him so much. I guess I could have him in the party for a little bit. I guess there wouldn't be anything wrong with that. We could do that. Ah, here we go. Here's the upgrade. This is what I was looking for. So, uh, Templars, strength and preparation. Cosmetic upgrade that shows commitment to the utility of vigilance. Of, of vigilance. <laughs> uh, the tower becomes a Templar hold to rival any in southern Thedas. Obviously, you get the red Templars, but some of the Templars are our friends. Or the Mage's Tower declares the Inquisition's commitment to careful magical study. Uh, Sky holds Mage Tower with the envy of any circle. Well, we've got mages here. We are a mage. I what's what's better to have? Be cunning and have influence, or to be strong and well prepared. I'd say they're both kind of equally important, but let's go either way. I'm gonna go with the mages. I feel. No worries, no worries, Mal. I'll have a little gander now. Yes, it's fine. We'll go with it. There you go. In front. I want to dwell on it. I just want to have a little gander. Oh, Root. Look at your doggo. Oh, my God. What a cutie pie. Oh, wow, that cockroach is large. Kind of cool. 
Yeah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be freaked out by that. Somehow, I'd be freaked out more if they were like smaller. Yeah, good. Good on you for putting in spoilers. Some people would freak out if they see that. Yeah, you root. You're a doggo. Raven. Nightmare child. <laughs> uh, it's a little cutie pie. And then some. Oh. Wrecking my OBS now. Chill and doze on. Sometimes they hiss. That's so cool. That's so, so what causes them to hiss? Uh, it, does it, is it like an involuntary, involuntary thing they do? Or is it like they're literally like when they're happy, when they're like agitated? Okay, cool. So this is the Major's Tower. I don't know if this is rivaling any circle, major circle. I mean, let's be let's be serious for a minute. Okay, so here we go. So that's answer that question. So there's nothing up the top. You have a little where well, an excellent view. Okay, there's just stuff there. Okay, here. Okay, we've got a bookcase. We've got potions, books, scrolls stuff general general stuff right person stood in a th uh, <laughs> in the uh the banister there staring at nothing okay i've got this um some kind of uh device for making potions maybe or something Okay, and they've got some storage area, more books and scrolls. Sorry, this room, this two, these two little rooms here, are the rival of any major circle in all of Thedas. I don't know. I think they're like, uh, I think that's, <laughs> I think that's telling us the wrong thing here, folks. Anyway, whatever. Oh, and we're back here. Okay, back in the garden. Cool. That's right. Um, we, I think we just need to, uh, I'll let everyone just hangs around and do nothing. We, uh, okay, we definitely got junk to sell. Let's go and see, um, about doing our operations. Oh my God, I can't get comfortable at the minute. Um. <laughs> the best spot in bed. Oh, I, I'm right. I'm constantly trying to find that spot in my bed. Yeah, that's actually a good point, Rat. Uh, when obviously the civil war kicked off and all the rest of it. Not, well, not civil war, but the war between the the Templars and the Majors. Probably. Oh, excuse me. Probably all of the major circles were kind of screwed a little bit, weren't they? That's probably how it went down. Um, right, okay, first things first. Let's, uh, a wide greatsword. Well, I mean, if you're gonna, you're gonna have one. A random Everite. Let me, uh, pick up we got on this side. A bit of coin. Right, okay, these are new. Eyes of the Maker. Hunter Shade Dracolisk. Oh, God, what's that? Uh, investigate an ancient laboratory. Ah, okay. Interesting. Translate the dragon text. Five power. Let's do that first. New area unlocked. The thing is, that's just going to take us to where the dragon is, though, isn't it? It's so, oh, new area immediately dies. Uh, <laughs> okay. Investigate the ancient laboratory. You you send your uh, spies on that. Your special agents. Hunting a draco lisk. Gonna take a while. It's the size of the maker. Uh, 
Um, to work. I'll send Cullen on that. I'll send uh, Josephine on that. It seems to be Inquisitor. better times for each of those. Okay, cool. That'll do for now. Oh, more important than any operations or anything, or any of that random jazz, is the fact that Squidge there, world famous fantasy author, is without a doubt over nine thousand. Smashing it up, Squidge. <laughs> Let me get uh, Squidge's uh, like sort out. Here. Squid, you are going toe to toe with G Ray. Oh, uh, okay. The yawning starting setting. I've um, I've got to be around for uh, midnight my time for Scotty's stream. I hope I can hang in there. Oh, that's freaky. So I've still got these coconut crabs up here. Uh, I, I see one that's using. So that like hermit crabs, they seem to um find something to use as their shell to like hide in. This one here is uh it's <laughs> it looks like something out of like a horror movie, uh or a horror video game. It's like found a like looks what looks like a large plastic empty like doll's head. Like of a like a kid's like dolly. Uh, uh, you know, like the the hollow, empty heads. Um, and so it's like got like a child's human head, as it's <laughs> on it on one end of it. It looks rather freaky. Anyway, let's not look at coconut crabs anymore. Let's do uh, Squidge's flex. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's pretty freaky. Don't go looking for it. It's pretty disturbing. Uh... Uh, where are we at? I know Squidge is right up there. Going toe to toe. G Ray's. Uh... Something's got to give. Even if you two go, you going head to head, you're both going to catch up with Mike before you know it. This is wild. I don't think this is going to happen. Not anytime soon. Um, so I just want to, uh, do that there. There we go. All updated. We are excellent. Thank you, uh, thank you so much, Squidge. Um, yeah, I wonder what that is about, Sea Star. It's like a shipment, it kind of lost at sea or something <laughs> um <clears throat> ah what's it really they're using the the plastic dolls to like hide drugs wow yeah i could see that oh geez so sorry ah! Right, it looks like there's no one we need to pass judgment on at the minute. I mean... <laughs> looks like he, he is, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I should, um, no, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got to level up. Let's do the level up first. What are we going for? Barrier decay reduction plus three constitution. Let's go for that. I can, I can live with that. Let's see if anyone else has got any levels. No. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
decent gear. Um, it's going to be overly crazy, I don't think. Yeah, let me just start selling stuff and... Uh, Although, I should check everyone. Let's just see if we can get something a little bit better for anyone. Wow, all that's crap there you go Cole good increase for you there buddy ah okay cool better armor for him as well right it's a uh, dagger so no he can't have better daggers than what he's got there be crazy crazy talk oh okay it's got extra plus six magic that comes from uh the uh slaughtered staff blade on it i'm gonna get into that at some point not quite at the minute though Cool, there we go. New mar armor for Vivian. I think that's back to her, uh, her like, standard outfit there. About, um... Oh, okay. Or Lesion Henning. Gotta, gotta lose that. There you go, Vivian. You look far more fierce now. Actually, I suppose she looks a bit more friendly, maybe. <laughs> uh, Solus. Uh, probably not be using Solus, really. Let's give him whatever. I think he's alright on his gear, isn't he? Let's see if we've got a new staff for him. Surely we have. A fractionally better. We'll go for that. Uh, Varric. Oh, nice. There we go. Get out on your buddy. Okay, cool. He's done. He's sorted. Uh, it was just bull. Yeah, just check bull. He can't have a better weapon than that. No. Armor. No. Okay, there we go. So I can, uh... I'm going to put on a saddle ride junk now. Yeah, it looks, it looks, uh, it did look pretty cool, didn't it, Root? But I'll just go, I've just got the best stats. <laughs> uh, right, no, sorry. Armor tinting. I don't care about that. It's, no, different colour, are it? <laughs> Does it matter? Um, Guard damage bonus. So I'll I'll deal with it. Aha! Vavaric amulet of power. Remind me to use that. No, right, and all of that can go. And all of that as well, for better or worse. Ah, the demon slain room. We'll s store that. All right, that's all random junk. All right, 16,000 16, gold. We're doing all right, considering. All things considered. Um, right, here we go. Varric accessory. A minute of power. Nice. Get that back on him. I'll spend this point just in case. I don't think it matters too much. 
Right. Uh, okay, we're working on this trap stuff. What's that? Passive crit. Five percent crit bonus. Okay. Why oh, he's got two points? Why has he got two points? I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, and I guess I'll upgrade that as well. So, oh, the, the points just didn't show up for some silly reason. Come on, devour. Damage based on how badly you're wounded and healing yourself. Ring of pain significantly increases the effect. Yeah, uh, I'm in. Let's get everything else, I guess. No reason not to, I feel, at this point. Oh, my God, I've... Of course, Solus is still, and I think Vivian. I'm still waiting for them on their specializations. And Coles as well. Now, I was planning to take Cole with us for a minute. So maybe we'll. I should go speak to him. Uh, Blackwall, your champion, you. Bloody champion. Oh yeah, take that, buddy. Uh, cool. Okay, that's taken care of. Um, I wonder if Cole hangs around in his usual spot. Yes, and he probably will. So I do need to have like deep in. In depth, deep in depth. I swear to God, sometimes <laughs> I need to have some in depth conversations with all of the uh, individuals, all of our companions. But uh, I just, I'm going to do that like kind of before we move on. Now, the main story. Now, bloody hell, there's coal. What's that? Ah, okay. Black, Black Wall found return artifacts to him. Yeah, because we found one without him. And he might be like, rah, rah. we've got to give it to him. This, this is just, it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. Yeah. We've got a hit on her, haven't we? It's only about the work. I hope there's more than just the work keeping you here. Well, there's you, of course. The Inquisition is nothing without its herald. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. I see they're making a little kids' toy. To understand what he meant. Um. Yeah, why follow it all? No, uh, you are who you choose to follow. We all follow someone, don't we? Or someone ideal. We all look to each other. That's, that's fairly wise words. Mike! How you doing? No worries, buddy. There you go. He's doing a little lurk. He, he's about to start work, aren't you, Mike? All right, you take care, my friend. Thank you for hanging around. Um... Uh, Platinum Rug. Ah, that's who e whose email it was. Ah, interesting, Sea Star. That's cool. The McDonald's Arch. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to look out for this. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. Too far away at the minute. Let's man, just get on his face. Honor, a true knight. We met Get on his face. In the could be something. Sony. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Grand Tourney. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, <laughs> dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> But the greatest part is the contest. <laughs> it's not far off, is it? <laughs> Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. And what happened? How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, 
each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The That's the way to do it. Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. Why do he help you? He must have wanted something from you to help like that. A pupil, a squire, someone to teach and to mold. He saw my potential. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. No. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. No. My life would have been very different if I'd followed him. I regret that. But now I believe I made the right decision after all. Yeah. Are we about to have a little kiss? Because of me. If of your life had been different, we wouldn't have met. Nothing escapes your notice. Our paths may never have crossed if I'd gone with the old Chevalier. I could never regret this life. Not with you in it. Oh, bless him. <laughs> bless him. Yeah, there you go. So... I know you feel he'd look much better without the beard and just the stash metal, but you can see his stash is like it's, it's you know it's, it's very stashy. Um, welcome back, Sea Star. Um, oh, I, you know Sea Star. It doesn't even it doesn't matter. I am honoured if I'm your favourite streamer, but it, you. Uh, I was not finished with him. We got a bit more to oh yeah oh yeah we've not finished our conversation with him okay uh i just want you to live your best life sea star whatever you want to do um but yeah I hope you can forgive me for pushing you away uh you're the one suffering i'm not giving up um <laughs> uh yeah we're not giving up if you think i'm just going to let it go everyone must be naked still you an explanation who i am what i am please just meet me there oh okay that sounds ominous this is all sounding very suspicious don't make up your mind until we get there okay travel to the storm coast with black wall for an explanation okay can i not give him this item to do with water. There you go, that's what, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Never mind. Let's talk about us. Um, we're going to go through all these this dialogue with him Nothing and right others now. later on. Yeah, look at this little uh, griffin thing he's making. We need to head to Adamant Fortress yeah, 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 we're working on it. I was just having a look at your little woodwork project. The wardens. We can't let it slip away. Yeah, I suppose I should probably take Blackwall with us. Right, okay, um... Exploration time. Um... I don't think there's, uh... Anything around randomly elsewhere. No. Might need to do once over from everything before, but uh, we shall see. Um, <laughs> but you appear to be a man. A little ferret pops out and goes, no. <laughs> uh, um, Hey, Lee! Pretty head. Oh, I don't know about that. Well, I'll take it, Lee. How you doing, bro? Are you well? What's going on, sir? All these compliments. I can't... You guys are too kind to me. Um, For the future children. <laughs> I mean... I say, I'll tell you what, Ru. That was... Uh, that did... I was like, hang on a minute. Is he... <laughs> is he getting ahead of himself here? He's just like, oh, I'm just making this just... What's that you're making, Black? Well, uh, nothing. Looks like a child's toy. There aren't any children around here. There aren't any children yet. <laughs> um, he's, he's all about preparation, isn't he? Uh, 
<laughs> you continue to exist, Lee. That's the um, that's the most important thing, buddy. I'm glad that you are you're doing that. I'm here if you need to chat at all, bud. If you know, not I can't help with practical considerations, obviously, but if you just need someone to like vent or rent out, I'm here. I'm here if you if you do need me, Lee. Always make time for you. Um. So what? What are these mods that you're trying to put in, uh, Rat? Tell me about it. Um. Right, yeah, we're gonna go to the Emerald Graves. I don't know what's here. I'm gonna find out when we get there. Um. Okay, so we'll take Cassandra. Um. Let's take Dorian, but let's take Cole with us. I don't know too much about him. We'll try him out a little bit. Let's see if we get some banter with him. Can you, oh, can you imagine, like, Cole and Vivian? They're like complete opposites of each other, aren't they? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll take Cole with us for a little bit. I've never really uh, used him too much. Mod trim. Yeah, I'm still... Uh, they're still working on the update for that uh, red mage. Um, it's so uh, graphically intensive, and there's so much to it. I'll be able to fit on my new hard drive. That shouldn't be an issue. My graphics card may not be able to handle it, so I, I there are like performance settings, the performance mode. There's things you can do to lessen the graphics so it runs better. Uh, which for some people they're just like that would be a terrible waste. But for me, it's like well, I've got to work with what I've got. It's still going to look better than vanilla Skyrim, so I'm excited about it. Okay, and I don't know. We could have an option for the producers if they want to like put it forward to like do two weeks of Skyrim. Um, I'll probably want to play it off stream a little bit, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen Indeed, a number of rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious we'll do those. Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. Okay. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Um, okay. Interesting. Tell me about this Fairbanks character. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Indeed. And tell me about the area, please. Do you know anything else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal Jeez. perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? Um. But I don't know, it bothers me. <laughs> well, I kind of don't, but this, uh, that's our, um, that star icon there is kind of, um, potentially kind of open up new dialogue or you know unless it's really something you don't want to say i guess uh i think it's like dependent on your character as well like if if you're human you wouldn't have that option um we're the last elven we are the last elven never again shall we submit oh i'm i'm sorry inquisitor i spoke thoughtlessly no Thank you for the information. Oh, hard. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. You've tangled with the Freeman of the Dales before. Oh, they yes. have a presence here. Oh, I get slapped. Watch your back, Inquisitor. All right, I'll slap the shizzle out of him. Like we did before. We'll do it again. Um. No. I have... Uh, I'm sorry to say I've technically bought Skyrim three times. I got it once when it was released many, many years ago. Ten years ago on release day. In fact, I actually, this cool thing, Amazon actually came through. Uh, I actually got it one day before release day. Inquisitor, if you have that was pretty cool. Um, Yes, report please. What is it? This could help us. I recently, for for the stream, 
I bought a copy for um, uh, for my Xbox One. And then I was like, oh, actually, mods. Oh, actually, this is going to run much, much better on uh, PC if we want to do mods. So what, another copy for PC? <sighs> Silly me. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, a giant law. Now, I don't know why you want to make law in giants, but we'll make one anyway. It gives us a bit of power. And I guess we're picking up the same requisition again. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Right, okay. Here we are. In the forest with the forest ruins and all lots of forest and stuff. So, let's go. But it's fine. We've got a skull on the stick now. So, that means we're badass and scary. Cole, he's not even said a bloody thing so far. I thought we would have said something about now, considering we've never had him in the party yet. Move on. I'll see him uh, do his dagger work. Shanking some peeps up. Boy! Freeman of the Dales, I. Uh, let me. Um, I feel like there's enough of them to uh, justify this. Who do we think we are? There's some randos who came through and just wrecked you. More Freeman. This is where they're strongest. Oh, Cole, you said something. That's cool. Uh, where are we? Is that what I said? What's that? What's that leak? <laughs> yeah. Is that that got censored or was that uh is that a link? <laughs> uh <sighs> Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it, Red Mage? Um I think I should be fine once I've got this uh mod pack downloaded and uh yourself okay i'd like to trust you but we don't trust anyone these days okay fair enough buddy we'll be fine we'll be fine we're not yet to cause grief we're uh we're just here to be invisible oh a five second clip oh yeah fair enough thank you thank you for the clip there uh lee i appreciate that um i don't know what it is i swear I have it set up to allow people to share links on, like, of Twitch clips. I thought it was set up by default, like it accepted them. I, so I do apologize about that. Oh! It's posted for you guys. How weird. For me, I've just, get, I've just got three asterisks there. Does anyone else can see that? That clip that Lee's posted there? interesting well th anyway thank you lee i appreciate it buddy uh, and i do love how you do your uh your clip competition lee it's really cool guys let me tell you about this um lee um to encourage people to make clips of his channel he uh every month he gives away like a uh, really cool like mug leaderpus mug uh which is pretty damn cool honestly um and uh you win it by uh if you make clips throughout the month, uh, and then, you know, Lee goes through them all. He picks out, like, I think it's your t top three, Lee. And then he turns that over to all the viewers to vote on. And the uh, the winner of the vote of the viewers wins a mug, which I think is pretty freaking cool, Lee. You know, encouraging people to get involved and all the rest of it. And uh, it is 
That's a great, that's a great idea, buddy. Um, yeah, do you, Red Mage? I, how weird? How very weirdly? Uh, it'll be there, so I can, uh, I can uh, check it out. I do need to go through my clips. I think there's, you know, like some people, um, some streamers when you raid, they'll like, they immediately jump on playing a random clip of you, and sometimes. <laughs> I don't you always feel it gives the best impression of me uh, <laughs> or the channel some depending on what the clip is sometimes uh, which is which is fine it's not like they do what they want but um like uh, if it's silly nonsense like you guys would get it but if like anyone who doesn't know who the hell I am like sorry who's just raided <laughs> who's just raided my favorite streamer this weirdo yeah, never mind. See you later. Um, no, it's a really cool idea, Lee. Uh, I, I guess you had you got like a little batch of uh, of uh, mugs made, and then you like dish them out like one a month. It's uh, it's cool because it like your your um. Okay, let's listen to Fairbanks first for all. Hang on about Lee's mug. They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why okay, mate. Care about this, you ask? Because the free men are colluding with your enemy. My enemy? Which enemy do you mean? No, uh, yeah, which the which Rook one? Templars. All right, okay. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the free men bases, leaving with crates. Okay. Destroy the free men, and they'll lead you straight to the Red Templars. This I promise. Ugh. Excuse me. Okay. Destroy the free men, and lead you to the Red Templars. Okay, we. We do want to destroy the Red Templars once and for all, in theory. So let's, I guess we'll help them out. Um, ah, excellent. Yeah, I think Stream Elements has a similar thing. You just, you put, get your own graphics and you plaster it on whatever they want. Okay, so you bought, so you got a mug made with you and a uh, Barry on it, and you got um, you just bought a small batch yourself then to post out to people. That's cool. Oh wait! Oh, have you just got one yourself, and then you and then you buy them, and then get them sent out to people? Yeah, that make more sense. Then you've got to do the posting side, have you? Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, it's really yeah, it's cool, Lee, because you've got like um like I've got here, like you know, you've got a good group of regulars who are always happy to see you and happy to just hang out and you know, regardless of what you're playing or whatever you're doing on stream, um. And they're, you know, they're pretty engaged anyway. But yeah, it's just like adding that extra, you know, an extra thing for them to do. You know what I mean? And so, uh, and get some decent clips out of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Totally, totally, bud. Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm blessed with uh, ev everyone I know on Twitch. It's, uh, it's almost too much sometimes. <laughs> In, like, the best possible way. Um, baseless speculation. Should we put this guy in his place? You've no proof. You're on your own. I won't oh. Freeman for you. I wasn't... That's it. You're just walking away. This is the Herald... That's not what I wanted to say. Oh, f Quest completed. No. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. I just happened to hear the doorbell there. I was just wanting to listen, see if my brother had heard it and jumped up to get it. Um, but he did, so it's good. Um, uh, why do dolls never have scars? Uh, what do you mean, like the kids' dolls we were talking about? Um... I mean, most people, if you're talking like scars, like uh, chunky old scars, like uh, I want to load, reload the save. I, I just wanted to put him in his place a little bit to be like, yeah, okay, buddy. Just because you think that doesn't mean it's true. But we were literally like, no, we're not helping you, you scum. And they ended the quest. And it's like, that's. That's not the outcome I wanted. So as we're like so close to the start of the area, we'll just load it up again and run back down there. Sweet to me. Uh, what a freaking idiot I am. 
Inquisitor, have you reconsidered? These three men are. Oh, it's a reconsideration, is there? Okay, yeah, I'll see what I can do, buddy. I'll look into this, Burbanks. All my information about the three men is right here in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. I'm sure we could probably manage without you, buddy, but. Okay, so soon. <laughs> It's not wrecked our, uh, our quest there. Let me go. Let's turn that off for a minute. Uh, there you go. The Emerald Graves. All right. Okay, so he's like, look at my documents. Two Fade Rifts. Snow some camps. Okay. I thought it had janked up then. Um, yeah, uh... Right, I mean, I guess because, I mean, yeah, if you, if you mean like, I assume you mean scars like the scars like our character has on her face and a lot of like Sandra has on her jawline, etc. Um, I guess it's just because that's not the baseline. Nothing wrong with having a meaty scar on your face, but. Uh, but if you mean just like, you know, acne scars or just like blemishes on your face, like I have plenty of, um, then I guess, I don't know, they, I guess they want to present uh, a degree of what, not that you've looked at like a, a kid's doll and been like, oh my god, that's like realistic or, <laughs> or uh, anything like that, but I don't know. I guess it's like... A baseline and they don't want to like deviate from it or something i don't know and it depends what it is like if you uh oh i don't think i we did when i was a kid but like if it's like an action man doll uh which uh oof, i don't know, I'll just eat myself off there never mind uh which both me and my brother had as kids um they uh never uh you know they, they didn't have like scars on their faces or anything oh, but yes. they could have and it probably would have looked cool do you know what i mean okay i'm not actually uh okay viridium mine okay that's where we're going wow just leaving your produce on the floor like that i need to tidy up your food in here is he trying to be funny as i walk by him I mean, I guess we're only Dalish on a technicality. I mean, that's not that's not true. We're obviously not of a Dalish tribe that's just randomly wandering around here. I guess this is what, more what he's getting at. All right, this belongs to us, by the way. I'm not in the mood to talk right now. But I'm talking to her anyway. Maybe later. All right. Well. Well. In that case. There are much worse places to be hiding out from what I've seen. Okay, and we've got some veil fire just hanging around. Hmm. At once. What on earth could I be using this for? Did you hear? Maybe I'm too old to be living in a forest. No. Too old? What are you talking about, buddy? Too old to be living in the forest. I'll be, be, be stoked to live in the forest. <laughs> I mean, um, are you gonna put some scars on a, a doll's? Yeah, do it. Yeah, Oh, right. Sorry, I'm just catching up here. Customized dolls. Okay. Yeah. This is a particular con you get a hold of. And what kind of stuff do you do? You put scars on them. Wow. Wow, that's pretty freaking cool. Done well again. Feel free to get your, your pictures of any of your dolls in the uh, in the conflux as well. I'd love to see those.
Oh, Red Mage, our what? Our skull on a stick. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, I mean, Sea Star. I mean, it's um, it's not for me to say, but you know, it, I'd be lying if I said that it would never been said before. You know, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm never going to lie to you. Um. Hey, look, and Rat, we were talking about this earlier. I think it was just before we came in, actually. You know, life is a learning process. You know, and you're still young as well. Not that I'm old, but relatively. You know, take time. Uh, you know, you know, a thing you want to learn to do, learn it. You know, um, or tr you know, experiment, try a thing. You might like it. You might hate it. It might be the the best thing you've ever done. Uh, and a thing like that, customizing dolls, um. That's like, not not many other people out there are doing that. It's going to be like some experimentation involved in that. So go for it. Damn, sea star. Oh god, you guys so so skilled. Okay, I see, Rat. Like, if you're trying to um, get a doll and customize it and get the clothing for it and stuff to fit a very specific, like, culture or time period, uh, you're concerned, you, you want the authenticity. Okay, well, I suppose you could make adjustments after the fact if you felt it was wrong, but. And the, are these for sale, uh, Rat? Are people uh, buying these off you? Are these just for your own collection? Oh, damn. Getting into it. The full hazmat suit, spray some sealant and stuff. <laughs> hey, better safe than sorry, my friend. Oh, bless you, rat. Yeah, you look after yourself. We all get different hand of cards, my friend. Uh, whether you've got the best hand of cards or real shitty hand of cards, always play it to the best of your ability with strength don't be, don't fold never fold always play the cards always uh you know put some more chips in keep it going excellent and uh, yeah it sounds like they do help <laughs> maybe see star That's cool. That's really cool, Rat, that you've like, found that as like not only a creative outlet, but also something that you can, um, you know, it helps with your anxiety or, you know, anything like that. Good on you, buddy. But yeah, like I say, if you, again, only if you're comfortable uh, and you want to, I'd love to see pictures of those. Or like you know, select few or select one. Right, okay, so we got our uh, documents, did we? Eh? All right, okay. Let's have a look at the rough map. So it looks like we're basically at the south here. So random quest to pick up. Uh, ah, primeval red lyrium. We're probably going to want Varric in the party then, aren't we? We got more than. We got two. Um. Uh, uh, let's head for that. Let's make a beeline for that camp. And then we'll uh switch Varric in. Cole. I'm sorry, Cole. We'll, we'll get you back in a bit, buddy. I want to keep Varric happy. God, this um it's a little bit rocky this part of the forest, but these trees are lovely. Oh, what's this? A random house. I could do that. Yes, you can, Cole. Off you go. Good lad. I'm 
Okay. If somebody's one room house out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's kind of slightly sus, isn't it? I don't know. Never mind. Varric's going to be upset if we destroy that with him. I mean, he won't really be. How many times have we completed this quest? I haven't even smashed the thing yet. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, he slightly approves rather than massively approves because he wasn't there. That's fine. Good enough for me. Well, you, uh, you seem to be getting the job done there, Cole. In one way or another. Yeah, right, that's excellent. Rather than, like, buying expensive pre-made stuff. Oh, sorry, folks. This is, um, lack of sleep is catching up with me slightly. I we did on time. I don't feel, uh, oh. For some reason, I didn't think that was in the game then. I was like, my hearing things. <coughs> I, um, what's I saying? Yes, yeah, lack of sleep. Sorry about that. I'll, uh, well, I'll hopefully I'll have a less yawny uh, stream tomorrow. I should sleep very well tonight, especially as I've got to stay up for a little bit, help Scotty out. Yeah, I would be on the stream, but it's not, um, it's a little bit late for me to be talking at that, that point. Uh, find the key to Villa Morel. Okay. Kill the Freeman of the Dales. Okay. Yeah, if you want to get behind him, Cole, go for it. Oh, there's a chunky boy there. Cole's a little bit squishy, isn't he? That's a strong lightning bolt. That's one way to solve the problem. Yeah, yeah, Dorian, just kill him. Uh, Cole, I, I don't know if I've got his um his tactics out. I shouldn't have really used him. Yeah, I've already had three cups of coffee today. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if it's a bit overkill for me to be... Um... Uh, let me go. we got his assassin traits. This would make him much better. Um, knock out bomb. Arm and penetration. Okay, I'm just going to... Not worry about what they are at the minute. I'm just gonna get these. I'll get a little passive. So there we go. And of course, check his tactics. Right, here we go. Fifty percent. Hidden potions reserve zero. There we go. We good. We good. Oh, this uh, area belongs to us. Can you see our flag? Yes, you can. I don't know if I need to be carrying that veil fire. I don't want to carry it around, but I have to pick it up again after every time we uh, leave it. 
Oh, okay. That's the key for that villa back there. Okay, interesting. I guess maybe we'll head back and check that out first. As it's uh, right there. See why we wouldn't necessarily. Hard in High Town, Chapter Nine. Nice. Sorry, Sea Star. I know it's terrible, isn't it? It's weird. The yawning would, would do that to people. You mentioning that made me want to yawn again. I kind of semi-controlled it there for a second. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> it's, um, it'd be like that sometimes. Well, he's definitely putting out decent damage. I can say that for certain. Right, okay, so this place counts as a dungeon. I, I see no reason why not to go now. Now. Maybe there's a specific quest tied to it later, but... Let's just have a gander. My god. Sorry, I've... Uh, got to rearrange myself a little bit there. <laughs> right. ah, there we go. He's balanced out again, as a red mage. Okay. Good. It's, sorry, Lee. I shouldn't be. Uh, I shouldn't have announced that. I don't, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm truthful to the point of, like people like is we don't even need or want to be hearing about <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh, I, can't, I can't help it. I don't know. Freeman's leader should be holed up here. This place is oh, sick will it? Okay. These men are thugs. What do you expect? Damn! Look at this place. This is a bit lardy da for out being in the middle of the woods. I haven't heard anything from the plane. Have you? No, nothing moves anywhere. Damn. We are pulling out some nice damage. Still waiting a little bit of banter off with Cole, with the, uh, you know, either uh, Cassandra or Dorian. That's not predisposed. We'll see. I'm sure I've seen banter from like every other uh, person before now. We should look around. Uh, yes, Cole, we should. Obviously. Uh, crap. I'll take it anyway. Now, he's talking about this room, I believe. B fragment. There's a rune inscribed on it, or part of one. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> okay, fair enough, Lee. I didn't think you would. I was just. <laughs> I'm just like. I'm like just almost painfully honest. Which you know, I guess it's um. You know, a best that could be an endearing quality. At uh, <coughs> at uh, worst, it could be uh, seen as being um, naive or even uh, hurtful. You know, you know, someone's like, "Oh, do I look fat in this dress?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Oh my god, you can't say oh, why. Why did you ask the question then? I don't. I'm not, and I'm like, double down, and I'm like, "Oh, don't worry, it's not the dress. You're just fat." <laughs> 
That's when I'll get punched in the face. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't care. I don't care. Life, life's too short to be like worrying about. I think we're talking earlier. As long as you um. As long as you like be giving people the benefit of doubt, be you know, be kind and considerate to people. Uh, I think like honesty is like one of the best things you can do for other people and and yourself. Okay, that was the front door. We kind of just went around the outside a little bit. That's fine. I guess we got to look around everywhere in this place anyway. So this doesn't... It's not really too much of an issue. This crazy artwork. It's... Uh, who, 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 who lives in a house like this? I don't know. Someone with a lot of money who's now no longer here is... It's like, ah, let's build a mansion in the middle of the forest that's not near anything. <laughs> what? Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, all lesions, yes. Yeah, indeed, rat, indeed. Bloody all lesions. I mean, some of them are great, some of them are a little bit dramatic. Um. No, I assumed that would be the case, Lee. That's the vibe I got from you. Just like to, you know, put that, put that out there. You know, you definitely you always be kind and considerate to people, but also don't shy away from reality to save people's feelings. Okay, there we go. Another key fragment. I'll go for, go for that, I guess. Uh, random armor. I don't think that's any better. Um. Yeah, not the, you know, I don't have a problem with anyone who's fat. It's just, it's, you know, one, the fat is relative. Two, you, you need to have some fat on your body. Did you hear about the guy who had like 0% body fat and died? And he literally died because he worked out all day every day. Like, 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 like hard. Not like a, not like a, a passable, isn't it, workout? Well, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> um, but like, you know, and he died because he like worked out too hard and he had no fat on his body. And his body is like, nah, can't, we can't be, keep doing this, bro. And he just died. And so, poor guy. Having that like kind of um super dedication but this is like the limit you've got to find balance with everything folks um you know but the that balance goes the other way as well and i can only say that because i i was most assuredly the fat kid when i was uh younger and i didn't like it and you know i think i think i got bullied for it but you know, I had plenty of unpleasant comments aimed at me from other children who were just looking for someone, you know, with less social status or weaker than them to boost themselves up. Which, you know, is an unfortunate thing. But, uh, it was a fun. I never, I, I don't think I could ever be, like, ripped. When I was at my uh, best shape, I pretty much didn't have, like, any... I was, like, well muscled, but didn't have, like, pretty much any, like, belly fat. But it was no... It wasn't, like... It wasn't... <laughs> I wasn't sculpted. I wasn't, like, cut. I wasn't, like, ripped. I wasn't... I wasn't shredded. It wasn't... Or even close, uh, you know. 
Maybe, maybe technically I could have got to that, but how many, how many setups do you want to spend your life doing? Do you know what I mean? How much of your life do you want to spend doing setups? I'm conscious, do you know what I mean? It's like, there's, li there's limits to these things. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, some, some people, there's not. It's like worth going crazy, but I just, I don't know. So Cole, you're actually, you're putting out some good damage, bud. I am somewhat impressed. I'm not so impressed that he just kind of got stuck on the spot there. And the AI is being kind. He's uh, putting out some fairly reasonable damage. That seems to be the last of them. I'm guessing yeah, that's all you have to do. In charge. We struck uh, a blow against the Freeman. They chose the wrong friends. Oh, I mean, that's one way of looking at it, Cole. Uh, you're going to power. Uh, Red Templar new. Uh, have a chat with Malefant. Uh, make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services at an Empire de Leon. A bit late for that, I'm afraid. We'll always use a few more. You're all wrecked. We, we, we stomped through that area. Be discreet. Malefant's still useful. I doubt he's remained so if he thinks we're steal stealing his soldiers. Yeah. Red Templars. Why not? Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. They wanted something. It's still here. Okay. That's the third part of the key. We've got to find a way to reassemble it, eh? Okay, that's the door for the key. Well, we've got a... Uh... I could do that if you wish. I do wish, Cassandra. I do. It's so classic that only a warrior can kick a wall in. Red Lyrian. They must have been smuggling it for the Templars. Not a stat check. Oh, okay. Let's get that. Uh Mosaic piece, nice. Um, come on, guys. All right, place the fragments here. And is that giving us? Oh, energized. There we go. Okay, that's fixed the key. Okay. Very well. Um,. Yeah, that's all you got to do, Red Mage. Just do Saitama's uh, workout regimen. And you will become, you know, and you do, if you make sure you adhere to it perfectly and you never... Why have so many things if you never see them? I mean, that's a good point, actually, Cole. I can respect that. Um, yeah, if you stick to it, then you will become the most powerful being in existence. All right, Andraste is sacrificed. T plus 10% cooldown modifier. Chant on hit. Taunt all enemies within eight meters for four seconds. The wearer of this amulet regenerates mana or stamina at a higher rate. Oh, rogue or mage only. Now, the thing is, you don't... That's cool. Is it only... The, the high rate is 10%. So every time I do any basic attack, all enemies within 8 meters of us are getting taunted. Now, for each attack, it takes about a second to do. So, <laughs> so literally, you, you, if you wear that, you're suddenly going to be the tank. 
And you can use your abilities slightly more often. But I don't know. I don't know about that one. Maybe we'll hang on to it. But gotta look up the artwork. Um, Battle Master coat schematic. Nice. Uh, chunky life ward amulet. Uh, corrupting rune. Or Legion banner crown. I don't know what that is. But some, some random collectible. Uh, how embarrassing. See how embarrassed I am. You see, don't you? <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so I guess that's this place done. Time to leave. Okay, let's go. Okay, fancy new staff. Is it any good? What do you reckon? Wow, no, it's awful. Oh, my God. Apologies. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to double check. We definitely went all the way through there. Red Mage, good call. Very good call, buddy. Uh, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't I? That's just that's how much of an influencer I am. But <laughs> gonna do what I want you to do. Here we go. There we go. Let me get a stretch for Red Mage. Oh my god. Apologize to those who hate that knuckle crack sound. Some people like it. I like it. I like feeling it as well. Uh, my my mother. If I do that around my mother, she like she's like, stop doing that. I hate the sound of it. I'm like, what the sound of freedom? You hate that, mum. Don't want to say to that. Yeah. Oh my god. It's leaping out of me right now. Yeah, excellent, Red Mage. You've got to do it together, buddy. There we go. There we go. That, I feel better already. Thank you. Am I? <laughs> Root, I'm so sorry. Well, yeah, we're having lunch today, Root. Ah, oh, well, you know, it's uh, had a, an excellent. Uh... <laughs> An excellent uh, recommendation. It's called Sleep. <laughs> uh, do you feel it is time for coffee, Red Mage? I don't know. I'll say I've um, I've already had three cups today. I suppose I could go for another one. We could definitely do that. Um, I don't really see why not. It's fine. Special day. It's a day of uh, earliness. And, uh, we're, um, let's hope, uh, we've got another one of those coming up at some point. <laughs> I'll be it for a bit. Let's hope so. Right, okay, so it actually seems to be a dead end. We've got the wall there and the wall there, so I can't actually get around that way. I guess I've got to go around like that. Um... Curious. I suppose this is part of. I guess this is part of the villa, right? I guess it must be, essentially. All right, Prophet's Laurel. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm just going to head this way. Is 
a very peaceful place. And the only thing that's kind of really holding it back is obviously the uh, Red Templars and bandits and everything wandering around. Oh, right, yeah, I'm going too far now. I've, like, turned. That's back down into the court out of the villa. Oh, I thought... Oh, okay, okay, there we go. That's, um... I didn't see this little uh, hill here. We could have climbed up. Okay. Right, so we need to be just heading further in this direction. And then turn left here. There we go. Oh my god. Uh, uh, me as a Halloween costume. Um, get a moonlight as Captain Planet. Not, not just Captain pa Planet, Red Mage. Pirate Captain Planet. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, I have to pull, pull that artwork out. Slick Mick made it, um, interesting little photoshop of me not only as uh, a pirate but also as captain planet if you can imagine such a thing um yeah quite quite you know <laughs> yeah indeed. very yeah indeed indeed exactly like that uh, it was uh oh my it's a thing so basically yeah if you were kind of newer to the stream i used to have a, a channel point redemption where i would um basically say like whatever you wanted you could type out what you want me to say and i'll do it in like a pirate voice because i do be having a wee bit of a piratey voice occasionally land lovers um and it was and we came we came up with all sorts of crazy silliness uh the people you know various pop songs and um Ver, you know various uh tv theme tunes and you know you name it a little bit of everything um and it was a lot of fun but i just kind of didn't like the like on demand thing like if we're in whether we're in the middle of like our chunky chat at the beginning of the stream or if we're in the middle of the game and i'm like oh, oh, oh okay guys we're gonna just pause what we're doing and to take care of this thing over here. It was, you know, it was very amusing, but I just didn't like how it interrupted the flow of the uh, the stream. And uh, also, you know, I want to be here for you guys, but also don't want to, regardless of the amusement of a particular given action or situation, I also don't want to be like, you know, like a trained seal. Like, here you go, here's, here's your fish. Jump up for that. You know, you know, does that make sense? Um, not, not ever felt like that. You know, no one who was redeeming any of that was, like, abusing them. Uh, and we got some hell, hella funny uh, uh, redemptions. Uh, particularly out of Malegio. He was, like, our main contributor for that. Uh, also, uh, Darkly as well. Darkly got a, a, a few decent ones in. Um, and many other people um it was a it's a cool idea but that's the thing with uh streaming it's you know i feel like it, you know the first two years of complete experimentation and then even after that point you still experiment uh ad infinitum um because you, you know it's like you found a uh formula or a process and you kind of we could camp here could trying to uh constantly refine it aren't you but it was a lot of fun um Ha, <laughs> ha, 
I, I can say this, Red Mage, regardless of how good or good or wasn't good it was, I I did go at it with full force, full gusto. I wasn't. This was. It wasn't like a weak ass pirate. This was. <laughs> this was like you know, like my over nine thousands. That you know, I was like, we're we're doing this properly. Uh, yeah, it's still a little safe. My God, eighty hours into the game, folks. I believe such a thing. I think that's still um probably technically less than uh oh is it coming for me no. I think we're still less than we were on the first game and uh Okay, where are these spots? They're not appeared yet. No? Yeah, it did that weird thing. Oh no, wait, it's just one random enemy flying around over here. Oh yeah, that's weird though. I was like, hang on, where are the, uh, the new... No, it's got to kill this guy first, there we go. Oh, someone still hanging around? Okay, no, we're done. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was, I was like, what even is going on here? Right, what we got here? Is that two there? Let's go and get those two. Okay, cool. That might even be three I've got, honestly. No, exactly, Rat. It's not, like I say, it's not, um, no one was, like, trying to do it from the point of view of, uh, being like, hey, I mean, it's not do stuff. It was just for the amusement of the whole channel. And it was very amusing. It's just I didn't want to, you know, be, uh, beholden to that. <laughs> Excellent. Perfect, Easter. The idea is, it's, you know, to, to maybe keep that in there a little bit, but it'd be a bit more spontaneous. But maybe I don't use it spontaneously enough. I don't know. I so said this is um. I so said we've recently got to the two-year mark, guys. A little over now. Um. Let's see what year three three brings us, basically. Right. Okay. So. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's the actual villa there. And, of course, that's the walls on the outside. But what's that I missed there? Smuggler letters. Okay, we'll come back to that. Just keep heading this way for now. God, yeah, Emerald Graves might be the, the nicest place so far. So far from all the, the demons and all the rest of it. Alright, uh, Argon's Lodge. Okay, barred from the other side. Let me just... Wow, you saying I can't climb through that window? You really saying I can't climb through that window? Shocking. Let's look around. You think? Thank you, Sea Star. It's been a it's been a wild uh, journey, and you know various things have changed throughout the two years. Um. Okay, I can get through this way then. Yeah, I don't know what the future holds, but um, I'm feeling quite good about it at the minute. Okay, that's bad from the other side. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, so whatever that is, is clearly in there. All right, let's do. The other side. Okay, let's kill these guys. And I wonder what game we've got coming up after Dragon Age Inquisition. You guys know I generally don't like to uh, hint at stuff. Now, it has just turned October. So we have the producers have a, um, a bunch of more votes between them. Seemingly, they're all like sat on those votes at the minute it's like they're holding their their playing cards their hand close to their chest they're like watching each other to see who else votes for what <laughs> um we should wait and see there is one game that's technically lined up um that could be uh started after this if no one else votes on stuff but after that i'm gonna have to be prompting them honestly But we shall see. There's no, uh, no rush to do anything. Um, I also may be having uh, Game Pass back uh, for like a little bit. It's actually cheaper to get three months at a time than, uh, than one month at a time. Not by much, but kind of cheap enough that I'm like, let's uh, let's get it. Um, <laughs> oh dear. All the Freeman's orders, my god. Um, what can we get in this building? Ah, uh -huh. we actually can for a change. And it's nothing here. Uh, <laughs> oh, Dalish banner, okay. You. Uh, welcome back, Sween. How's your day going so far, Sween? How was your day, Shreen? I, I was going well so far. Um, yeah, what was I jibber jabbering about? Something or other. Yeah, what well, well, game's coming up? But yeah, so yeah, Game Pass. Uh, there are the games. There's a lot of games on Game Pass. I, most of which I don't really have on the list. Although I guess there's a couple on there that I would consider being on the list. Um, whether it's the producers or not uh to get the most out of the game pass if we get three months of it it kind of makes sense to play games on game pass and we can we can even like enter a bit of an experimental phase um on the channel for a couple of months and just kind of explore some random games if that is a thing that you guys you know want to do well i mean primarily and always it's up to the producers first they get they get to choose they get to run things um, but, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an option. We shall see. Obviously, my only stipulation with experimental games is if I don't like a game, I'm not going to commit to playing it, let alone completing it. After, have, you ever, have you guys ever played a game that you've, oh, you thought that something looked cool? And then you like play it for uh, like ten minutes, and you're like, oh, "Actually, I really do not like this." Yeah, I'm definitely. It's too many games nowadays. I would force myself back in the day a little bit. Um, 
because you only had like access to a certain number of games but nowadays even for like relatively cheap you can uh you can get like a crazy access to a crazy amount of games so why i don't know i don't like i think it's better to it's like with music right if you start listening to a random song you never heard before and within the first 30 seconds you're kind of you're just not really feeling the vibe it's putting out yeah you could listen to the rest of the other three and a half minutes or five minutes or however long it is and be like oh okay i didn't like that but now i've got the knowledge of that song okay or may or you could listen to 30 seconds of like seven other different songs and then you're like oh actually maybe one of these i might want to listen to the whole song so, that's kind of what i feel about some random video games all video games are worth giving some amount of time to, won't be able to hurt anyone again. nice that's what we wanted that's what we wanted cole um that's not very really good um the chateau courtyard sketch oh okay that's mean the villa does it why but. emerald graves what graves did they bury people here not yet dorian and carry on lap buddy no, i'm tricking <laughs> it's a valid question we literally asked it ourselves earlier um but yeah i'm sure i'm sure you you've all uh all, uh ex you know experienced that sometimes um I mean, you, you can say whatever you want to see, Styles. It's not, like, beyond the pale, but I feel I'm pretty easy going. It's, uh... And especially someone I've already established rapport with, I'm going to, you know, depending on who it is and what it's said, I'm going to, um... I'm going to reach out to them. Not, you know, no one's getting, like, banned in here for... You say what you want. Uh... <laughs> The good thing about being dirty is you can uh, you can get yourself nice and clean. I don't know. That doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> uh, cool. I'll have my sick piece. Hmm. No, Cassandra. No. Okay, so all these doors I couldn't uh, open before, I now can. They just wanted to funnel you into this base in one direction. Is uh, fair enough. Ah. Have you, Sweet? That's fair, perfectly fair. You gave it a chance. Do you know what I mean? You didn't know. You like, even if you got an inkling, inkling like you might have been like, you know what? I, I've heard everyone's telling me this is amazing. Giving that bottle, twenty-two bottles on the wall. Excellent. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh. Um, there's nothing in here I missed. May, maybe, maybe not. But you, uh, you, you, you tried it, you know, Sween. That's what matters. Now you know. You've got that knowledge. You know, I like, I, I like that. I've always liked that with, um. Any kind of media, games, books, music, uh, sometimes, uh, TV shows and movies, definitely. Like, if I start watching something, even if I'm like, this is me just being weird OCD guy. Uh, if I'm not even into it that much, I will, like, almost force myself to, like, finish it. Just so I can, like, talk about it with to people about it. Just be like, oh, yeah, I saw that. It's terrible. <laughs> Oh, no way, yes. You, and I'm like, yeah, I sat through the whole thing. 
and here's why i think it's terrible <laughs> i don't know what that is um does it uh interesting route um ah i got you yeah because i know you're like massively into smash aren't you swing yeah something i've never played i kind of i get the the gist of the i'm not into fighting games at all guys honestly regardless of they're like relatively friendly in appearance type uh nintendo games you know so bad at those games um but yeah uh that makes sense that makes sense swing that you would uh want to do that's your main character yeah and you know and red major should be you and me for every company just you and me <laughs> it's in red mage we're we're, qual we're quality control Ubisoft, what do you call this shit? Get this out of here. Um, and that was just Red Mage. Can you imagine what I said? <laughs> uh, we, I'm doing some clever platforming now. Yeah? Hmm. You know what? I don't think we are. You know that might be. Ah, this is the door for the Asteriums, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I want to uh, head back. Ain't we are angling west? Get back out of here. I just remember where it is. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Oh! I might step out and go for this coffee in a minute. I'm just not your jam. No, exactly, Swing. Fifi? Every time, Fifi's like, I'm here. And also take it a few biddies. They all add up, Fifi. Bless your heart. Fifi, so lovely. How you doing, Fifi? Hey, well. I hope you are, my dear. Sorry if I sound, I've sound a bit tired, Fifi. I've um, I didn't get some, too much sleep last night, and I had to get up early. It's not much too much fun, but um, and I've got to stay up late as well. <laughs> not, not later than I usually would, but I have to stay up to my normal late bedtime because I, I you know the option of going to bed early is not an option i've got stuff to do so i do apologize for that fifi but thank you so much for stopping in hey then hey you gotta pay a fee no you never have to pay a fee your your presence is i i should have to pay a fee to have you here quite frankly if if we're honest what we're gonna do uh, <laughs> uh but um i hope you're well my dear are you good thank you thank you for those bitties i do appreciate it um well what's going on fifi tell me how are you doing last i spoke to you fifi your work was kind of i got the impression they were taking advantage a little bit to say the least like maybe not in a asshole kind of way but they're like oh yeah fifi she's a really a good good worker works real hard really good at her job yeah we'll just um we'll just make her work 12 days in a row without a day off and then we'll give her a day off and then make her work another eight days without a day off and you're like so you doing what you doing you doing what it's a problem with certain companies um Obviously, I don't know the details of what you're doing, uh, Fifi. And you don't have to tell us. Um, can if you want to listen to it with you. Um, certain companies almost have like a pessimistic attitude uh, to their uh, employees. Where they kind of don't expect them to work hard. Don't it? Oh my God, look at this. Big, big blue bear. All right, blue. Uh oh. Uh oh, look at the size of him! What insane monstrosity. Um, they don't, uh, expect, um, their employees to be very good, basically. 
they just expect them to be there and do the bare minimum and they've got to like be, they go oh we have to go them along we have to do this we have to do that whatever it may be are you guys helping me fight this thing oh what's going on there <laughs> uh and the uh the golden goose for uh, companies like that they'll uh, be like oh wow we've got this new employee and they don't need to be goaded they're actually really you know hard worker and they're really smart they know what they're doing dorian doesn't know what he's doing i'll give him a slap i'll slap his bloody stash off his face not really i'm not <laughs> okay there we go I've not sorted out his uh, potions. He should use that potion now. There we go. Jeez the wee, what a monstrosity. Um, and they'll be like, oh wow, yeah, this... There you go, it's a ghost. It doesn't matter. Uh, they'll uh, be like, oh wow. Uh, yo, Fifi, do you want to... You know, I know you just worked like five days in a row and you want your day off, but you'd really be doing us a massive favour, Fifi, if you just worked a sixth day. Um, now, obviously, it's overtime, but I'm not giving you any like anything special for that. We just, you know, just just get, you know, you're just working an extra day. Uh, you know, you'd be doing me a massive favour if you did that. Oh, you would, Fifi. Oh, you're so reliable. Uh, thank you so much. You're so amazing. I greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, whatever other like random horse shit they come out with. Talk about horse shit. This is almost actually in the. See all the stars here. This one's actually quite simple. Uh, and it's in the shape of a horse. So I'm just seeing if there's uh, any fake uh stars. I don't think there are. Um. And then they basically take you for granted. You help them out a little bit, and they get to the point where they expect it of you. And then the, the moment you go, you know, actually, um, you know what? I don't really want to. I don't. I don't want ex, I don't want to work an extra day. Oh, they're like, oh, what? Why? What? What? Don't you want extra money? No, I just. I just want to have a life. I just want to enjoy myself. And they're like, oh. And they make you feel like you should do it. You should do them a favor. And there's zero reason. You're the last person who works there. You should be doing anything for them. You've already done everything for them. I just, uh, I don't like the idea that it, that might be you, Fifi. Because you're, you're too nice to have people taking advantage of you. Anyway, sorry, I was running the swing. You're off, skis. Get to the gym and you beat it out of yourself, swing. In the gym. And not nothing weird. Or we'll do whatever you want, but anyway. Now I might have just made it up. That might not be Fifi's situation at all. I could have just made all that up, but um Right, is it Rue? Three houses a lot. Um. Ah, uh, it's a tactics style game. Yeah, so uh, JRPGs for me, you probably might have picked up on this already. Uh, that's my bread and butter. That's like the pool I want to splash around in. Um, if they get like two on the side of ta tactical, I can get a little bit like bogged down and feel like it's I'm like eh, this is good but it's turn based and then there's like which you know they can take it a bit too far sometimes um I don't know we shall see but yeah if that's like I th I, I get the impression maybe that's not Sween's like usual type of game so that could be extra jarring before her going into that um Whoa! Okay, I just cut caught up. Fifi, that's amazing. Okay, so things have bounced back a little bit. Maybe 
maybe he wasn't maliciously trying to take advantage. Maybe he was just like very happy to have you as an employee and he's like, oh, actually, because that's the thing, Fifi, these, these companies and managers, they, um, they don't realize, for the most part, maybe your manager has realized this, your value. And you're not a stone to be bled dry. You're, uh, you know, you're a worthy asset of the company. And the best use of you is to, yeah, give you, give you all the extra time and overtime that you want to do. But give you plenty of time off. Let you relax. You know, if, he, if he's giving you every weekend off, every Saturday and Sunday, you can do whatever you want. He knows that come Monday morning... Of course, it's first thing on Monday morning at work. You're like, but <laughs> yeah, and you know, you're coming in like refreshed. You're not like burnt out. You're not worn out. Your productivity is going to be high, and it will benefit the company more from that. Yeah, lyrium, honey. <laughs> yeah, and then some, and then some. Um, yeah, because I know you're a fan of the sp sp spoops, aren't you, Fifi? Anyway, I'm catching up slowly. Uh, yeah, Red Mage is coming after me. <laughs> uh, uh, so how would you remote work? Work? What? Don't say work 500 times this. Uh, <laughs> here's the thing we were talking about this a little bit yesterday um capitalism at its core a philosophical principle is sound however how it is implemented throughout the global economy in the year 2022 yeah you need some work to say the least it's corrupt People with power take advantage of it at the expense of other human beings' welfare. Not good. Um, you know what, Red Major? We made... Um, I don't know if you were around when uh, Chris uh, stopped in the other day. She's just started streaming. And uh, she's um, she's currently playing a Triangle Strategy. It's her favourite game. She's obsessed with it. I watched her play a little bit of it randomly the other night. I don't want to get any spoilers, and I was kind of busy, so I just hung out for 10, 15 minutes. And she's really cool, and uh, Triangle Strategy looks excellent. Um, okay, really, yeah, it sounds like I'd definitely enjoy it. Right, so you could, so you could basically work from home, Fifi. You still got to do your work, but you haven't got travel and all the rest of that BS. I, for one, have my fingers crossed for you. I also have my toes crossed, but you cannot obviously see those. Um, yeah, all right, Rude. That sounds pretty cool. I'll definitely we'll check it out sometime. It's um, the name Fire Emblem has been on my radar for a while. Uh, none of the games on the list, but uh, uh, you know. Uh, hey, Spin Dash. How you doing, bud? Are you right? No, we completed Final Fantasy, bro. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah, good on you, Fifi. Yeah, you were not quite at that point of uh, needing to say anything. Like, you were about to, and he was like, hang on a minute. Fifi's not happy. And it sounds like you've got a smart manager, Fifi. Like, you know, someone who's actually you know i've had some managers who are freaking stupid um mentally weak where i'm like you, you need to you're my boss but i need you to step up and t you know take this issue to your boss no i'm not giving this isn't a choice you need to do this and then they're like oh yeah i'll do it later and they don't do it and then <laughs> I should be the boss. Hey, don't spin dash you well, buddy. I uh, I hope you're good. How are you doing? Yeah, no, we um. God damn, when we 
yeah, it's a little while ago. We uh, we wrapped up Final Fantasy 15, and we've been doing uh, some random retro stuff. Um, chonking through the Dragon Age trilogy. Uh, we're pretty deep into the third one. We're wrapping this up soon. Um, mostly just uh, it's whatever the uh, producers of the show want to do. We'll just take it from there. Um. You know what? That sounds very similar to what my brother does, uh, Fifi. He, he mostly he goes into the office like once or twice a week, just because they have to keep a certain amount of people in the office. But uh, most of the time, he's working from home, and he does his work from his own PC, and uh, he has like they're like they they're a phone from work set up there, uh, on plugged into his PC, um. Right, okay. Yeah, really, they can get a bit battly and drawn out. I watched uh, Legion Cage play, play a little bit of Final Fantasy Tactics, and it was like some of the more larger battles, it can take like an hour to do the, do a single battle just because you've got so many units on the battlefield and you've got to like move them and put all their attacks in and the enemy's got just as many units and they're doing their turns one at a time and it's super fun, but you've, you've kind of... You've got to be into that drawn out kind of uh, style of gameplay. If you're not, it's, you're not, you, you know, something that you or I might look at and go, oh my God, this is amazing. Other people go, what is this trash? <laughs> what, why are you wasting all this time? Um, ah, that's right. Sween will be. You know, even if we don't see, we might see Sween again later, Root, and if we don't, we'll see her tomorrow, I'm sure. Um, ah! <laughs> Only available on the OnlyFans. <laughs> oh my God. I'll tell you this, Fifi. I, I don't. The, the foot fetish thing. It's not something I've personally ever understood. But you, do you know the people who are on the other end of that spectrum who are like grossed out by feet? They're like, ugh, feet! I'm like, what, those very useful things at the end of your legs that you can, like, walk around and, and do stuff with, <laughs> get from A to B with. Um, I'm pretty ambivalent. I'm not, like, into feet, but I'm also not, not, I'm not, like, put off by feet. Um, I could definitely look at two different sets, pairs of feet and go, oh, that, that, that set of feet, that pair of feet is nicer than, A is nicer than B, you know in my own estimation but i'm not like thinking about feet it's a big thing for people uh but anyway my point is my feet are not on that estimation they're not my feet are not gross but they're not like they're like oh my god he is like feet look at those feet ow his name's feet ow but then again i don't know some people might some people might uh, anyway um but you spin dash, you good, buddy. Sorry if I'm like behind about ten minutes in chat. I'm getting there. So, um, ah, all over Sonic, have you? Excellent, which is appropriate. Um, I'm I come not very good at Sonic games. I don't know. I, I I find them a bit tougher than Mario games. Um. okay okay Root. there's an option to just get on with the the combat if you don't want to see the extra animation that's cool um my god Root, i just <laughs> if anybody wants to establish the rating system please send me random feet and i'll rank them in order for you Random pictures of feet. I will rank them for you if you like. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've heard such things about Sonic 06. Uh, Spin Dash. Yeah. Uh, um, no, uh, Fifi, I, uh, I, I, I don't. And I'm, I'll, I'll tell you if I did. Honestly. Honestly, I'll tell you. Um, 
Oh, hey, it's been dash. You're probably better than me, buddy. I, uh, I think I can get through like the original Sonic games, but I think it's like it's kind of tough for me to do so. I'm not like good at it. Um, you know, it doesn't look graceful. Doesn't I don't don't I think it's I'm just not as familiar with a lot of the earlier Mario games compared to Sonic. Um. <laughs> yeah, right. That's that's. <laughs> yeah, kind of similar to me. You know, nobody, nobody needs my feet in their life, and I can live perfectly well without others' feet. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, let's let's let's. Uh, I suppose one thing, Spin Dash, is uh, Sonic is a, uh, as a character in a series. It's not going anywhere, so you might get a, you know a shitty game here or there, but there's always hope you're going to get another a good game in the future. It's just not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> uh, that's true. I've got a. Uh, a couple of pairs of shoes backed up. I could probably go a few more years without needing to buy another pair of shoes. So yeah. Uh... Oh, oh, I see, I see, see. Oh, did that was sound. Oh, that... did it sound like I was subtly kind of hinting at? Hey guys, I actually do have a thing for feet. You guys should send me your feet pics. <laughs> I wasn't even meaning your feet pics. I just meant like let's find some cr the craziest. Uh, gnarliest feet uh <laughs> uh you can find on google images and send me those that's kind of what i was going for uh but now i sound i've just made myself sound like i do actually have a foot fetish haven't i interesting there's nothing wrong with feet uh <laughs> uh the left half of your little toe i will uh, at this point spin dash on have to take anything <laughs> uh, i think i've I think I've caught up. Anyway, moving onwards. But yeah, um, Spin Dash, I'm glad you're doing well, buddy. Thanks for stopping in. Um, have you um, cracking on Sonic? If anyone doesn't know Spin Dash, dude, he's uh, he's a cool guy, and he uh, he as you say, he heard he's, he does a lot of Sonic. He um, he's a massive uh, Red Mage. Get this, he's a massive uh, Final Fantasy VII fan, and he's been known to cosplay Cloud on stream. Um. It's not like, you know, he's not doing every single stream, but I've seen him do it more than a couple of times, so <laughs> good on him. You know, you, know, you guys, I don't know, I'm not... He's like, is putting some effort on your stream. I'm like, do what? <laughs> what? Effort? Yeah. What are you talking about? Um, uh, <laughs> not for dressing up, certainly. Uh, I'll leave that to the experts, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, check him out sometime. Um... Yeah, yo, know, Spin Dash. I, uh, I try. I try. These guys will tell you. I, I try. I, I Twitch is a funny place, isn't it? Because there's just so many people. There's so many streamers. There's so many viewers. Uh, there's a lot of crossover with various people and such. Um, I try my best, and I don't remember everyone, and I don't remember every situation and how I meet people and all the rest of it. But I very much try my best to remember everyone and remember something about them might just be like one little thing from their stream or what game i've seen them play or how i met them or you know whatever it may be um but yeah you know i just uh i just uh i, I try i just try um um it was awful but <laughs> But Spin Dash, that's not the point. It doesn't matter. It was awful. It matters that you took the time to put the effort in to, to make it. Um, sea Star. Yeah, you know what? I, I reckon if you're in the business of... Uh, uh, what's the, What do you call it? A, pe a pedicurist? Is that the... Uh, oh! Bless you. Spin Dash, dropping the sub. Thank you kindly, sir. I appreciate that greatly. You don't need to do that, but I'll take it. That's very generous of you. Just for remembering. Oh, bless you, buddy. That's it. That's off. Yeah. It pans out, folks. You put your, you know, you put your uh, best foot forward. Try and be a good person, and uh, 
you know, if you're lucky, spin dash dude will drop a sub on you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, is it a pedicurist? Is that, would that be the technical term? I don't know. Um, but I imagine uh, nobody's doing that, C-Star. Um, that uh, isn't... Uh, oh, my God. We've got a fucking bear up in here as well now. That isn't uh, kind of... I think I'm going to drop... Uh, I'll drop the fade on him. Chunky boys. Who uh, isn't kind of like somewhat slightly okay with it. Does that make sense? Like, they can handle it. They're not put off by feet. They're just like, okay, this is this is fine. I can do this. Um, but you never know. You never know, dear. I could do that. I don't think I'd be freaked out by people's gnarly old feet. You know, they're wearing gloves. They're wearing probably a, lot, a little mask as well. A little medical mask, but... I don't know. Uh... Not for everyone. I'm at, like I say, I just imagine most people doing that would uh, at least be okay with it. My God, this fucking thing died. But yeah, uh, Spin Dash, I was going to ask, have you... Uh, I don't know if uh, you've ever played uh, the uh, Dragon Age games. Or if you've not played Dragon Age, like maybe Mass Effect, which I have not played. But it's basically kind of the... Same thing, but sci-fi setting. Although people have told me that Mass Effect is not deeper, but um, well, Dragon Age is the same setting, but kind of three separate stories. I've been told that Mass Effect is like one long story over three games, yeah. which is uh, pretty cool. Not coming from the deep roads. Uh, okay. Mass Effect, yes. Uh, but Dragon Age, no, but you live with a buddy that uh, was mad into it. Excellent. Okay, so you got you got a good idea of what kind of game it is. Definitely. But yeah, they're kind of... The favourites of mine uh, from a while back, and they got added to the list, and now, you know, uh, one of our producers put some votes on them, and uh, here we are. I think we've played through... Yeah, we've played through one and two previously, I guess, um, a couple of months ago. And two far more recently. And yeah, here we are. All sorts coming up. I don't know what else we're going to be doing specifically. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with those bears. They seem like a little bit too... They look a bit too freaky. I don't know. What's up exactly? I have managed to miss that. I'm going to see if we can get to that. Turn directly south. Hmm. Guess we'll try. Oh, there's a bloody another one. We'll try going around this way. And then we'll, uh. Oh, Scotty! Scotty's sneaking in there. How you doing, Scotty? Are you white? Picked that up from my head, did you? I can see you there. No, he wrote you a letter. There was pain on the page. Oh. Stop going into my quarters. How many times must I tell you? What about? Yeah, he c Cole can't help himself, though, can he? He just goes where he wants. Uh, ah, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Let me do a save. Um, so the Emerald Graves. Uh. Aside from maybe those the super chunky bears, which are not that dangerous, they're just kind of like bullet sponges. I feel the difficulty is kind of very similar to uh, the Western approach. Not as tough as um, as Empire de Leon. Which I guess maybe we should have left that as the final zone. I don't, I don't really know, honestly. Oh my god. Shit. 
cheeky. Got uh, one, two. Well, I can't exactly see where it is from this angle. Uh, the three and four. Yes, there we go. I've like got to move to get a bit of a uh, better view. There we go. Let's see if we can get these two. Even, even three. Oh no! Oh, it didn't work at all. And we got a freaking pride demon. Okay. Well, 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 well. Wow. Got interrupted just like that. How are we doing potions? Okay, we're at 7 out of 12. Okay, that's one. Okay, so I would say maybe... Definitely not as tough as Empire de Leon. But. Oh my god. Give me a break, you crazy kids. But, um. Actually, maybe tougher than the, uh, the Western approach. There we go. demons are uh, kind of annoying stuff. Hey, look, we got a... Uh, oh, yeah, we had the uh, the <laughs> the rage demon's ghost helping us out there. Okay, I think that's the first time we've actually had a use out of that necromancy ability of um, Dorian's. You, you lurk. Thank you, Sky. I appreciate the lurk. Um, <laughs> totally loving <laughs> You go make dinner, Spin Dash. Thank you for that uh, sub. I appreciate that, buddy. We we certainly will. You take care of yourself, my friend. Uh, ooh, crunchy. Oh, I am going to appreciate my food when I get to it. I don't know what I'm having. We'll have to wait and see. Um, You know what? We've got two hours and 20 minutes, folks. So I'm going to... Well, let's me... Is this wrapped up? Yeah, let's wrap this up. Um... I think I will have to go for coffee just to see me through. I say I've got to uh, get food, and I will be appearing on uh, Scotty's stream later on, which will be uh, math. Do math. Uh, five hours and twenty minutes from now, it will unfortunately be too late for me to be live on the stream, but I will be in chat uh, attentively watching with other viewers and there to take questions from uh, any viewers as as needed and passing comments it is the one year retrospective of the devil's gift the first of the audio dramas from uh enigma blockbuster cinema so you know be there unless of course you will red mage or squid or anybody else on this time zone and that's far too late for you uh <laughs> but if you're not Oh, yeah, you know, I'm not saying be there. Like, I'm not telling you what to do. You might be busy. You might have other plans. You might be streaming yourself. Um, do that instead. But if you're at a loose end, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, and you want to have a little have a little listen to the audio drama and, uh, and actor and uh, producer commentary, um, stop in. I'm looking forward to it. I'll just need to inject some uh, caffeine directly into my eyeballs before 
we get to that point, but that'll be fine. Um, on that point, I think I will um, go make this coffee right now, and we'll we'll get another two chunky hours in. Um, veggie omelette is that what you're having, Red Mage? Oh my God, garlics, uh, sea star with some. Now I wouldn't say I wouldn't like to eat a whole bulb or even a clove of garlic. The garlic adds it to almost any kind of stew or casserole, pasta, uh, pretty pretty much anything. I can't. There's not too much I can think of that I. If it's savoury and tasty, just again a bit of garlic in there. I'm not. I'm not against it. Um, <laughs> red mage. It's true. It's true. Um. Oh, you've just eaten your veggie omelette, Red Mage. Nice. Very nice. I'm, uh, I'm jelly. What, ve what veggies did you put in it? And how many eggs? How, how, what is, how many eggs do you put in an omelette, Red Mage? There's certainly no judgment. Uh, a lot of it depends on like, how much veg you put in there or how much like other filling. Because I feel for me... How many eggs are used? It's kind of like... I feel like the egg has to... Surround and coat the uh, the fillings. I don't just like want an, a... Pizza, an omelette... A vegetable omelette pizza. Do you know what I mean? Oh, there's, let's just chuck some stuff on top of it. Do you know what I mean? I want it like mixed in there nicely. Um, I am I am Red Mage. It's... Um, I'm feeling generally better for it. Uh, and I see no reason in the foreseeable future to, uh, to you know, to, to change that up. I, I do get hunger pangs during the afternoon a little bit. Uh, I'm like, oh. Um, especially on, like, uh, days when I go to the, like, today was my kind of, um, like, food bank day. Like, you know, basically, like, once a fortnight, I, uh, get some food in the house. And today was that day. Uh, so I've got, like, a bunch of stuff in. You know, in the freezer and the stuff in the fridge. Um, we've got a pizza knocking around. Uh, I've got, I was given, like, a couple of sandwiches. Um, and some other, like, bits and pieces. Uh, so it's, like, very tempting. I think I've got, like, some, uh, ring donuts I was given. Um... Just, you know, just basic sugar ring donuts, not like iced, just dust, sh sugar dusting on it. Not even, not even like dusting, just <laughs> granulated crappy sugar. But to me, that's quite a big deal. Uh, and I'm like, oh, I could just eat one of those donuts before I start a stream. Or, oh, I could just stuff one of those in my face while I'm making coffee on my break. But, um, I don't know, I definitely feel better for it, Red Mage. And I, look, I feel like I appreciate my food more. Not my evening meals. That's not any any more in that regard. But like when I was a couple of months ago, when I, is it going a couple of months now? I didn't even, can I even remember when I started. It's at least a month over a month. I'm sure, maybe even six weeks. Time flies when you're enjoying yourself. Um, I uh, was getting up and eating breakfast, and I was enjoying it in the sense that I always enjoy eating. I don't, I don't remember a time in existence where I've not enjoyed eating, but I wasn't like getting the full benefit of it like i was like i'm hungry i'm ready for this i was just like let me shovel this in my face because this is nutrition and i need nutrition before i start stream actually think again is you actually the human body doesn't need to be fed that often it's actually fine you know get a bit of caffeine in your bro okay cool oh you're actually fine yeah just lick, hydrate Get some water in you. Like, I haven't <laughs> taken a sip of water in about five hours a day. <laughs> just talking constantly. I'm just excited to be here. Um, you know. Uh, what's he putting carrot in his omelette? What's he? <laughs> a carrot in an omelette? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Red Mage, I've probably done similar. You've got a spare carrot hanging around. See, so you're not going to waste it, are you? Um, 
But overall, I have definitely been, uh, in, you know, I've been, it's been working. Um, uh, oh, sorry, let me back up here. Sorry to keep wearing this, Squidge. Random question, I assume. Is it okay to block or report someone for being annoying? Uh, simple answer is yes, absolutely. Now, Squidge, do you mean... Oh, Slight, I'll see that. Is Slight annoying you? It annoys me as well. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love him. Um, he's pretty, arguably one of the least... No, not one of the least annoying people. That suggests there's like a pecking order of annoyance. Anyway. Um, I would follow that up, Squidge. That's a little concerning. Do you mean in my chat right now? Do you mean on Discord? Do you mean somebody else's chat on Twitch? You let me know, Squidge. You don't have to tell us in chat right now. You can message me or whatever. Whatever you want to do. Simple answer is uh, yes. Uh, but you let, let me know where you're coming from with that, Squidge. Um, yeah, so two whole eggs and three egg whites. So that's... I've never done that an, uh, an omelette like that. It's just a number of eggs. I don't get extra egg white in there. Um, carrot, onion, peppers, mushrooms. Uh, and cheddar cheese. That sounds to me. That sounds great, Red Mage. Have, having a a carrot is uh, no one here in this community. Okay, that's good, Squidge. You let me know um, if I can help with that, Squidge. Um, bit random, but I, you know, carrots are good. So just whack it in there. Yeah, do you know what I mean? If you've uh, got an extra carrot line around, just chuck, chuck, chop it up and chuck it in there. Uh, <laughs> um, but Slight of Game, how are you doing, young sir? Are you well? Um, uh, <laughs> slight, it's, <laughs> slight, it's annoying you, Sween. Uh, I mean, that's just... <laughs> Bless it, you're making them cry now. <laughs> uh, oh, on Instagram. Oh, hell yeah, Squidge. Yeah, just yeet them in out of existence. Don't even, like, necessarily engage in conversation with them. Just be like, just, just click the block button and the report button for being annoying or trolley or whatever they're doing. Yeah, do not do not hesitate, Squidge. Don't, don't second-guess yourself, my dear, on that. Get rid of them. Um... um Either way, at bare minimum, it's annoying. Remove them. I think, yeah, you, you think you block someone, they stop following you, don't they? Um, I wonder if it's an actual person just being annoying. I know that, like, it's estimated that over 50% of all accounts on Instagram are bots. It's riddled with bots. Worse than Twitter, worse than Twitch, worse than anything else. Um, so just... But, you know, obviously you don't know what they're saying. So, but yeah, get on it, Squidge. I need to go slap some, knock some heads together, whatever I need to do, you let me know. Um, and you do one egg white. I've never, any time I've made an omelette in my entire life, it's just been a whole egg. Are you supposed to put extra egg white in relative to the yolk? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know some people like Instagram and it has some uses, C-Star. I find... Um, I find Instagram gross. It's just it's a it's a joke of what it's supposed to be, because it's riddled with bots, uh, and a lot of weird and the actual people, a lot of them are quite weird. But I mean, that's I suppose that's just every social media, isn't it? Um, Right. So this person has previously directly bought books from you, Squidge, and now they feel that gives them the right to kind of, oh, well, I bought books from you, so now you need to answer a question. No, you don't, Squidge. Just think about it, it's like how you would handle it on Twitch. We all know that um, if someone supports you on Twitch in whatever fashion... It's, it's, you know, it's, it's gospel, it's given. We all know that doesn't give them any right to expect or demand 
any special attention. And in fact, if they do, you yeet them. Ah, oh, I gave you a thousand dollar donation the other day. You should do that. No, you should. That the only reason you should have given me that is because you wanted to. It shouldn't be because you were trying to curry favor or gain influence. Um, yeah, just block them, Squidge. And it, and if it comes to that, that this person has seen that you've blocked them, gets their knickers in a twist, and then cancel their order with you. Never mind. It's not worth the hassle. You, you sell a couple less books, but you maintain your own... Not your own self-respect, because obviously you respect yourself, but I mean, you're not... It's like when you see it on Twitch, someone who's not got very many viewers, and they tolerate a little bit of a little bit of nonsense, a little bit of trollish behaviour in their chat, because they're like, eh, well, I need viewers. No, no, you're better off with no viewers and putting on with trolls. Um... You don't want to be a bitch. Well, here's the thing about that, Squidge. Uh, you're not. You're categorically not. You shouldn't care what this person thinks of, of that. You know, and you might be like, oh, well, doesn't that make me a bitch? No, I'm telling you you're not. Everyone here is telling you you're not. This person sounds like an idiot. <laughs> probably. If you, if I was aware of what they'd message you, I'd probably be like, oh, my God, rabble, rabble, rabble. And I'd be ready to, like, kick off. Um, so I just... You're definitely not a bitch, Squidge. You know what I mean, I can't imagine. I can't imagine you attempting to be. Can you imagine Squidge wakes up tomorrow and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna become evil, Squidge. <laughs> I'm gonna be a complete bitch. I reckon. I reckon you'd suck at it. I reckon you'd be a very, very terrible bad guy. Honestly. Um. Yeah, definitely tricky C star. Because obviously if you're trying to run your you know, your own business like Squidge is you know, you'd want you wanna you wanna curry good favour, but you, you also can't put up with nonsense. Um Ah, is that the idea, Sween? Okay, I never knew that. Never knew that. But what do you do with the egg yolk? You, just, you, you chuck it out. Chuck it my way. I'll uh, I'll open wide. I'll go for some spare egg yolks. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what's this rate? Uh, mute limit the interaction someone has with you. Okay. Yeah, the yolk's the best bit. Um, uh, yeah, I have a little look around for that, Squidge. I did not know that. Really. I'm not like massively up on Instagram, I'll, I'll be, be honest. So you don't hear anything from them, but they still can see all of your stuff. Okay, interesting. Why do they keep making multiple accounts, Squidge? Because you block them. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, sorry. So some accounts they delete and they just make multiple accounts, just like all of your posts. So then you're hit with like 500 notifications and then send you a DM to say, oh, follow my account. I know you already followed my other five accounts, but I need you to follow these other 20 over here. Yeah, anybody DM saying, please follow me, it's, uh, it's already like failed as a human being anyway. God, that sounds real harsh. Not failed as a human being. We're all works in progress. I've never asked anybody to follow me on Twitter or... Uh, uh, or on Twitch, let alone DM someone. This reminds me, Scotty was telling me about, um, like he's like, he was in like discords and then he'd like left discords because he just wanted to like, um, have less disc, have been a member of less bloody discord servers. I, I, I appreciate that. I understand that. Uh, and then he'd have like people messaging, but oh, why did you leave my discord server? And you're like, obviously, I had my reasons. Why, why are you asking me why? How about that? Which is something I did. Why would you assume it's about you? <laughs> um, 
So 12 accounts and one a week you're going on. And what, so what are the DM's saying? Like, oh, you're the best author ever. And you're like, well, yes, thank you. I know. Uh, <laughs> but you're kind of annoying also. Um, that is it, C Star. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Don't be putting up with that. Um, so even if you block them all, Squidge, the consequence would be they'd make a new account, follow you on that, like all you. It's a way to block notifications so you don't. Every time you get like a like or something. Um, as for DMing you, just don't. If you if you're aware it's that person, just go block block and delete or whatever, and don't reply. They'll soon get the message. Like I say, even if it even if it works to work against you for some potential sales in the future, Squidge. I think if you're in sanity. You should do that. Um, ah, okay. So removing some calories, but maintaining the protein is that the idea, Red Mage? I'm, you know, I'm, you know me, I'm the calorie fiend. Uh, Steph, I'll see you there. All right, Steph. How you doing, Steph? Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm. These guys get me rambling, and I, uh, I've got to catch up on everything. Um, and if they do, if they turn aggressive, like as an abusive, in in messages and stuff, you probably get them banned from maybe even the whole platform, if if needed. Squidge, you shouldn't have to deal with that. But you know, if you're, it's like a form of bullying, basically. Now, if you are being bullied, if you just kind of go along with it, it might not be so bad, but it won't stop. If you stand up to the bully, it may be awful for a short time, but it will stop because you make it stop. Think of, think think about it, Squidge. And if you need any help from me, I will I will, I will step in. I'll do I'll f stick me on a phone call to have get me on a Discord call to the King of the Universe. I'll I'll, I'll give him a piece of my mind. Um, hundred percent, Swing. Yes. Uh. Yeah, that's perfect, Root. Just, just literally, just say that. Wow. Yeah. Um. You do that for me, Sween. Excellent. I can, I can open quite wide. Um. You just throw it away, Red Mage. Oh my God, that seems wasteful. I would like collect them in the fridge or something. I don't I would drink it for breakfast. I don't know what I'd do. I have no idea what I'd do with an egg yolk. <laughs> I definitely, I just wouldn't want to waste it though somehow. Um, yeah, think, look, you, you know, you're, you're very smart and well, you know, write very well, Squidge. You'll come up with something. But if we can help in any way, you just let us know. Um, Pre-made white egg whites. What? Didn't even know that was a thing, sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, that is, sounds aggressive to me. Even though they're not like, oi, oh, I'm coming for you, Squeech. Give me free stuff. Yeah, they're being like, oh hey, I liked all your stuff. You could you refollow me, please? You're so awesome. That's still at a form of aggression. Um, yeah, toxic fan. They're a fan, but they're toxic. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe, maybe, Squidge. Yeah. D d put, put some kind of thing in and report them. Hmm. But, yes, yeah, Steph. How you doing, Steph? Yeah, any anyone who doesn't know Steph, uh, Steph Baby, she's a very good friend of mine. 
we've known each other for about two years because we both started streaming at the same time. Um, no, yeah, of course, that's it's a it's a problem thing. It's a problem, isn't it, Squidge? I don't know what to do. Good. Oh, bless you, bless you, Steph. I appreciate it. You know, you know me, Steph. I'm just trying to set the world to rights as best as I can. Um, and being annoying is worthy of blockage, hundred percent. Two, that may happen, but I feel it's worth the risk. But only you can decide what is best for you, Squidge. Yeah, Steph's just like... <laughs> Steph's just like me. Just like, you know, who are they? Put them up. <laughs> Put up your dukes. Uh... Yeah, give them the benefit of the doubt, I feel, but just be absolutely honest and see how they respond. And if they respond negatively to that, then you, it's time, time to pull out the big guns. Yeah. Yes, uh, they're still trying to work me out. Still. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, eating breakfast. Oh, yeah, yeah. I suppose it's like still morning for you, isn't it, Steph? Right, yeah. And I believe Root would like probably got some insight into like the more the you know, the tech side of things. Probably more than more than maybe everyone else here, I would imagine. Uh with the egg whites again. <laughs> Everyone's eating these yolks. God, these poor yolks. That does sound bloody yummy, though, actually, Steph, quite frankly. Um, it does. Anyway, I'm going to... Thank you for thank you for stopping in, Steph. It's always a pleasure. Always here if you need me, my dear. I hope everything's going well with you. Um, I'm going to step out for uh, a couple of minutes, guys, and make this coffee. Um, yeah, you eating these yolks, Red Mage. Just... Yeet them straight down my gullet, please. <laughs> yeah, can you? Oh my god, oh, lemon curd. I used to love lemon curd as a kid. God, oh, I don't remember the last time I had it. It might, it's probably not as good as I remember. Used to get um. I can't remember what it was we spread on it. Used to, um... Used to have something. We'd have, like, jam and lemon curd and... I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um, like Swain. Yeah, you go. So you're not wasteful. That's so... Are they more expensive, though? Um... Well, you and me too, Sea Star. We can put, defend these jokes together. Yeah, no yolks left. <laughs> uh, there we go. Lemon rank. Oh, oh, oh God. I could go for some lemon rank right now. Eat a jokes. <laughs> there you go, Steph. Your musical, Steph. Start your band. You can have the name. It's... No, it's actually said it sounds like a band name, not that it sounds like a good band name. So I'm not no no pressure, Steph. Uh, but <laughs> yes, you root. Thank you for being here. 
I pre I appreciate you greatly. You're pretty freaking awesome. I'm glad you you found the stream. Um, but good luck on your meetings today, and uh, get at me if you need anything. I will. Uh, if we if I don't speak to you later today, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow maybe. Um, make your bread golden brown. Uh, do you mean um, eggy bread? You put like you like do fried bread, but you like put egg on the bread. On a slice of bread. That's what you're talking about, Sea Star. I'm down for that. Um, yeah, I guess they are. I guess they are, Steph. But they're, the eggs are great. They're just like so good, though. Um, okay, that's fair. That's fair. The French toast. Oh, we we called it eggy bread as a kid. It was definitely wasn't French toast. I've, you know, or maybe is it? Is that what French toast is? It's just a slice of bread dipped in egg. It can't be. It's got to be. It's got to be different. Anyway, yeah, I've never. I don't think I've never, I've never had French toast. Or actually, maybe I've got a bit of revelation where I actually have. I just didn't know that's what it was. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Three minutes. I'll be right back, folks. Bear with me.
Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, shh. Very careful. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, my lovelies. Uh, a food chat is the best chat. We, we somehow always seem to come back to food, don't we? It's, uh... <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I'm not upset about it. Um, oh, Steph. <laughs> yeah, I I would also follow. I got rid of my Instagram account. I just I was I found it annoying to look at. I found it annoying to post things. Um, right. Okay, <laughs> fair enough, sea stuff. So, is French toast? Is it just done with the egg white, but it's like very light? Uh, and then obviously you add like sugar and stuff to it. Is that what French toast is? Because um, I could just look this up rather than asking you guys. Uh, cause I uh, we had, as a kid we had what my dad would call eggy bread or eggy toast. Which was just, you'd basically get, you'd do an egg wash, but it'd be like, it wouldn't be a light little, it'd be like the whole egg. So, and then you just whack it in a pan and fry it. So it's like, just like a piece of bread with a, a fried egg just stuck on it. That doesn't sound like French toast to me. That sounds like a, f a fried egg stuck to bread. <laughs> that, that's not French toast, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, I feel uh, those words are interchangeable now, Steph. COVID and lockdown and pandemic. You can kind of use them interchangeably, I feel. Um, <laughs> uh, but other stuff too, Steph. Yeah, not what I'm describing. Milk. Uh, okay, at least milk, but sugar, cinnamon, vanilla. Okay. Yeah, I've never... Okay, in that case, I've never had French toast. Uh, So I need... Yeah, red mange. That's what I could do. I could just Google it. And then I, I wouldn't need you guys then, would I? <laughs> uh, Okay. All right, maybe, maybe one day I'll try it. Uh, it's, It seems good. It's like just sweet breakfast bread, isn't it? So it's like, how is, in what world, in what universe is that a bad thing? Um, okay, we are heading north to this rift. Let's go. Um, I did on potions. Okay, we're doing all right. Um, God, I am, I'm going to enjoy my dinner tonight. And hopefully it will like perk me up ready to, uh, ready for a Scotty stream in a bit. It should do. There's no reason it shouldn't do. Look at these guys. These crazy kids. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, sorry, Cole, you can't be hurt at all, buddy. If that's true, I can you can be hurt on uh, these two here. Should get built together, Steve. All right, we're stood. Yep, nice. Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, if you never had it either, Squidge. It's it's really, really not a thing in the UK. I'd be shocked if you could even find it anywhere. Like, so, so places like s serving it. Are we... Oh, we've got an enemy here, have we? 
What the freaking hell is this? Oh, we accidentally started on this creature. Okay. Little nug. Sorry, nug. All right, this giant doggo statue now belongs to us. Just in case that was in question. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh alright, I'm gonna uh God the, the Emerald Graves is kind of a chunky area. Relatively, I suppose compared to some areas we've uh, been in, maybe not. Right, I'm gonna angle this way, but it looks like it's all these giant rocks. I can't I think this is maybe the extent of the map we're at. Yeah, it looks like it. Look at these geezers. Yeah. Geezers be getting smashed up. That's, that's who they are. Oh my god. Let me put a little nug. Interesting. This this is like a I guess it's like a forest nug, where it's like brown. We've seen a lot of like cave nugs, and they're like kind of pale, like albino white. I guess it's just because they live in the dark. Sorry, I killed your buddy. I wasn't meaning to. We're just yeah. When you're the in, when you're the inquisitor, doing some inquisitively inquisitioning. Sometimes people get killed. You know, it's just. Nugs get killed in the caught in the crossfire. Can't be, can't you know nothing for it. Um, God, can you imagine? Uh, so let me ask you this, Squidge: If you had a dragon, um, would it? Would it be like an animalistic, or would it be sentient? Would it be like your buddy? Or would it be like your pet? Um, what you know, you get one one dragon for all time. You define the uh, parameters uh, of you know what it is, how big it is, uh, how, you know how how it functions. Is it just like a is it just a flying fire breathing dinosaur or is it like a super intelligent individual that's just like yeah I'm just gonna hang out with Squidge for a bit? Or you know, what's going on? Yeah, like yeah, all dry <laughs> Yes. Squidge, do you want a, do you want a dragon? Yes. Which one? All. <laughs> Are we going to camp? Um, I guess, I guess we are. Let me just see what the bloody hell this is I'm looking at. Oh, it's a little map. Elgarnon's Bastion. Okay. Oh, if we get there, we can have a look. Um, yes, we are going to camp. Oh, let's do it. You know, I'll be honest, I'm not... Cole doesn't really say much, and I'm not... He's fine with his daggers, but I just... I just prefer having three ranged characters, honestly. That's no shade at coal. That's just what it is. So I'm going to... Um, there might be another red lyrium. There we go. So we'll go... Um, is we can bull for a bit? I guess we don't really... Uh, just switching Vivienne for a bit. Because she's, uh, she's not really got any much, much use. And we're switching Varric as well. Let's see if they have some banter between them. Oh, Vivian's got a bloody uh, level up at least already. Or seven. Ah, yeah, of course. She got seven. I was waiting on a night enchanter, wasn't I? Of course I was. Um, she got fire. And then I guess we, like us, we're going to go with this for her. Um, that makes sense.
Um, tactics. Let's, uh... I'm going to... Disable the wall of fire. And immolate. I'm just going to set to enable and flash fire enable. And then hopefully just... And f I think I'm going to disable fire mine as well. Honestly, I don't think it's. I don't think it's very good. Honestly, I'm not. <laughs> they always enemies always seem to uh, avoid them. Uh, let's hope with the rest she uh can uh, make use of those. We'll soon find out. Um. Okay, still got that rift there. That's fine. Um. Okay, we're gonna go. North and west. Uh, <laughs> Dragon of Sansa and James Earl Jones. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like you can't decide. You can't decide, Squish. I wonder what it is. The um, because I get it. Um. I was quite fascinated by dragons when I was younger, but um, maybe not to the degree that you were and still are. Um, but uh, oh, oh, okay. I'm curious. What the actual fizzle? Right, okay, somebody be chilling here who's like, yo, I really enjoy killing bears. I'm at nine so far. Yeah, that's a... Uh, a little disturbing. Um, okay, uh, does the quarry not... Do not, not claim the quarry? I claimed it already. I, th I thought it was supposed to disappear off your map once you've claimed it, but... Oh, come on. What a weird little Easter egg. Yeah, that was, what was all that about, Red Mage? Just... You want to be like the bear hunter? That's fine, but like sticking their heads on the wall. Not like taxidermy, but just like... A freaking serial killer, like... And just stick these up here. And go for another one later. Um. Curious. Okay. And by wyvern, you mean as in missing front limbs, just back legs and uh and uh wings. Although I guess uh, the term Wyvern and also Dragon are kind of uh, open to interpretation, aren't they? God, these... Um these demons are chonk. Better than none. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, because I don't know uh, Bahamut's been... Um, ever, like... 
not had all, f all four of his arms. Or legs. I guess legs. I don't know. However you want to define. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was it was uh, Red Mage, and that's because that's more kind of to do with uh, Chief Irons, wasn't it? Like he was actually like a bit of a weirdo. The Chief of Police in Raccoon City was actually not only completely corrupt and on the take uh, from Umbrella, but also was kind of. Uh, I wonder which was developed first, whether uh, that newfound wealth and power and support protection from his you know overseer's umbrella um led him to turn into like a, a violent sex criminal who you know he's, he wasn't just like oh i'm just gonna get away with this but he's like a bit unhinged like he's like <laughs> uh or whether he, he was like that anyway and then he was like yes this is the this is gonna allow me to indulge in my weirdness um even more um the, so i feel like a part of the creepiness of the taxidermy was because it was associated with chief irons um outside of that i never found it creepy i found it like i don't know interesting although i'm sure i'd find tax actual taxidermy in real life to be creepy that's not taxidermy though uh red maze that's just some weird weird serial killer stuff there which thankfully i think not thankfully but i guess thankfully thankfully it's bears rather than human beings or elves or dwarfs well that one was definitely tougher than some of the others we've done my dear cassandra whatever persuaded you to bring varick to the conclave I wanted him to testify about the events at Kirkwall to the Divine. He wrote all of that down, did he not? He didn't need to come in person. The Divine also wanted him to autograph her copy of Hard in Hightown. Yeah. What? You never told me that. It was a minor consideration. You should feel flattered. That our former Divine kidnapped and brutalized her favorite authors? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. Uh, no, indeed. No, indeed. You know, as long as the game is good, that's what has. Yeah, Resident, Resident Evil Two is one of the, one of the best games, arguably. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, it is weird, like when you walk through a door and then there's just like a. A giant taxidermy like tiger or there's like right in front of you or there's like just like several birds like around the room staring at you dead-eyed staring at you that you know definitely something to that my friend but i'll oh, go okay. this way can't think i'll actually get up that way so we'll go around we can Um, yeah, Red Tempire is just chilling. I, I guess I'll let them do that for a bit. Um, no reason not to. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd move out here. Uh, Red Mage, you know what I mean? Not with all the the, the, the demons and Red Templars running around. <laughs> not with all that, but um, otherwise, for sure, I would. Oh, 
I don't know if that hit anyone though, but... Seriously? Two there, we'll go for these two. Here. I'd rather live in Skyhold. As long as they got like central heating, that could be our compound. We could we could all fit in Skyhold. There'd be plenty of room for all of us. I'm sure you might have to like partition certain like sections so everyone got their own little space. But there's um there'd be plenty of room for us. So I've got to make sure we get that central heating. You know, can't when that cold getting. I still appeared there if I've already collected it. See, that login stand disappeared off the map. I think there's just um, a little bit of like... Uh, although this is arguably the best of the Dragon Age trilogy in terms of te technically, uh, game terms... It's, it's, it's still a little bit, a few things that are kind of not as they should be. Honestly. Okay, I don't know. I, uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so let's not go down there. <laughs> let's go this way. <laughs> Okay, heading due east. Oh, like about an hour and a half. A little bit under. But still plenty of time. Right, let's not throw ourselves down there. Okay, and that seems to be closed off there. Well, there's, there's something over there. Uh, smuggler's letter. We could make a beeline for that. In fact, it's right here. i got random giant, have we? That's fine. God, her armor is so tough. It's not this bro's not uh not doing anything to her. Um, I don't think anyone else has got a special at the moment, have they? No, I've not spent the point on it. Let me uh, drop that on him. Seems fairly worthy for a giant.
So you can aim it, I think it's pretty nice, you can aim at different sections of the giant. Um, I think if you aim at his head, it does more damage than his legs. But obviously, uh, if you hit him in the legs enough. Oh, Vivian. I mean, that's that's not a thing you should do. I'm going to freaking interrupt it here. Vivian, I've probably not set up a freaking potion again, have I? <laughs> yes. That can't be right. Yeah, so, some uh, features on this screen. Yeah, yeah, I'm not after some features. I'm after behaviors. There they go. 50, 0, 30. I'm not giving a damn about Varric there. Yeah, this giant is way tougher than the giants we fought um, at the uh, the Western approach, definitely. Damn, 2,000 XP we got from it, though. Very, uh, very reasonable. Oh, for a letter. I suppose I can... Another letter on the smugglers referring to Samson. Bloody Samson. I don't like Samson. He's a, he's a bad guy. Um, control that uh that rings a bell, Red Mage. What is control? I feel like I uh ah I know that name. We got here anything good? Um, I might be good. I don't know, maybe. Let's, let's, that's right, I'll take all that stuff anyway. Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a nice increase for Varric there. Ah, Cassandra, level 19. What are options, Cassandra? Even should you fall, she's not going to fall. What kind of fight are we doing? Well, Cassandra's going to fall down. Uh. Hmm. Resistance to all four elements by 10% for all party members. I mean, okay, let's do it. That sounds good to me. Right, okay, and back where we're going, roughly this way. I don't think I can get around there, could I? That's a fall to your death. Try to, try to avoid that if we possibly can. What, what is this flower? Oh, it's just some embryum, which I can't pick up for so many. Yeah, a bit of a vibe at a minute. A vibe that we may not necessarily want to go this way. Um, at least at the moment. Oh, yeah. You see that just over there? A large, very large, winged reptilian, a bro. 
we might be uh very offended if we're uh I'm gonna tell him to stay with our he may be very offended if we walk into his his lair. Oh, we might be all... Yeah, it's tense. You got... Oh, my God, you got bloody red Templars just hanging out with him. I need to deal with these guys here anyway. Now... Being invisible... Oh! I stole their bottle. Oh, right, we're in, there we go. They just teleported over. Never mind. Here we go. <laughs> Hopefully, uh... The giant is a bit out of the way. I think he is. You ignore your peers and spend your time among laborers and criminals in taverns. <laughs> I wish. These days it's all outposts and marching. You know perfectly well what I mean, darling. Look, all those things you like about nobility, power, wealth, notoriety, those are the things I hate about it. You have very peculiar tastes. <laughs> Just wait until you meet my friends. <laughs> Fair. Fair, Varric. Uh, Ryan! Sir Ryan, how are you doing, my friend? Are you well? Wow. <laughs> Root, what the... One meeting down. Only three more to do today. Uh, uh. Oh my God, that sounds like hell. Or maybe not too bad, I don't know. Either way. Hey, uh, uh, good on you. Good on you, uh, Root. And how you doing, Sir Ryan? Are you well? Oh! Oh, dear! What's, um... What uh, terrible music I make? I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight, I'll tell you. Yeah, that big boy there. Oh. If we get any closer, he's going to be like, I'll see you there. You, you want when I fight me? I'm like, nah. we d I feel we definitely should um, fight the dragons before we finish up with the game. Uh, it's just we're still, even at level 19, not <laughs> really cut out to be fighting them, honestly. It sounds wild, really. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, just having a little fly around. Okay. I thought it was coming for us. <laughs> um, it's basically kind of wants to be like almost the last thing you do. Um, if I recall correctly. And you, uh, we'll get some like, we'll make some, we'll use all our. Crafting materials. Uh, oh my god. Um, wait, there's not two dragons around over me. That would be rather insane. E, mosaic piece. Uh, hello there. Underana Tishan, stranger. Inquisition, right? We'd heard yes. you were in the area. Yes. I'm Taven. Right. Forgive my friend's caution. We weren't expecting anyone. Mm hmm. Hmm. I've not met his clan, though. <laughs> this is the clan from the Exalted Plains. 
And you know what? Actually, they are, because they mentioned that some guy of theirs had head out, headed out here. Yeah, I've met your clan mate. You're Taven. I've met Keeper Howen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I imagine he didn't have a kind word for me. He did not. Perhaps he will change his opinion upon my return. Oh, yeah? What's that? A dump bow. What is this place? Dinan Hanin, resting place of the Emerald Knights. Right, yeah, of course, yeah. I know the stories. I don't. I've studied the history. Emerald Knights. Let's, let's pretend we know the stories. We do because we're an elf. Well, we, we don't. But might get the most uh, information out of it that way. Okay, so it might... It might be... Uh, it might almost be interesting a little bit, Root. The Order formed to guard Elven borders most fell during the exalted march of the dale along with our homeland i grew up with the tales as well the knights once walked these halls can you imagine uh no so what exactly what are you doing here you've got trying to find their loot blocking uh you're after their magic you weapons aren't you from one of your own no i just haven't actually found anything yet there's a tomb, sealed since the Second Age. I believe I can find a way through. What do you hope to find? The truth. Elven accounts of the Old Kingdom or the Exalted March. Do you know what that could mean? So much of our history's been lost. To regain knowledge that hasn't been distorted by the Chantry, I should stop talking. If the chamber turns out to be empty, I'll look like an idiot. Uh, do you want us to help you? If you nudge, nudge, wink, wink, wink. We I won't take know. the treasure. Our initial work will be tedious, and my party's more than capable of searching the ruins. Perhaps I could send word if we find something. Dorath Shiral. Okay. You could do that. Now, your party is you and this random bro. Keep your distance, oh, no. And, and this or random chick. Yet. Wow. Charming. Are we to scavenge these ruins like beggars? No. Ah. What are you like, Vivian? She's so aggressive. She's like, ugh. I'm f I'm far more rich than you are. <laughs> so yeah, we we noticed. Vivian should help herself a little bit. everyone's mostly all right uh ryan jesh uh his leg is still not feeling great um but i think oh my god i shouldn't have done that i don't know if i'm gonna be quick enough here okay try and go for these two ah a little bit too slow there looting i shouldn't mean But yeah, I'm very well, Ryan. How are you? How are you doing, buddy? I'm a, uh, I'm a bit tired, unfortunately. Uh, but that's, I just had to get up early and I didn't sleep very well because of it. It's ironic, really. You know, because like a double whammy. But um, 
it's all right otherwise. Um, I think everyone else here is all right. Nothing we can't handle. You know, chonking away, getting through it. Yes, Ryan, get in there. If there's anything you want to, uh, you know, anything you want to share, sir, or uh, be involved with. I think you're. Are you already a member, though? I believe, Ryan. Um, but yeah, anyone who's here is not in there, but feel free. Uh, join us. No, no pressure, and uh, even if you join, there's no pressure. Like to use it or post. You got plenty of members who, you know, only use certain features of the server, or uh, don't really use it that much. You know, I um, as the server owner, I, I do, I do post and comment on things, but I try to downplay it. I don't I don't want to make the server about me. Like and there's nothing wrong with this, but that for most Twitch streamers who have their own Discord server, it's like this is my Discord server. You are all here because you are my you know, I want it I want more of a community vibe. Uh one of us. One of us <laughs> Now I know that I'm your favourite C Star, but I'm not everybody's favourite, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's it's what you make of it. It's like if it's of use, if you like sharing food or doggo pics or whatever, or whatever else. Talking about, you know, Red Mage uses it quite a lot, and he, um, you know, posts like get gaming news that's coming up. We've got all games coming up and like he's like oh it is look at these these the new anime that's coming out and i'm like i i've not even heard of most of these thank you <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like it's actually useful in fact i uh recently watched um britain has got netflix uh cyberpunk edge runners um it's only because uh the only reason i even watched it is because uh, red mage and the uh, school were like going on about it like, oh my god it's so good i was like is it like it's really good is I'm like, okay. I suppose I'll try the first episode. And it's yeah, not wrong. It's really good. <laughs> it is really, really good. Um, yeah, the eggy, eggy friends. Go. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, not you're not currently serving French toast in the conflux, but we'll slap a fried egg on a piece of bread for you. <laughs> uh, if if that is of any use. Where's um? the freaking enemy at the minute oh it's all the way over here now okay i'm where the fuck sorry language where where uh where the fizzly was you guys don't mind me swearing i do like to um not swear too much because there might be people who uh, don't like it more than i feel i need it if that makes sense i don't know maybe i should like not self-center in that regard I don't want to like end up. Have you ever been in someone's stream and they're like, "Fuck this, fuck that, fuck that, fuck, fuck, fuck." I'm like, it, it, I've not got a problem with the word fuck, but um, it like turns me off immediately. I'm like, okay, you not got any other words in your vocabulary, bud? You, what? Uh, come on, what was what, what? You know, I'm not here to like be the judgy guy, but also, you know what I'm saying. You know, you know what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Uh, the f oh, I got a little landmark just the south of us, sir. Just up, up there. Okay, let's tr jump up there and get it. Just giddy. All right, some uh. Some well-built rocks and some uh, randomly thrown together rocks next to it. And a s smaller, even more randomly thrown together bit of rocks next to that. That's slightly peculiar, but um, I guess that's the kind of the point. I want to try and turn east, follow the edge of the map around a bit more. I see a giant up there, probably got to deal with him. I see a giant there, probably got to deal with him. How uh, we did on potions, we're about half of our potions.
Ooh. Just a little thing over here. Looks interesting. And it was nothing. <laughs> I thought, I, was, I swear, as I was walking toward that, I was just, I was like, oh, that's a cave there, isn't it? No, it's, um, it's literally the edge of the map. Look at the stones, is. Look at the stones, is. <laughs> it's the edge of the map. You ain't getting through there. Um, never mind. Um, okay, thank you, Red Mage. I, I feel so. I, you know, because it's, I'm getting balanced. So, you know, I'll do, um, so I don't want to be like doing, you know, popping off for dramatic effects or anything. I'll just, I just like want to be um, real. But then, like sometimes, I naturally will drop an f bomb, and then I immediately feel that it's not even necessary for the uh, the particular comment I'm making. That's all. Um, this is like this, you know, it's a good word. It's a very good word, but there's also plenty of other very good words. You know, mix it up a bit. Oh, it's blue. Ah, here we go. Now this is a cave. Pretty sure. Pretty sure this is a cave, right? I don't think it's going anywhere, but. Okay. Oh, we go. Another bottle. That's 24 bottles on the wall. Cool. All right. Not even, I don't even think you get necessarily get anything from those. Just... Kind of cool. Anyway, I want to head directly north briefly and let's sort of deal with this monster. We'll see. All right, buddy, if you insist. Oh, why? Oh, I think I actually managed to get the barrier up just in time. Which is cool. Oof. What on this thing you were fighting as well? Oh my god. If you need to run away, folks, do it. And why is Vivian fighting the other one there? Let's maybe we tag them all. This is going to be a bit of an arduous one here, folks. All right, Cassandra, I'm uh, I'm relying on you, my dear. Do what you got to do. What happened to that giant? The giant just fell down dead. Okay, that's good recording gun again, I guess. Um Yeah, like the the stream is like reset uh from time. Yeah, I just completely uh I lost internet on the, my PC. It wasn't like the issues we've been having previously. Looked down on my laptop, no internet, looked to my phone, no internet. And through to my brother's room to be like, yo, what He's playing Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> He's in like the middle of a raid, like intensely uh, <laughs> like a full 100% concentration like diddle, 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 on his controller like and I'm like oh did did the wi-fi just have a moment seemingly it did he's hardwired into the uh the uh the, the router whereas obviously I'm on wi-fi <laughs> okay <laughs> I was about to go and be like oh what's up with this internet and he was like internet's fine bro jog on uh <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Anyway. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you did, Ryan. Uh, 
That's the thing. He's, <laughs> it's his internet, so I can't, <laughs> I can't really say anything. <laughs> but anyway, so yes, yeah, apologies. We've still got like a, just a little under an hour, so it's like... That would have been tragic. Um, yeah, yeah, you know it. You know it, Red Mage. Thing is, um, it would be far too uh, awkward and complicated to um, get a, like, get an Ethernet cable from my PC into the router. I'd have to like go out of my room, somehow through the door there, all the way snaking down the hall and into his room and then along the edge of his room into the corner of the room. The, the one the length of cable you'd need i don't know that i've ever seen i mean there must you must be able to get in ethernet cables that long but the amount of tucking away getting it like along the floor like tucked into the corner we'd need not to mention uh like you'd have to i don't even know how it's, it's practical if would i need to like saw a corner off the door then let's get make room for it it's not it's not gonna go under the door i don't know it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> he was he was playing ninja actually, so God knows what he was doing. I don't know. I don't know how it's uh it's changed. Um good choice though. Um anyway, thank you for bearing with guys. I, I do appreciate it greatly. Was there some ice cream talk that I see? Um Banana pudding ice cream. Fine. You didn't everybody. See, I could, I'd be very happy if banana flavor ice cream. But, oh, yeah. No, from into banana flavor. I'm a, very much a big fan of it. If you give me, yo, know, is here's chocolate milk, here's strawberry milk, and here's banana milk, which is rare in the United States, apparently. Chocolate and strawberry, yeah, that's right, that's like normal. Banana milk, not. I would choose banana out of those three, one hundred percent of the time. Um, so I, I'm not, not against the, the banana flavor. You're live, are we? Stream elements. Well, thank God, thank God for that. I'm pleased to, I'm pleased to hear that. Uh, <laughs> um, that's sounds amazing, Brian, and I hope you enjoy it greatly. Yeah, Sea Star, I'll just blame Sea Star's mind. Yeah, right. Did you got we discussed this before, Jack? All right, there, Jack. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not really around here, is it? Jack, I'm sure it must. Have, I'm sure I've had it before. Yeah, chunky monkey. Oh damn, is that like chocolate and banana? It's such a great combination. Um, yeah, sea star. So you know, a regular just choco milk, chocolate flavored milk, and then regular like st pink strawberry flavored milk. We have another one over here, the third, which is yellow banana flavored milk, and it is my favorite of the three. Not not for everyone. Um. Yeah, yeah, you would you would have it around somewhere. Anyway, how are you doing, young Jack? Are you well? And what's your... Jack, let me ask you. Of, no, you're not talking fancy milkshake. We're just talking flavoured milk, chocolate, strawberry, or banana. These guys don't have it. What's your choice, Squidge? As obviously you are aware. I say, if you give me like a glass of milk, I won't want to drink it. You give me a glass of flavoured milk, I'm like, ooh, yummy. <laughs> Um. Damn, oh my god. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I could go for some of that, Red Mage. I could go for some of that. Uh, you prefer strawberry over chocolate, do you see, style? Yeah, that's fair. That's a good choice. Would it? You'd like it. it banana's like an interesting flavour, isn't it? Whether it's like an, a very like natural, real banana flavour, like just eating a freaking banana. <laughs> or whether it like, like dried banana chips or you know, whatever, whatever else. And then you've got like the kind of banana flavor. They're very similar. I feel there's more similarities between artificial banana flavor and bananas than say artificial strawberry flavor and actual strawberries. Both very nice though, however. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a, an advocate of banana flavor. Um, agreed. That is true. I've had some really gack... <laughs> Tasting banana flavored things. I'm like, oh, banana. And I've got it. I'm like, oh, this just tastes like chemicals. 
Yay. Just bananas sprayed with chemicals. <laughs> yummy. Yummy. Um, I don't know what a peanut butter bomb protein smoothie is, but when I come over and visit your Red Major, I hope you can make me one or buy me one. You know, whichever. Um, yeah, yeah, if you have like banana flavor, just like random candy, that's, mm, that could be a bit weird, weird area to be uh, going in, into. Um, of those three, you'd go for chocolate. Chocolate is the classic of the three, Jack. There's no shame in that. There's there's adv there's ad strong advocates out there who would just be like, yeah, that's ob the obvious choice. Well, it's like, why are you asking me this question? Is obviously it's choco milk. Just get your fruit, get your fruits out of here. Give me some chocolate. Um, yeah, white chocolate milk. Have you never tried that, Squidgy? It's very rare, but it's like it is. <laughs> it is amazing. Jack, you're not wrong. It is actually amazing. Um, yeah, because it, obviously because it's white chocolate, it just looks like regular milk. It's a bit more, I guess, like creamy looking rather than like strictly white. But it's pretty damn glorious. I would choose it over regular ch chocolate milk. I would probably still go for a, like uh, banana over that, but... Um, Squidge, what? Next time you go grocery shopping, Squidge, just buy some. If you like, if you like milk, you like creamy, yummy, just buy like a small bottle of flavored milk. And then next time you go, buy a different flavor, and then just do that till you've gone through all the flavors. And then you can. It's called research, Squidge. You should know about this. You are, a, 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 you know, a world famous author. Okay, research. Okay. Um. <laughs> It's fine, okay? <laughs> uh, you, you literally had some yesterday, Jack. Well, there you go. That We were randomly talking about it. That should prove the point there, folks. Um, oh, yeah, fridge chocolate milk. Yeah, oh, oh, my God, fridge. The beauty of fridge is it's more flavorful. Uh, it's probably sweeter because it's probably got more sugar in it. But the consistency of a fridge milkshake, that's like, to me, that's like liquid crack. I'm like... <laughs> Uh, did you ever try the extra thick one? They made an extra thick one, and it's kind of like... Kind of like drinking a bottle of snot, but imagine it was, like, actually yummy, and it wasn't snot. <laughs> God, why, why did I use... I was trying to think of something... not disgusting, but that's as close as I got. Um... <laughs> Yeah, as you, but if you tried the fridge extra thick, it was like limited edition. It was like, it was like you turn the bottle upside down and it's like, <laughs> it's like not, it's not even, it's not literally not liquid at this point. Um, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Squidge. I couldn't, I couldn't think of anything else. I just wanted you guys to know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I could have. I could have said something much worse, far grosser than that. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, I would not. I'm not too well in marketing. My marketing strategy would be, uh, "Oi, do you want this? I don't care. You should buy it because it's pretty awesome. Because why? Because I said so." They were like, "That's." <laughs> that that's not that's not how marketing works is molten lava there we go that would be in a better that would have been much better thank you squidge there you go there you go. let's pretend i didn't mention the s word um yes. uh you can make your own yeah you just get some thickener in it yeah that's true that's true jack i can't remember what it was i think it was it happened to be like a fridge white chocolate flavor and i don't know why they chose to make that the extra thick one but it was um arguably not as pleasant as a normal standard one but it was like different enough and like a bit of a novelty uh but it was still like very nice like if it was if there was like a thickness between the two uh that might have been perfection it's like almost a bit too much you didn't need a spoon to eat it but like, you put a had like a mouthful it didn't it was like almost like not 
quite liquid. Uh, <laughs> bit, you know, a bit too viscous. Um, I think the Red Ranger just fired me, folks. No, it's, so Jack, I'm, this was like randomly, it almost have been like, it might have been 20 years ago, buddy. And it was like literally a random thing. So I guess it didn't take off. People weren't like into eating S words like uh, me uh, <laughs> straight out of the bottle. But um, it, was, uh, it was definitely a, a thing and it was definitely a kind of a very curious thing. Interesting, though. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys caught that. The giant, I feel like I didn't do enough damage to it. It just kind of, like, fell down dead. Which um, was a bit weird. But uh, we are stuck fighting these bloody Brontos, so... Not, uh, not the end of the world, you know what I'm saying? It's, uh... Chunky as all hell. Yeah, yeah, Jack. It must have been. I wonder if they. I'll maybe put it up with me in in a bit. Remind me, like forty minutes from now, when we're wrapping up. My God, will they ever die? It doesn't help that I'm uh, keep changing target by accident. So, and it does seem like your party will focus whatever you're targeting. God, I'm getting like loads of damage with my uh, my uh, chain lightning though. I think that's one down. That's two down. Finally, my god. Bronto hide. Yeah, I would I would hope so. After all that. Cassandra, you do know they still tell tales of the dragon attack on Val Royale. I'm aware. I'm also aware they grow larger with each retelling. Many yet live who saw it with their own eyes. From what I've heard from so called witnesses, I have to wonder. You are too modest, dear. You could have parlayed that victory into more than a position at the Divine's right hand. If I was someone else, perhaps. I simply did what I needed to do. God, she's such a badass, is Cassandra. She's like, eh. Yeah, it's fine. I don't... I just... You know, I just want to serve. Oh, good, good on you. Right, um... I don't. I don't really feel the benefit of the disruption field. I feel. Um, let me just get a that for now. Maybe I'll get it in a little bit. Um, Valic. Guess we'll uh get it. I'll upgrade that. Doesn't really matter so much at this point. Let's get anything, whatever. Um. No, oh, okay. We want to be heading this away. Yeah, just hit them harder. Yeah, I mean, that's that's all you can do, Ryan. You know, avoid fighting that guy if possible. Oh, there we go. Demons. Don't just ignore it, guys. There's a freaking demon there. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, that's two there. I might be about to get all three of those. Let's give it a go. E. Nice.
Boom. All right, we did handle that pretty well. Right, okay, what is this place? Ah, Chateau de Ontere. Ontere. Um, now, what's one of our maps related to this place? I've no idea, honestly. Um, God, we're running out of potions. Uh,. Probably. That's going to be like. It seems like a. This is only a little dungeon. I should. Oh. Hello. Blues. So big. <clears throat> No one to fight the, these guys at all, but they forced the issue. Great bear teeth, as if I'm leaving great bear teeth behind. What junk should I throw away? It's my fault. I need to get more influence so I can finally start upgrading our uh, inventory capacity. But then again, it's not what we what we do with any of this. We're just, just throwing it away, aren't we? Yeah, okay, that's a bit of a... Bit of an increase there. Okay, cool. Oh, that should be good. Oh, for now. Okay, here we go. No worries, Red Mage. Yeah, it won't be too much longer for Red Mage needs to head out. It's all I need to head out, my God. I'm... Real hungry and real tired today, but ain't gonna be a little bitch about it. <gasps> or am I? Yeah, let's just keep exploring. Just remember, we need to come back to that point. Okay, something to read. Some gold and influence. Oh my god. And a crystal grace. Asterium. Let's have a gander. That's what we got. Oh, that looks like a mess, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Oh my god. Okay, this looks this, like it could be. Fairly complicated. may have it okay and i don't think there's any uh 
awful um red herrings I'll soon find out I guess won't we There we go. Nice. I do find those quite satisfying. Oh, I wouldn't want to do like a whole uh, game without was it. Like the whole the <laughs> that puzzle was the entirety of the game. But yeah, we've got a camp just behind us there. Um, I might need to go to. Hadn't it? Um, yeah, let's head to that camp. I don't know if I can even get down there. Right, just the north here. Oh. Shall we make camp or move on? We shall make camp, Vivian. Okay, I think I've, um... Hey, there we go. That's not the point of influence there. That's not the perk. I don't know what we're working towards at the minute. There's any new requisitions there. Um, I uh, I'm going to right, Vivian. Maybe we'd you'd get more out of her if you um we had a you know around for some of the reason. Uh, Solus. I'm not really into Solus necessarily. Um. We try Bull and Varric for a bit. I got half an hour. What can we do with that? Well, level up Bull. I'll see him there. How you doing, Mr. Reaver? Okay, that's an upgrade for Devour Consume. But it's like, when the next time you use Dragon Rage, well, there's no point in having that upgrade if you don't have Dragon Rage, which is that, which itself sounds amazing. Let's see what we can do with that, buddy. Okay, we'll see. Oh, well, that music's kicking this up. <laughs> I mean, really, I need to head back up here and head back to the chateau there. So like I've got to get up there. Go around the long way. Which, yeah, no, it's, if we have to, that's fine. Mm. Let me give it a go. Nice, okay. Cool, cool. Inquisitor. Oh, hello. Can I help you? Okay, just random people camping who just happen to know who we are. Okay. I mean, who, who am I to... Uh, Judge.
Wow, crazy artwork. Oh, I don't want to get a of like there's a uh, toast and a giant again. That's not gonna serve. Oh wow! Yeah, well, I thought this this giant though, maybe. Oh wow! Look at why is there so many landmarks? Random. I doubt it. Oh my god, there's Bontos, which we're going to tag by accident. Oh wait, is he not? Okay. <laughs> oh, that giant over there looks like he's fighting the Red Templars, maybe. Pick the bomb toe up. Of course we have. Next one. Gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. Of course, uh, the ball's getting slapped around. Oh dear. Let me um, drop that on. Chunker boy. I guess I should um maybe let me uh wait one second. Uh <laughs> Bull. Um I think what we want to prioritise is uh, not Mighty Blow. Basically, prioritise is uh, his actual um, Berserker. Berserker? Abilities. And get more out of him. I don't know. Maybe that will help. Still uses two hander of basic two hander abilities, but I mean a lot of XP you get for killing these things. If you Where are you guys running? Disengage right now. Get back here. Um Disengage. Clear commands. Disengage. Oh, right, maybe disengage counts as a command that needs to be cleared. You crazy kids, get over here. 
Oh. Looks like dragon territory. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> I'm so excited, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Well, it's not, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, why can't I? Can't I get that? I think it's been just been a bit weird at the minute. I wonder if it's under the giant fight. I don't really know. Um, okay, let's just I'll grab the other one first. Maybe that will like reset. Uh, then so we've got to fight this big boy as well. Interesting. Not fighting uh, one of ours, is it? Yes, okay, he's already fighting ball. Wow. Is that Is that like a weird little nod to Skyrim there? You just fly up in the air and then come crashing down. So much damage he took. That was weird. Uh <laughs> He's not supposed to do that. <clears throat> so this is the problem with the ring of pain. It um Seems to um It seems to attack whatever's around, basically. <laughs> yeah, I can't really be uh up close and personal like that. Okay, cool. We've got the giant. Just got to deal with the freaking Brontos now. Like three of them. <laughs> God damn it. I can't help you, Varric. If you need to run away, buddy, you need to run away. There's nothing I can do for you. How armored they are. It's pretty uh pretty ridiculous. Ben How you doing, Ben? Are you well, sir? I hope you're having a reasonably good day. Or at least not an entirely massively shit day. I swear these Bontos are tougher than the Giants. Finally, um, <clears throat> yeah, I want to wait for the giant drops, obviously. So, in your books, the stuff with the spies is all wrong. If only I'd had you around to consult. That yeah. blue swan flies at midnight stuff doesn't work. Most times, you pass information on a dead drop. No meetings at all. Ah, 
Where's the drama in that? Oh, can't you mess up the realism of something else? Like lyrium smuggling. That's good. Again, gotta dump some trash. Trash. Uh, uh, yeah, that's terrible. Good advice. No, it's got a fancy axe and fancy bow. I don't uh, bow uh, sword. I think we're giving Cassandra this new axe. Yeah, uh, yeah, we definitely are. There we go. It's pretty basic, but so be it. I don't think I've got a new weapon for bull. I'm sure I haven't. No, it's going to take a lot. 225 until we find anything uh, close to that. Right. Can I now please claim these? Yes, I just have to get rid of the, the giants out of the way for a bit. Okay, that's cool. And now I can't. I'm not about to do this one anymore. <laughs> we got another job. Oh, I don't. Let, let them kick off. Disengage. No, I think maybe you just literally have to clear out the area. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, that's not the only one in there. Hmm. Fighting. Oh, it's actually fighting the, the Templars. Okay. I think we're going to have to get stuck in here, honestly. Help yourself, bro. How about, how about you do that, bull? How about you do that, buddy? to get out of here. There we go. Right, I'm out of potions now. Oh, Bake Off. I think it's a, t a t TV show, C-Star, called The Great British Bake Off. Is that correct, Squidge? Where I think they it's like a cooking show where they do baking specifically, where they bring on, like, D-list celebrities to bake stuff. And I think it's, like, kind of slightly competitive. And I think they have actual, like, skilled... Uh, bakers there who kind of like help them and also like critique their uh oh it's just oh it's not celebrities oh it's regular people is it so it's like master chef but not but like just baking rather than everything and like more kind of like jovial and less serious that's uh that's a that's the, i've never seen it uh squidge but that's the vibe we'll get less intense yeah I used to watch MasterChef. I really enjoyed, like, um, the creativity of cooking and chefery. And um, honestly, this, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit, like, the, um, the reality TV aspect of MasterChef. Uh, and I watched it probably, like, all the way through for, like, you know, a couple of years on the trot. I was like, yeah, cool. Me and my brother, we were like, yeah, cool. This is cool. We like this. Um, but it got to a point where... Of course, they're all like individuals, but they all like join the show and they've all got sit, all the contestants. They all have a very similar backgrounds and then they get in the competition and there's a few like doofuses who like 
don't know what they're doing and then they quickly get eliminated and then as you get on especially like the second half of it um you know they're all very skilled and they're all kind of making the same dishes and the the, the judges have the, the same things to say about it and you're like hang on a minute this this could have been like this ex this is like exactly what happened last season <laughs> do you know what i'm saying um but uh, I can un I understand the appeal, Squidge, even though I've not specifically seen the Great British Bake Off. Um, and they do have celebrities uh, sometimes. Um, yeah, same, same, Squidge. Yeah. Hey, Slick Mick. Master, <laughs> Master Chef. <laughs> I see what he did there, Mick. <laughs> uh, um... Uh, good eats and chopped. I've not heard of those uh, C star, but uh, yeah, Iron Chef America is probably like the equivalent of Master Chef over here. I guess it sounds like it. It's like r real intense, and you've got to have you've got to have some crazy skills, or they. And it's probably like some elimination kind of process. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, it's it's, it's um. I'm not one to really go for like regular television but that is probably something i could potentially go for there we go freaking giants all the time everywhere there we go we claimed it though where are your remains mr giant sir We'll get the tempiles as well. There we go. Grey Warden Scout Shield, Venatory Helm. We'll definitely take that. Yeah, I don't think we need those. Those are. Uh... I mean, why not? How have we found that many that all do exactly the same thing? I don't know. Um, we're basically at the end of the stream. Oh, okay, I need to head uh, north and west. Get one more. Hopefully not fight any Brontos along the way. And hopefully it's not a giant that's respawned because we are like totally out of potions now. Totally. No, we're friendly. We're friendly, Brontos. There we go. Nice. Okay. Um. A little, a little smear in the map is gonna press me off. Uh, let's run over there real quick. Uh, I guess we'll. Over there, we definitely need to let's get to camp. We get it, got it right. Okay, so we've got a fade rift there. We've got this uh, Chateau d'Ontere, d'Ontere, not good with French. Uh, just there, we need to look at, uh, and then. A random fade rift there. A bunch of map to uncover there. A fade rift. Um, and then a bunch of map. Like, kind of back at the beginning. That's not where we started. I just angled left. Clearly could have angled right there. We have been through the majority of the map here. Um, I might be able to do the fade rift without a potion, but I don't want to... And risk it. Let's uh, go back here and stock up. Oh, um, actually, um, let's go back to Skyhold. Um, we can just come straight back here tomorrow. Um, we sell some stuff. 
Check out plants. We, uh, I know a couple of... Uh, Cullen and Josephine have definitely returned. I don't know about uh, Lel, though. Should find out. Loading times. Right. Guess we'll quickly check on our plants. Worship. Cool. Prophet's laurels, eh? Smash, fine. I don't know what I need. I know... I know you need, like, a decent amount of, uh... Prophet's laurels, so it's just... Plant another one of those. Um, they find out that I don't really need any more, then we'll... Uh, yeah, so we might have to actually have enough to upgrade some, uh, potions. Let's sell a bunch of junk, see if we can actually upgrade a potion or two. I don't need anything desperately, apart from maybe, um... Such a shame. It looks pretty cool. Can't use it. No benefit, so to speak. Uh, trash, trash. Uh, the bone. That's probably good for, um... Although, axe, yeah, axe, uh, green ed edges. It might be good for, uh, black wall, actually. Oh, the whale. Oh, no. No good. Right. Okay, so this gold is starting to add up a little bit, which is definitely not a bad thing. Um... Well, that will stash and, until I think a figure of a, something that's actually useful to do with that. Ah, the runes we want to stash as well. Sell all that. Black wool. Oh yes, much much improved. Looks kind of <laughs> it's some jankety bone, isn't it? So, I mean, it's literally called the bone. <laughs> um, as long as it gets the job done, that's what matters. Let's see what we got. Healing potion. Most important. Perfect. There we go. Healing potion is now greatly improved. Now, nothing else we specifically need. Although, I'm sure a lot of it is good. Healing mist. 
Wow. Okay. Creates a small healing mist in the target's area. Instantly healing allies within for 289 health. That's incredible. Uh, so let's go ahead and research that. Uh, increase the research. You know, sorry. Uh, research in uh, increases strength. Healing mist. Vandal Aria. That's what we need. Oh, you can use it as a revival. Well, well, well. Right, I need to be saving up and about 15 more of Vandal Arias. Wherever they are. Um, got a Blood Lotus is gone. Uh, need a bunch of Blood Lotus too. Uh, I'm going to be lobbing some bees around. Um... Increased damage on the fire bomb. I don't know if necessarily be using that or needing that. And increased duration. I need Vandalaria for the shockwave, but I don't. I'm going to necessarily need that. Um, I guess we'll look at the regen potion. Could be useful for us later on. Increased duration. Cool. Um, ah, Amrita Vein. Not even ever seen those. Doubles the healing amount if the user is below 25% health. Okay, nice. Um, increase the amount of healing. Okay, let's go for that. Proximity heal. Yeah, Amrita Vein. We need to look for those. Lyrium Potion. Probably not that important, but... We'll see. Yeah, maybe they're just like some real rare kind of plant or crafting material. I'm fine, let's just have a little look at the tonics. Tears of the Dead. Yeah, we need a bunch of blood lotus. Okay. Rock armor. Uh, you can get that in improved duration. I've not even like used any of these guys, but I'll just, I'd rather have them there potentially if I. If I yeah, can't can make use of them later. Um, spirit resistance. We'll research it. Uh, duration it. Potency it. Uh, and improved. Nice. Okay. This is why I picked up all these plants. <laughs> um, electric resistance. Cool. Yes. 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 And can't get the final one. Uh, cold. Yep. We want fire though if we're going to be fighting dragons at some point. But should have enough uh, materials here. Yeah, I, want this. Well, I knew there's a reason I was collecting all that rash vine. There we go. That's a load of our potions upgraded. Oh yeah, and yeah. Final thing we'll do before we wrap up. We'll uh, spend our Inquisition perk. See what is a good option. I would like to before the end of the... I mean, we've managed this far with, uh, like, the standard inventory space of 60 items. An extra 15 slots can go a long way. Uh, why did it put me right here straight away? That seems weird. Uh... <laughs> But I'd rather go for this, like, some kind of actual stat bonus, you know. That would be arguably more useful. Let's find out what they got. What they got. Well, let's see what our options are. Oh, excuse me. Um, right, I don't care about Rider's posture. Uh, more focus. Increases the power. You can build up more focus and it increases power. And then what else we got? Schematics. Uh, optimal cut and eagle lie. Herbalists. Just sends herbs over. More gold. Uh, valuable raw materials. That was... Uh... Yeah, okay. 
uh, I mean, position perks. Yeah, I mean. That's an extra slot for potions. Could be more useful. As we uh, come up, up, an ability point for the Inquisitor. Hmm. Hard to uh, go wrong with that. Yeah. We'll go the tempered glass flasks. Already spent it. Hey ho. Um, an extra potion slot. Could, in the long run, pay off. Oh, okay, let's get. Ah, all three of them are back. Magister's Ice Staff. Is it any good, though? Gold bracelet. Alright, whatever. Whatever. I kind of would prefer it if the ones you'd completed were like. Gone. They just like removed. <laughs> we don't need these here anymore. I send them more ever then. What we have. Let's. To work. I guess I'll uh, just go for coin again. It's not much you get, but. I feel like I need gold more than coin because we've the main thing I want money for right now is to buy like all of the schematics. Obviously, I'd only really need the high end ones, but we'll see. There we go. Oh my god, that's terrible. Here, yeah, have have this. It's awful. Right. Anyway, we'll save it right there. There we go. Um. Jump over for a quick minute. Oh, excellent stream today, guys. Sorry, I haven't been um a bit more out of it than usual. Oh, lack of sleep and all that. Um, like I say a little bit of um a little more stressful than uh, usual for me today, but. I'll uh, hopefully I'll get some decent sleep in and uh, we'll come back bright eyed and bushy bushy tailed uh, tomorrow. Um, thank you for being here, guys. It's, it means a lot. As always, bless your squidge. I appreciate that. And uh, root uh, and everyone, thank you for uh, thank you for being here. Really appreciate. It. No, Appling, thank you, thank you. I'm thanking you. I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you do. I bet you do, and I I appreciate that you want to. <laughs> Tee hee. Um. <laughs> I need to get food, and um, of course, remember, uh, seven Eastern. I'll be. I'll be on Twitch, but I'll be in Scotty's chat. Uh, available, making myself available for anyone who's there to um, talk about the Devil's Gift. And if you've if you've not heard it, now if you will get the interrupted version because we, it's going to be like uh, maker's commentary, so to speak. Um, what? No, you didn't, Red Mage. You were here for most of it. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the stream. Um... Uh, yes. Uh, so Dragon Age Inquisition, we've uh, we kind of wrapped up the last the last few bits in the Western approach, and we made our way to Emerald Graves, and we've done most of it. We've got one inside area, which is the Chateau. Uh, we need to check that out. Got a few rifts to close, and uh, you know, about, about other bits and pieces. But uh, compared to some of the areas we've been to, I feel the Emerald Graves is is, is fairly straightforward. It's fairly expansive, but it's just kind of most of it is fairly just open forest area. 
it's, it's nice. It makes a nice change. Um, <clears throat> you have a good night, Red Mage. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, um... Oh, crunchy. Or not. Oh! <sighs> My God. Um... Bro, you get to bed. Oh, God, I wonder if I get some food in me. That'll perk me up, won't it? Um, so, yeah, we'll get back tomorrow and we'll finish up the Emerald Graves and then let's make headway into the Hissing Wastes. We're getting close now, folks. And I don't remember what comes after it. I don't know if there's, like, other areas that we haven't unlocked yet because we haven't progressed the story, but I really don't remember... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no push ups and squats until Saturday for me, uh, Red Mage. Uh, <laughs> um, ah, uh, rip off Chuba. <laughs> I'm trying my best over here, Jack. All right, uh, <laughs> uh, new Overwatch. What's, what's this route? Let's see if it's better. If change it up, have they? I've never played Overwatch. Um, a lot of people love it, and uh, I've got friends who got into it. Is that any better, Jack? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, did it? Oh, God, Sh show how much I know. Have a little look, maybe we got around. Uh, over. Watch two. I won't watch anything on it. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Uh, the Nintendo, uh, the special edition one, Nintendo.com. What is this? Let's have a look. Yes, Overwatch 2, Watch Point Back. Does it have all the same characters? It does. It's a, a digital version. Oh, wait, I don't know what. I don't know what currency this is. S. Uh. Eligible para hasta. Juntos de oro. Uh. Is that Spanish? Or Portuguese? I'm terrible. I don't. It's some kind of. Some. What, one of the Latin languages. I don't know. So no, yeah, so I was like, that's a lot of money. I was like, actually, I don't have no idea how much money that is. <laughs> um, yeah, it's out now. Uh, are, are you, so Root, were you a big player of the first one? I, I, I love the aspects of it, uh, but um, like you know what it is, it's just not something that I have time for. I've said this before, like this sort of analogy. If if Overwatch or Overwatch Two was the was the video game, there were the video games were not a thing. There was only one video game, and it was Overwatch or Overwatch 2. I could definitely get into it. Um, but I've got other games I need to play, so <laughs> it's quite likely that I would never play either the old or new Overwatch. What about you, Jack? Have you ever played Overwatch? I know you play, play quite... Um, uh, you know, but... Uh, okay cool cool yeah i got a little bit uh m most of the pe peeps here know this uh the original titanfall i got into that competitively and i got pretty reasonably good at it um but other than that I, I, that was just kind of a fluke that i got into it um and it's free to play now they were selling copies xbox one 40 40 quid is it free to play on pc Oh, yeah, Overwatch 2, playoverwatch.com. So it's free to play on PC, but if you want to play it on PlayStation or Switch or Xbox, you've got to pay lots of money. <laughs> uh, I'll play it on PC. Um... You, oh, you played a lot, but didn't massively get into it. Um, oh, okay, season passes. Okay. 
All right, it makes sense. Well, good on them. I hope it does well. Uh, just... I, uh... uh excuse me. I, I, I just wonder... When you've got a game that's got such tight gameplay, such um, specific like game modes and the characters and stuff, what what is being added or improved to completely justify a brand new release of the game? There's got to be something there. It's got to be a thing that could not be just added with DLC or season pass content. It has to be because otherwise they're just you know what is it what is the thing i wonder we'll find out <coughs> uh anthem being sold for a penny my brother actually played anthem and he said yeah it's not great but he wasn't as he felt he wasn't as bad as um Uh, as people working out. Oh, right. Yeah, no. It seems like it might be jank as all hell. IGN, 4 out of 10. Oof. Oh, it's been out a while though it's been out since march yeah <laughs> the game received generally negative reviews from critics i think i might have seen uh maybe a little review of it yeah you know some games are like that though, aren't they um oh my connections just started going very wobbly for a second guys yeah i'm buffering fuck God damn it. Um, bowls. Um, I guess I'm just going to quickly uh, just find us find an array quickly. We'll take it from there. Um, let me see us around quickly. God, if it dies. Uh, yeah, rip. Rippity rip rip. No, okay, it's back it's back up again. We're in the red, but it's like shh. KBS is spiking. I don't know. Ugh, I'm so tired. Um You know what this <sighs> might be the first time I've uh done this in like a year or more. I'm not gonna raid anyone tonight, folks. I'm just gonna kill the stream. Um I just want to get food in me and get like a bit like tidied up and get a bit more like mentally prepped for um you know I'm needed on Scotty stream in like two and a half hours so I'm just gonna do that never mind but guys thank you all so much for being here I bloody love you you are the best you are the literal best I could not have you know I'm sure there's other streamers out there like, oh, I've got I've got the best viewers no I would I would stack you guys against anyone and um I would lead you into battle. I would I would save you on the battlefield. I'll do whatever I could for you. Um thank you. We're just gonna finish up here and um Yeah, dropping dropping drop in everything. I'll you know, I don't what's going on anymore, Red Mage. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully.
get at me tonight if you need me, but I'm like a bit out of it. I'll see you very soon, my lovelies. You are freaking amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's good. I'll just get distracted and then I'm like trying to talk to someone and, ex and extricate myself from like, hey, I've raided, but bye. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. I should just say thank you to Fifi Demon for the 10 bitties and Spin Dash Dude for the resub. Um, yeah, he's doing something. He's he's going he's going hard on 14. He's like, too, too much, too much is needed. Anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna. Oh my god, Root. I, I don't know what I've got. I've got the various stuff. Um, I, I'm gonna mix it up. I've got to make sure not to eat too much and like save some of it. You're all freaking amazing. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>